nerderotic.com. I'm so happy to be here. Some, some, some people, people here, but we love like, black people. We love some, black some people. people. I'm not sure about. And we love us. Love us. Love us. <laughs> hey, let's, let's speak for yourself. Like a chicken. <laughs> oh, what did I say? Well, I offended chicken. I, I offended Chrissy when I said we love black people. Yeah, yeah. she had to yeah. leave. Oh wow, yeah. I had to leave. Chrissy is not affiliated with geeks and gamers. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, excuse me, you like black people? Ah. <laughs> Gotta I, dip. Gotta go. <laughs> I know it's already oh, awkward, man. isn't it? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Friday Night Tights. Uh, another there. Rings of Power review coming up. We're so excited about this 10 out of 10 episode, Ooh. according to IGN. It's like really great. <laughs> episode I've ever seen. So great. It was cinematic accomplishment. It really <laughs> was. When, when Guy <laughs> Lazarel flipped upside down, I clapped. I clapped when she flipped upside down yeah. and did a somersault. I clapped. I, I said, wow. Yeah, yeah. They accomplished something with that episode. So they really did. Maybe <laughs> yes. not what they think, but they accomplished something. That's yeah. sure. it, it's changed my entire opinion about medieval sword fighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I didn't and, think they were capable of doing things like that. And when you're now. watching uh, now I know. The or went. you're reading the book, you're like, I've always wanted to know the origin of a volcano. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and these beautiful writers they gave that to us. They they gave you us. Know, it's, they they gave us so much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get Mithril, really we have onto my channel to, for an interview I, I, uh, I, about how they got their art. Hey uh, Jay, can you get Mount Doom on Friday Night Tights for me, buddy? <laughs> I, I had no idea that one flaming arrow, and I'm not referencing Elrond with that, but that one Hello! flaming arrow <laughs> could take down the entire tower. That was amazing. That wow. was a well. That was a really well designed tower, man. I can't yeah. Believe that. Well, that was the thing. Flipped out. It kind of implied that it was done deliberately, like the elves built it as a fortification. It's like, no, because if that had happened, how come they only realized the plan when it's like, hang on, that tower could fall? Wait, they built it specifically for this purpose. This is just so coincidental. Amazing. I, I think um, as probably summed it up best, right? They managed to make a, a big climactic battle boring as fuck. <laughs> and that was a real achievement. Uh, it was so bizarre the way it was structured i know we're jumping around a little bit but man it felt like the the orcs are swarming in all of them seemingly get killed by the tower then a whole bunch of other ones come in and they get killed um in the village and oh there's there's another whole bunch of them that i guess were just hanging around somewhere else and they've now come in to besiege the place there was no sense of progression or stakes or anything because i felt like i had no idea the size of the enemy force, I had no idea what the geography of the place was. It was just a bunch of disconnected stuff happening. Now, th sequence, uh, now this, is, some this is something you might do, drink, uh, Drinker, but not the rest of us. Leave a fortified structure to go hide in a bar. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah. You, have, you have You, you know what? You, you know have what a tower you... you could defend. And, no, let's go to the let's go to the Conventional inn. wisdom would say, right, if you're facing a superior enemy force, you want to maximize the, the forces that you have. So you want to funnel them into a narrow, confined space so you can like find them. Like a bridge. Like a bridge, you would terms. say. Something like that, yeah. 
But yeah. what you probably don't want to do is hole up in a village where they can approach you from a hundred different directions and yeah. overwhelm you, and there's no possible way you can stand your ground. Um, but yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, I, I, it's a to a village I've got an answer. Them. I have an answer to this. Uh, all the leaders were women. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, that's why you don't listen to women. Girl, uh, yep. 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 Congratulated at the end by Muriel, yep. though. The, one of the yep. greatest leaders. Yes, women All in the greatest in leaders like this. They had, they, they, had a, they had a person who picks flowers leading them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the editing Just of the combat. Just to be clear, this was the best episode, uh, I think. It was. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's the best you, you know what's all interesting? of them. Which I think I know why it's half, the best. It was one and a half out of ten. But yeah. for yeah. every yeah. moment that they were like that the, they were battling, the, they weren't talking. When one, so when World War Three, that's true, and there was no Harfoots in it as well, which was a definite yeah. bonus. Yes, yeah. but it's people. it's like the more they try to some, accomplish, some, the more ambitious they get, the, the more they fuck up. You know, it's yeah. almost like is it better to do that or is it better to have a really unambitious episode where there's less things they can get wrong? I'm I'm not sure but they because still right found now a... they oh go ahead go ahead they they basically can't be trusted to do anything at this point. No, they There's can't. A... I mean, but they still have a point every time they say anything, which this had less talking. They still manage to make it slow and overly dramatic. Every word that they say, it's like oh, yes. this overly dramatic Hallmark card. They're all parables Crap. and like, yeah. stories it's, within it's words. And they think they're so damn clever with every yep. single word that comes out of these mouths. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I pretty much like, grew up in my mouth. Kill me. The moment Could I heard we... the moment I heard Bronwyn <laughs> recite the line from Return of the King that the shadow <sighs> is but a small and passing. Thing. I just thought, oh fuck you! <laughs> fuck the one, you. Good, the one good line in the entire show, and you pilfered it from somewhere else. Like that's, that's the quality because she's of the, the first got. Avenger now, drinker. She's the first Avenger. Hey, hey, yeah, it's like the Captain Marvel effect. Like, yeah, the the, the um, Avengers whole name comes from her. When, when World War when World War Three starts, we, we, the lesson we learn is we got to go find Moonflower Marvel. running the holistic medicine to 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 lead us all. <laughs> Down the street. Like, in yeah, the yeah, they're brutal, man. They know how to fight. Yep. Can we get the thing of the fights? The editing thing of the fights was really weird. Uh, because there's a whole scene with Arinder fighting where <laughs> not a single sword contacting anyone else is ever on screen. <laughs> Everything else is cut. And it cuts to the next person who also attacks. And the moment he's about to hit someone, it cuts to something else. So for this entire scene, I have no idea what's happening because it always cuts just before the moment the actual action how, how, I, I've got a question, right? How did all the, the <laughs> Numenorean cavalry know exactly where to go? Like the one shithole village in this entire <laughs> massive Instantly. land? They just I'm knew just exactly wondering. where to go. <laughs> so how did they teleport they there? How they, they just magically just just there. Shit. They landed, Quiet. they Two boarded, days. they got on their horses, they got all their armor on, then they went <laughs> across the land. We didn't give that meme. We didn't give that meme enough respect because that shit was oh, great, right. dude. I mean, all, she drowned, all, all the, the, all the right. information from <laughs> Halbrand right. that several months ago. Yeah, old information. This is all on a hunch, yeah. They are using intel that is months old at this point. For all they know, the orcs could have overrun this whole place and fucked off somewhere else yeah. completely different. And they could have, like, charged into a village that was, like, long deserted. But nah, it's it's lucky how they, they happened to show up just at that one crucial moment when they were most needed. They actually cut some, out They cut out a was, bunch of scenes of them just going into empty villages. And yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> On to the next ah! one! We, we've been searching this land for the past two weeks. Where the fuck are we going? Would well, they make the mistake where did we of get saying these the horses? timeline? It was one day on sea, then one day on land to get to where they wanted to go. But in the actual fight scene, they were only there for one day. They prepared, and then they got attacked, and that was it. So they... The one time they actually tell us the timeline is when they mess it up. And even when, you know, the migration of the Harfoots, they made it look like it took ages. That was two weeks, according to the director. It makes absolutely no I, sense I the timeline know. at all. And even the My, director, like, well, maybe it was two weeks, possibly. See, when that, when that song kicked in, man, my brain just turned to mush and I was incapable <laughs> of accepting you in this. <laughs> <laughs> the Harfoots were next. That was the best time. <laughs> Actually, uh, I had a little you stroke. Know, I looked, I looked at the Middle Earth map just to get the scale and distance. And when they reach Middle Earth and go up the river, that's three hundred miles that they need to travel via sea, but like a riverboat, right? And then it's a hundred miles in a straight line to get to the tower. And that's if you go over an insanely high mountain range, let alone walking to the mm. opening. It's None like this... bull crap. Bull crap, even if they say one day, the show actually shows it's one day, but they said two days, right? And even if they said two days, no, no, it's going to take a week or a month to get there. <laughs> they were full gallop. They just, 
I know, it's insane. But it's how insane. do you take like enormous seagoing ships like that up a river as well? It needs to be tiny. tiny. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> deep river. Tiny, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, each yeah, one where are enough... the horses? Well, each yeah, they've been on space, right? They, they were, were cuddling with the Numenorians. Plus the crew, plus all of their cavalry horses, and plus all their gear and everything. Like, these Amazon things must be the it. size of the yeah. fucking Titanic. <laughs> the best part is when I actually show you, you where saw. the horses are. There's like yeah, the six stable tables. you saw had. That, yeah, well, it's six on each side. So there's like, well, I had like five or six. So it's either 10 or 12 in that. You have to be like 10 times that size of that stable, plus all the people. Yeah. It's crazy. 10 out of 10 episodes, guys. Hire a new boat. It was a 10, 10 out, of 10 out, of 10 out of 10 Did you see, episode. by the way, you know that, that mass cavalry charge, right? Did you see the brutal copy and paste that was going Ooh, on? With yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it's so it's bad. It's like they, they didn't even vary up their steps, so no. it's like they were all galloping in lockstep. It was the most <laughs> ridiculous spectacle. And that's why when they actually got to the village, they had to go like in two lines, like to get across that bridge. They had to all condense down to two lines to actually get into the village. The, they only the, had, like, the river wasn't even big. It's it was a tiny river. They could have just yeah. hopped over it. Like horses can get through streams like that without too much problem, yeah. I would imagine. Well, yeah. There was a forest on either side. You could just go around. Like the, none of this was an issue. I, 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 when they trapped the orcs, you could just go around too. Like they, they like when they trapped the orcs in the village. They, there's like little spaces between the houses. They could have just bailed. It's so bad. Oh, we'll, we'll pull I it up. I died laughing. I, oh, welcome I'm to Friday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, been shit, on our mind, that? okay? So, uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. hi, uh, we need to get this all hi, everybody. Get out. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary from Nerdrotic, and uh, what's up, Jeremy? Uh, I am Jeremy. I am, uh, according to Twitter activist, I am the sexiest, sexiest. man alive. Uh, None I of us are going to dispute that, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, well, no, to none. be fair, we sexiest, have called all those so. people retarded so. multiple times. <laughs> yes, so. yes. And sense. you weren't wrong, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate it. Uh, it's something I've been striving for my entire life, and I really do appreciate that. But uh, yeah, we're here to talk about Rings of Power. We might talk about Nancy Pelosi and or even when you kind of halfway fucking enjoy some piece of shit that Disney gives us, they still have to fucking piss you off. Like, God, they can't get out of their own what way. What the hell is but, he hey, Jeremy, do, yeah. do you know what Nancy Pelosi has? Tits. Great, great tits. <laughs> Big old I call them, milkers. I, I, would, I would call them at this stage, I would call them, they look like melted frozen biscuits. <laughs> Or they're just kind of I don't know. Did you see her on the I beach, though? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> as, to be fair, as has a reputation for liking the tits of unfuckable people. So. <laughs> What well, the hell is he Maybe I'm fuckable to you, Ryan. But, you know. <laughs> through challenge, through challenge lies accomplishment. Oh, the king and country now. But let's get this party started. Friday night country. tights. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm hype. Let's go. Hi, ass. Hi, uh, that uh, that meme was done by Goga, and it's amazing. Yeah, the uh, sea is always right. That one. The sea is yeah. always my wife drowned, and the sea is always right. <laughs> uh, so props to Goga for that, because that just made me absolutely piss myself this morning when I saw it. Uh, great to have a drinker on. Haven't seen drinker for a little bit, so it's great to have you on, dude. Uh, and of Thanks, course, Shad and Despero just uh, they seem to be part of the furniture now, and very comfortable furniture, which is nice. Mm. Because I'm gonna sit on your faces. <laughs> wow! Well. Uh, I'm glad he I said it to somebody else going instead of me. Uh, Come on! That was when Friday Night Tights took a turn for the worse. <laughs> <laughs> it was at that moment he knew that he got too broken. <laughs> I think it's broke all of us, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm damn that. Was, I had, I had, yeah. I had, uh, that was our Christian Harloff collider today. moment. <laughs> that just gave us our Christian Harloff collider moment. I <laughs> have been busting my ass <laughs> as a she hole fan for five years now. Five years, and what do I I don't get any advice to fucking Disney. I didn't get my fucking tour of the facility, it, did I? If you'd offer to sit on their faces, you probably would. So. <laughs> Jeremy, oh, dog and I both about to know. You. Not, I am way too old. Way too old for Disney. That is true. That is Do not true. Come. I, I posted that I wanted a second season of She-Hulk and someone just commented Stockholm Syndrome. That was all I heard. No. <laughs> my my, my it going, no, 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 keep it, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> 
Hmm. I'm wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> are you? Are you? Okay. Thanks. For, I, I wish you would no, do that no. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. Uh, that's what a certain She-Hulk actor said. <laughs> mm. uh, Ryan, what's up? Not much. I made Survived. it through the hurricane. Uh, you know, somehow I didn't even lose power, didn't lose internet, nothing. Just uh, hung out and drank a bunch while Hurricane Ian kind of skirted past me, luckily. But uh, yeah, unfortunately for those on Twitter, I did survive. I know you <laughs> wanted me to die. You were praying for my death. Uh, but unfortunately, not even God can save you from me. So. <laughs> 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 oh. To be fair, I was looking what forward have they done to, to deserve I was this. looking forward to the uh, to the RIP Kennel stream. We've made a lot of super chats. Dang, but, yeah. yeah. Jimmy says that all the time, but you, <laughs> like, people do not like me. So I, <laughs> I, I don't think think like if it's a celebration stream i think you make more money to be honest it's just crab dancing we'll just see which way the uh, you know the wind's blowing on that one right if we learned anything about me i'll i'll do whatever i can for super chats so yeah if it turns into a moment where i have to celebrate your death to get those super chats except I'm all live for stream it, so yeah except yeah. Live stream. you won't just do make that it, make it optional right a celebration just call it a celebration of ryan kennel whether you want to celebrate his life or his death it's up yeah. to you yeah it's yeah. life well lived Dude, it's you. your choice it's a subjective <laughs> celebration thank yeah. you <laughs> all his Batman knife couldn't save him. <laughs> no, he was how crazy game. was it for me to how crazy was it for me to wake up? I get a notification. Oh, Shad put out a new video. I wonder what this is. Fucking like dog shit mall knives. <laughs> right, right, right. Like I've heard people have been making fun of you for your gay little Batman knife, and I'm like, I think that's terrible. I'm here, I'm here with solidarity with you, Ryan. I think it's look, look. I and I even found a knife that is as cringeworthy as gay as your little one. I and I stand with you. So look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, oh yeah. So, so, gay, gay. You know, like crap knives. I, look. We're, we're, we're brothers now. We're brothers. We got it. <laughs> Let's get butter knives in there. <laughs> butter knives. First of all, if you get rid of the butter knives and put some steak knives in there, I would actually use that thing. That looks cool. Uh, yeah. That's a good my, camping net. Mine has the until. Batman logo. As put that down, you're not allowed to have those in the UK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Bobbies are coming for you right now. This is the only thing that we have over here, dude. <laughs> well, R Ryan was showing off some other weapons that he can't show on camera here right before the yeah. stream. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but like, here's how, here, here's, how, here's, how, here's, how, here's the problem with Ryan surviving the hurricane. He's feeling so confident. He offered to go <laughs> back to Universal Studios. Surviving. Yeah. He, offered, <laughs> he, offered, he, offered, he offered to go back to Universal Studios for Geeks and Gamers. That's a huge problem for us if anyone knows the lore, okay? Shout out to Alex Stein. But no, I don't want Ryan to ever go back to Universal Studios for anything. But that's what happens when he survives her. I'm going to go there tomorrow just to talk with you. I'm going to wear my Geeks and Gamers shirt and hat. <laughs> Go to 221 Be Tactical. Get your Geeks and Gamers hat. <laughs> oh boy. I am associated with Geeks and Gamers. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, well, welcome, Ryan, I think. Thank um, you. You're welcome. Love you, baby boy. I had a lot of applications for your replacement uh, over the last couple of days, though, so. <laughs> you have to run those for a job days. right Something now. Happens, we're covered. <laughs> You'd have to run all of those by the uh, diversity and equity officer. So, yeah, it's me. So, yeah. This is job true. security. <laughs> Speaking of diversity and equity, what's up, Quarter Black? Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm ready to watch this show again. Oof, it was not as bad as the last ones, but again, I will repeat myself. It's because there's no talking during the action scenes. The action scenes are horrendous as well, but at least nobody's trying to tell you a parable about their life and going in the West and the East now and the sun's dark, but now it's light or whatever the fuck they're trying to say. So I think I'm ready to, I to think rip they were this. trying to say that the the world is flat. I think they were trying to address that. Was that what they I were have saying? to go back and look at it because so I kind of conspiracy I kinda yeah. zoned out. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, I had to I had to write my notes. I'm like, do I want to pause it and make it last longer? No, I'll just miss this line. No, but you don't. I think they no, uh, you don't. the the Middle Earth is supposed to be well. It's supposed to be flat. It's all supposed to be flat. Doesn't go round until just after. like the writing. Uh, well, 
<laughs> My favorite Just scene like was Guy the Ladriel's scene they took chest. right out of <laughs> right out of uh, Django Unchained with all of the clans members coming over the hill with their torches. <laughs> that was a great scene. <clears throat> I love that scene. Ryan really liked that scene. He did? Yeah. Uh, nice plans, man. Thankfully, you couldn't see anything because it was so dark during the action scenes. It was... <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it wasn't just me then. No, no. It was really... No, it's the show. Uh, like, that that first 10 minutes of that episode, that was a solid 10 minutes where I couldn't tell what the fuck was going on. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> at, at this point, I'm pulling for a tower fell down. Down. Like, where are we? Who is this? How did they get across the sea? Yeah, I, I want to know how much fucking blood Bronwyn has in her body. They just kept showing it fucking yeah, that was pouring out. It was just like it was on the ground yeah. from like a shoulder wound. And the, everyone's just kind of looking at it. They're like, hey, just so you know, she's losing a lot of blood as everyone uh, stands there. Yeah, looking it's like at dripping blood. through the table and shit. Yeah, it's like, she's the one yeah, that has like an arrow like, wounds. Like unless it's, it's, it's unless it's severed an artery, it really shouldn't be pumping out of her like that. Yeah. And, and then it's like, oh, well, she's making sure put pressure. She was hit with that. They forgot about one of them as soon as she got dragged yes. into the. Yeah, she yeah. got hit. She got hit by two. Yeah. Well, uh, Arondir <sighs> just yanking it out of her back probably didn't help matters. He just. Yeah. Like, I was like, don't do, was... that, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't ruin like... them titties. Don't ruin <laughs> them titties. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what he did was like. Yeah, do you think they had a moment where they're like, where did it actually impact? It's like, ah, it's, a, it's above the tits. It's okay. I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> got only We're redeeming safe. quality in the show is the fact that she's showing her tits. Uh, but <laughs> it, it would have, if they took the air out like that, like, as long as you're putting pressure on the wound, like, immediately after, okay. But they did it, and it's just like, <laughs> there's just fucking blood coming Gushing. everywhere after she told them put pressure on the wound. And it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, like how, how does Enrondir not know first name? Enrondir. He's also Enrondir. Like, Lemon loss. Lemon loss. Lemon loss. Sorry. Lemon loss. He's Limelos. like hundreds of years it's... old. He doesn't know first aid. Like, no. he has to wait for her to say, like, put pressure on it. Burn it. Do all, everything. Like, it just Dude, he's the leader he needs quarterback. He a picker to save his life. Oh, I forgot. She got all this knowledge from picking... Daisy, yeah. who, who would listen like to a that magic woman? Bullet. Who? Like, you, you can't just seal the edge of the wound. You're still going to be bleeding internally. And then I was he added say, seeds yeah, like... in as if that's going to do anything. And mm, why magic did she seeds. stop breathing? And then stop breathing uh, again, like a heart had stopped. Yeah, that was like, so weird. Weird. I was like, what? That, that was, for was that dramatic just for a purposes. visual thing? So yes. you knew that she'd actually yeah. died. Yes. Like, <gasps> drama. Like we are in the well. We are talking. We are talking about a show where they started a volcano with a fucking river, like a small river. A Started yeah. a volcano. That these are it was idiots. Insane. That, that's so how that's how volcanoes work, was... don't you know? Totally. Like when a volcano is inactive, you just have to pour water on it to cool it down, and that actually makes it get hotter. Yeah, <laughs> I, oh, I, I don't I, know. I, and didn't you like it's... Siron's plan for that? It like this key was supposed to be magical. All it turns out to do is just move one rack. The rest of the entire plan has to be enacted by a load of orcs that no one can discover that digs a massive trench along the ground just to direct the water to where it needs to go. I, I want to, it, I, you could have just knocked a rock out on your own. You didn't need a magic key a for it. The, the thing I never understand plan. with shit like this, right? They went to the trouble of constructing all this gigantic mechanism for triggering a volcano, right? And it's all set off by shoving a sword into a stone and then turning it, right? Why did they just never do that? Like, what have they been waiting for this whole time? And, like, why why go to this enormous effort to have something that's so specific to start it off? It, it's just... And, and it's baffling. It's, and and the, the, because the they wanted a sword that was like, broken, they needed, so you could go, they needed sword. the sword. But it, but it turns out that sword only moved one rock to open a spillway on a, on a dam, uh, and they could have just broken it open. So with a is this going to tie in yeah. to like Sauron needed uh Kel uh Kel Brimbor needed a big forge? Is it going to tie into Sauron needing a big forge? So I'm like, I'll make a volcano. That's what I'll do. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's unbelievably yes. uh, Ex Ghoul, member lover, legion of members. Yeah, I really that, love that. That's why this, you walk around this show, that. right? It, it's yeah. like <laughs> the you've got the episodes that focus on like the Harfoots, which are just dumb as fuck, but it's like self-contained <laughs> stupidity. So it's like the difference between like having a retard do finger painting or having them try to repaint the Sistine oh, yeah. Chapel. Like the, either way, they're gonna fuck it up, but. If it if it's contained within a small space, then at least it's not as offensively shit. Yeah, we got retards colliding. 
No. This is what this episode is, though. Now they're trying to do the big world-changing stuff, and it's so fucking if, stupid. If you guys have ever wondered if Drinker truly belongs here, he just completely stomped on X-Ray Girl's intro and didn't even give her a chance to speak. <laughs> Sorry. Definitely belongs on Friday Night Tights. Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> or I just didn't care. I don't know. I've never seen Ryan more proud. He was yeah. so happy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, That's my boy. In here, she comes in here with like a boob window shirt and shit, like thinking she's gonna get some respect on this show. Boom! I critical drink. I did it for the Legion of Members. God. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. You don't have to respect me. It's fine. Sometimes I like the other way. Hey, extra girl. The only know. way I can make Krista feel better about her disastrous uh, polls on main event is to say X-ray girls are so much worse on Friday yeah. night tights. They're so bad. <laughs> And they're in front of like three times as many people. <laughs> yeah, but What's like your Christmas favorite like score? spelling spelling errors. <laughs> Not I hey, fast. what what film has the best music? Marvel, Tron, uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, what, what was the, the North Viking movie, uh, the, yeah. the Northman, uh, North uh, North the Northman, North North the Northman. Yeah. <laughs> what what movie has best music? Like, yeah. English is my third language, okay? I'm struggling. I believe Boy, that's the second time you use that excuse this week. Not acceptable. <laughs> Whatever, me. chicken. <laughs> you be uh, gotta quiet. Love it. Gotta love it. You think my chicken's out of this? <laughs> <laughs> As has had all kinds of problems this week. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. A, lot of, <laughs> a lot of problems. Yeah. Lots of problems. Uh, yeah. yeah. He said, "Please give me a cock," and he got it and didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Did we need that entire story? Probably not, but it's okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's up, Disparu? Welcome back. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Getting through this episode was. Well, I, I I thought last week they could only have TARDIS ships to fit everything on, and I never knew they could travel through time and space and get to areas they couldn't possibly reach in the time. And then we had a time where they said, let's retreat to the keep. And another guy goes, to the tavern, just in case nobody understood what the keep was, because I couldn't remember from five <laughs> minutes ago. And then the ultimate one, the ultimate cliche, you have a guy who's already explaining something that you already know, and he's there and he's going, yeah, it's about the blood, and you won't understand what the, the thing you really need to know it's just dies and it's like every single thing was just a yeah. cliche from another movie or a film and he thought we'll just we'll just put some scenes in there where every time a sword connects with another sword we'll cut to something else because we don't want to get above a 12 rating this will make us safe mm -hmm. and then in another scene they just have blood pouring from someone else's wound so they couldn't make their minds up then i I don't even know what I've just watched, and I've now watched it three times. So, <laughs> oh, no. oh you poor so man! Three times. I do. I do love that their their fallback position when all hope is lost is to go to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One sympathizes. <laughs> Uh, and I couldn't understand like why the when dead. they went to attack the pub, like the first group came in and or they get attacked by archers on all sides and they're just like, to the tavern! Like that's full of the women and the children that aren't fighting. Why do you want to break into the tavern? Or well, you're getting shot with ar take care of the archers first and then get to the tavern. It's like, the wounded and the children. Well, yeah. Correction. Wounded. The, the wounded and the, the children. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not women. Can't women, women, women that are would be again. how many men were in the tavern what? apart from the kid that can't act. Uh, there were a few older men in there from what I remember, um, because after he said that line, after, was it Theo that said the line where she said, go into the tavern? He goes, that's for the wounded and the children. And I was like, what the fuck? They just changed that entire thing to prove that women are strong. And then I'm pretty sure that they focused the, after that scene, pretty sure the focus was on an older man that was sitting in the tavern. Yeah, it, cut, and it, it, was, like, yeah. it was little kids and mm -hmm. an old man. An older man. Yeah. There's no mm -hmm. ladies or anything yeah. in there because they're all out there fighting. They're out there. Yeah, because women yeah. are strong. Yeah. Women can do anything. They don't actually do anything. It's like smack. <laughs> Did you, um, <laughs> I, I just had to point this out when you were talking about bad acting. You know, there's that point where the orcs start executing prisoners and like they just like run them through with their swords. <laughs> They do it to one woman, like she's just an extra, obviously. But she, <laughs> yeah. The face she makes is just like, 
Ah! Ow! Why are you I doing this? Like you're being you run through by us, dude. I think you're all being very rude, taking a piss out of this uh, episode. Gary, I've lined up a piece of footage from this week. Uh, this is a fun place to visit. They have slides, which are really cool. Whee! Oh, yay! <laughs> that was my favorite part of the show. See? Middle Earth is a fun place, you fucking bigots. Oh. I did like the guy who pulled on Arinder with a chain and pulled himself off balance and then fell off the roof. I'm like, why are these people so stupid? Yeah, they both fell off. Did, did you, when you were talking about chains, though, you know that bit, like, when the, the Numenorians attack and, like, two of them have just got like a chain between two horsemen and they just ride it straight through the yeah. orcs and like <laughs> take them yeah. out like fucking bowling pins and then it magically increases in length as they separate yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, how, how would you think to take something like that into combat with you it's like uh i know that they're going to stand in a perfect line for us to just like you know chain mail them yeah. to death <laughs> That's procedure. And, and they felt so strongly about that, they put it in the trailer. They put it in one of the trailers. They're like, that's a great scene. Well done. Why are you all kissing the Battle of Bulls Deep so much? It's terrible. Man. Come on. You know, the guys holding the chair, they were just holding it on with their hands. And so if the orcs just resisted with any level of force, they would have been pulled off their horses or lost their grip. But it's like this death chain that just wipes them all out. Come off there. I, I do love the one guy who leaps off his horse so he can fight on foot because that's definitely what <laughs> you, you should do. A genius. <laughs> Like, the sword in the same hand could have just attacked him. He's just like, horses are for pussies. <laughs> I don't need a tactical advantage. Fuck that. Uh, but yeah, admittedly, there was a lot of gay gentlemen in the Numenorian army by the sounds of it. Because the, uh, who's it? Uh, it Isildur's two mates were having yeah, some rumpy pumpy on the ground, pretending they were soldiers. One of them was literally on the ground going, Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> and then after the battle, one of them just quits because he had a little bit of taste yeah. of battle. He's like, oh, not for the rest yeah. of my life. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like balls. in a military like that, you can't just like opt out. Like, yeah, you're kind of there for the duration. <laughs> like that's how it works, son. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a bitch now. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it's a it's a dude. So, uh, what's up, Shad? How you doing, dude? I'm doing great. The graphic novel's going good. We're past like 120, no, 200 to you. Anyway, it's going really good. So that's that's exciting. Link in the description. But, yeah. Oh, thank you. And then this episode came out. And Ooh. so just here's a counter argument to people who are saying this was a better episode because I agree there might have been, uh, it wasn't as densely bad. I have like four pages of notes instead of five pages of notes. But what was there was so astronomically stupid, it broke my brain. Like, like let me just go through a couple for you guys, right? They took down this tower that's supposed to have lasted for thousands of years, right? By breaking a rope and the whole thing falls down. Instead of fighting in a fortress, they decide to fight in a village. Uh, whenever one of the main characters get attacked by orcs, suddenly the orcs aren't holding any weapons. So they, you know, they're just getting beaten on. Um, the, the evil key that opens up this big evil thing just opens a small spillway. That I know. Water out, <laughs> right? And the water falls into an unpressurized volcano and they honestly want us to believe that that causes an eruption and then Galadriel stands in front of the friggin' pyroclastic flow and it's not only that this is like a pyroclastic just... flow that's coming out of the devil's own anus or something it's, insane. <laughs> it's huge and she just stands there and takes it and we're supposed to believe and she's that she's gonna live like that. I clap oh, get out of here show so look how strong drunk. she is Bull friggin' crap! The level of stupid in this episode reached new heights. I'm speechless. Actually, no, I'm not speechless. I'm friggin' pissed! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, that's why we love him. Uh, welcome back, Chad. Can't wait to go hey. over that again. Yeah, because that, that was, that's, that's, I was fine with the, I, I was fine with the normal badness of the episode. I'm like, all right, you know, I've only got a page of notes halfway through that second half, dude. I'm like, oh, this is shit. I can't take this. This is an abomination. <laughs> Tolkien is spinning in his grave. Fuck this show. You know, so by the end, I was pretty pissed. Oh, yeah. uh, no. Is this Wait, the scene? Come on. Oh, scene? No, no, don't do it to us. Don't do it. No one predicted this. Wait, wait. Oh, no. No. The sword didn't touch him. Like, if you watch, the sword is cutting up on an angle. It wouldn't have gone through the neck at all. And it just is this. Oh, yeah. She's miles away from him. She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like, creepy. 
I didn't have that EA Play. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at how long she stays Growing. like that, though. Oh, like, yeah. it's so stupid. It would be so much easier like to like, a dodge it, to, to dodge it, and it, then whip back. It, you know what no. it reminded me of when I saw it? It reminded me of a, like the scene in The Ring when that fucking girl climbs out of the television, how her body moves. She like, looked right. all deformed. And like, it's it's so supposed stupid. to be like, yeah, yeah. This is some. So, this is like silly rodeo tricks uh, that you see and you go, that's not, that's not practical. Is, but is, that, a guy, is that a do guy that. doing that or is it a girl? That's I've always got to ask that now. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, That's a CGI. It ain't person. her. It ain't her. Okay. Yeah, and maybe it's a CGI I do, person. I do think that there were some. Um, I think like Native Americans potentially that like that did do things not like yeah, it's not flipped over upside down. But in terms of going like to the side of the horse to protect yes. themselves, I, yeah. I do think that that kind of thing happened. They didn't have full fucking armor on. Uh, no, and they but, weren't five yeah, foot yeah. two. No, this is this is this is this Next is reaching. Level. This is stupidity of like what the Fast and Furious does with like Vin Diesel. Yeah, it's over the top. Car. It's so stupid. The and it makes goes no to sense. Space. Yes, that's essentially <laughs> what this is. The next step was be just put her on a fucking T Rex and just let her run through the <laughs> fucking town. Yeah. And oh, just just fucking like, ah. yeah, somebody, somebody, just give me a T Rex and meme Galadriel on it. That's what we're gonna see in the fucking finale. Holy give shit! Give her a fucking mini gun in each hand and just let him turn <laughs> yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like so dumb, dude. God. And our special guest tonight is not Sauron. It is the drunk lord, <laughs> the critical man. drinker. What's up, man? Call me Lord Drinker. Uh, yeah, I'm good, man. Sorry, I turned around in the middle of Shad's rant and I kind of shat myself a little bit because I didn't realize my dog was in here. <laughs> His head just popped up from behind the couch. It did. So I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I had a lovely afternoon today, right? Let me paint the picture for you. It's a rainy Friday afternoon here in Scotland, and I had no more work to do. I had put out a video that day, and uh, I was just like, I'm just going to chill. Um, and I was playing Days Gone on my PlayStation and just had a great time. I was proper chilled out. And then I remembered <laughs> I have to watch Rings of Power for this fucking stream. <laughs> <laughs> and Not all my sorry. happiness drained away. <laughs> Not sorry. Misery loves company. But hey, uh, I got through it. But uh, yeah, thank you for having me back on, guys. It's always a pleasure to be on Friday oh, night. Oh, so. we love you, man. And like, if the, the, the shows that are out right now, like, we'll get around to She-Hulk. Shit, that was freaking bad, too. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I tried I tried to watch uh, the fourth episode. At least I didn't find any dudes this week. And snore. And uh, I got like three mm. minutes in. I'm like, I don't care. Did you know? I don't care. Oh shit! I liked it. I, I, four was more of the same as, as the first three. It's it's not great, but it's 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 in, it's enough. Like the world building is still there. Like the world they've created is very interesting. The the seeing the inner workings of the empire, it's interesting. And I, it, I I'm so. kind of in that that mindset of it's Q after um, you. Q just flew off the wall. Yeah, he just, like, he just oh, attacked yeah. you. <laughs> he just attacked me. He just, He's like, I need to be back, back on that mic stand. I know. He's like, this Gary. bitch took my place. Uh, the rifle spot. Yes. What are you saying, Drinker? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in the same mindset of, um, you know, it's impressive. The world building is really good. It, it's very grounded, very gritty, very believable. Um, it really goes to a lot of lengths to let you show, like you say, the inner workings of both, like, the Empire and, um, you know, even how Resistance members, like, plan their attacks and stuff. It's <laughs> slow-paced, but I don't mind it so much. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm generally okay with it so far. Uh, I think it's it's helped by a good cast of actors. Um, Stellan Skarsgård. He's amazing. Enjoyable. He's phenomenal. Yeah. Like he's taking it. Like he's he's really stepping up in this show. Like with the the dual personalities that we saw, uh, he's really good. Uh, it's still yeah. massively flawed. But I also think from a normie standpoint, this is not a normie show. This is not your Mandalorian Baby Yoda show. This isn't going to get that crowd. They're just no, not no. Gonna like I, it. I think a lot of um, the the consumers who have been actually enjoying things like Boba Fett and Mandalorian and stuff, oh, they're yeah. going to be really bored and put off mm -hmm. by this, um, which I'm fine by because like it's it's a show that's meant for ad like adults. I think um, yep. it's a little bit more mature than what you normally get, and it's a little bit more thoughtful, and it's going to put them off. But I don't care because it it's, does, it's actually yeah. halfway. It decent. still has the heavy emphasis on diversity is our strength and it's yeah. in your face still <clears throat> i i think that it was a missed opportunity for our return to coruscant to be 
hey, let's look at this luxury gift store, and hey, this is the Imperial headquarters. Like, God, I, I just wish we could have had some semblance of what Coruscant actually is now. I think we'll probably get there at some point in the show if we're on yeah. Coruscant. But I do think that that was a little bit disappointing um, to I, just I, see I, the inner workings of the Empire, which is cool. I, I like seeing that part, but you have to, I, you have to, this is the fucking biggest, most crowded, most congested fucking place on the planet. And I feel like they didn't show us any of that they i i think they've they had limited time and so maybe they'll do more as the series progresses i like the yeah. idea like you know when that the inspector guy is like he starts out in the spaceport and then he gets the elevator down and it's like it gets gradually darker and more dreary the more like he progresses downwards until he gets to like this this habitat level that he's his, his mum's apartment's in um and it's just this like bleak gray concrete shithole you know i kind of like that um, but I think it's just it's stuff that they'll probably build up over time. And I like the, the way the show plays with this idea that if you're like at the lowest levels of, of society, like just a, a worker on some you know backwater planet, <clears throat> it almost doesn't matter who's in charge of the galaxy for you. Like life's going to continue more or less as it always has. And that's kind of what you got from the first few episodes. Like the guys working in these like refineries and, and mining plants and stuff doesn't matter if the Republic's in charge or the Empire's in charge. They're just going to be doing the same shit job for the same shitty wages day after day. That's that's their life. Uh, and so it's an interesting point of view to see, like, from the just the lowest level, like, working man in the, the galaxy. Um, so I think stuff like that I find kind of interesting. It's got more going forth than almost anything else Disney Star Wars has had up to this point. That's not saying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we are playing bar, with a low bar. Know. We're playing with a low bar. But I, what we're supposed to do is give you our feedback. It doesn't mean you got to watch it. We're not telling you to support Disney or Star Wars or Lucasfilm because they can go fuck themselves. But on an individual level, some of us find it interesting. Others don't. That's bottom line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, I do think it's still a li- the show. The show just fucking ended. Like, it's like they didn't actually have this structure. It's like they didn't have it structured out as a TV show. It's like they had no plans for these episodes. They filmed, like, two hours of story, and were like, all right, I guess we got to split this up somehow, and they just fucking ended it. That's the way it was for the first all three episodes. All of them. All of That's them the way it like was that. For, yeah. Like, it's really episode weird. three, I think, had a, an actual ending, kind of. You know what I mean? Or, like, that made sense. But this one, not at all. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a setup one, isn't it, for the big attack, which I guess is going to happen in the next episode. But yeah, it's it's definitely a slow paced one compared to to other shows that they've done. But I don't know, man. I'd almost take the slower pace if there's more care and thought put into it than you know something like um, Mandalorian or Book of Boba Fett that just kind of churns through stuff that goes on without any real care. I think it's yeah. competent. Like I, I think it's competently written i think it's competently acted which is something i don't think i've been able to say for anything star wars in like fucking ever um but i do think diego luna is the weak spot because i just don't like i i don't know what he's supposed to be feeling i don't get like if he's supposed to be feeling conflicted if he's supposed to be feeling nervous or scared or like whatever he just doesn't emote for me i think he's very bland now it might be a good useful fucking skill set for a spy uh, but watching that as the lead character, it's not super compelling. He's supposed to show you yeah, how I diversity agree. is our strength. That's you want it to be the next you. James Bond? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is just insane. Like, uh, what's the point of even saying this? W- what is the point of even saying this other than you're just going to turn off a massive you know, part of your audience by even saying this? And then you're poisoning whatever you're trying to do with this character from the audience perspective. They're in a bubble. They're in a bubble. As as a non-American, I don't even know what I'm supposed to make of that. (laughs) (laughs) Nancy Pelosi is the cancer. Uh, Cancer is a politician. Yeah, she's not even... The same thing, the actress isn't American, so why would she know who Nancy Pelosi is? Like, all the politics (laughs) behind that and all that shit. Somebody fed that to her. Yeah, and I didn't in a bubble well, enough said, to think that sounds good. Well, she actually said she was inspired by three different politicians. Oh, uh, Angela Merkel from Germany, uh, the the fucking prime minister of New Zealand, who is doing everything oh she God. can to take oh. away everybody's freedom. Is she just going uh, for the worst people possible? And, is that and AOC. And AOC. 
Um, that's who the actress said she was inspired wow. by for her portrayal. Them, bitch. The Nancy well, Pelosi that's a, that's thing. A hell of a combination. Yeah, the Nancy yeah. Pelosi thing. As the more I like listen to what he said, the more I think that he was using the Nancy Pelosi line as a way to say, "Oh, like a leader of a party." Um, but it, it just that's female. Just saying down. that. Really just that? Completely just down. saying that name just shows you how much of a bubble these fucking people live yes. in. Yes, like yeah. not he's, realizing he's a Brit too. He, Gilroy's a Brit too, right? So she's Irish, isn't she? No, Gil, well, Tony the Gilroy. Woman, the, the, guy, woman, yeah, the guy yeah, who, yeah, who Tony Gilroy is a Brit. Yeah. Oh, something. Or something. So yeah, yeah I, Irish. Uh, he ain't um, American, so maybe he doesn't know that even in San Francisco, people don't like fucking Nancy Pelosi. All right? <laughs> <laughs> they shit on her fucking <laughs> house, the live stream, taking but a Disney dump. knows. Yeah. New York. So. Disney knows, and they she'd be like, hey, uh, don't base all your characters off of politically divisive people characters like like people in i mean politics. maybe if she's it's looking not at, a good thing maybe she's looking at it would be enough for him to say like why why even bring any contemporary politician into it in any form yeah. why not just say she's she's a person who's trying to balance two different worlds you know like the her format as a senator but also her her secret work behind the scenes like uh, for funding the the rebellion that's it that's all you need to do Yep. You, you just talk about who she is a character, not trying to draw comparisons with, like, yeah. like you say, divisive political figures in the modern day. Like, I hate this idea of everyone has to be based on someone real right mm -hmm. now. It's like, well, they just do have it. some fucking imagination for once. They do it because they think it's important. Like, if it's a good character, then they'll do it to someone they like. If it's a bad character, they'll do it to something they don't like. They yeah. see sort of pushing the political idea as just a benefit of their position and what they're doing. And half of these writers, when they write these characters, they are genuinely thinking about the real world because they have no creativity. They have no other form of in insight. All the things they've ever done is just gained all of their knowledge through their phone and the internet and everything else. So they know, have no other point of reference. When you get to like Tolkien and he was like in the world wars, he's actually experienced life. But these people have just sat in an air conditioned office their entire life. They've experienced nothing. And so what they get through the news is their life experience. Mm -hmm. And so that's what they refer to and use as a point of reference. Uh, to put it a uh, perspective for Drinker, Nancy Pelosi is the uh, one of the politicians that uh, once they shut down San Francisco and Gary and his wife lost their business, uh, Nancy Pelosi showed up to a hair salon with no mask oh. and, and, and during the pandemic and, and ca caught a lot of heat, basically showing rules for the not for me. You know, um, she's a fucking horrible person, an objectively terrible person. Yeah. And for someone involved with Star Wars to think that that does anything other than just destroy anything you're trying to do, just again, to Ryan's point, shows the bubble these freaks live in. It, Anytime you, you say, like, whenever you have conversations with people that aren't in the know, right? They're normies to this, and you're saying, hey, there's a lot of politics being injected into our pop culture. And they're like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Send them this. Send them an article like this, where it shows the creators, the actors, the producers, all saying, yeah, we created this character to be a Trumpian character. We created this character to be a Nancy Pelosi type character. I based my character off of AOC. Send them those articles because that's undeniable truth. Yes, it is being injected into our pop culture. Uh, yes. Uh, maybe if they were going for the uh, plastic surgery look where it doesn't look like her face can emote anymore, maybe that's what they were talking about because, maybe. yeah, that looked a little similar, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Looked like her skin was being stretched like that. Uh, yeah, and or. I don't know. I mean, if people like it, that's great. I just I, I find it, like, not compelling, but I, I'm like, I'm so out on Star Wars. I'm super black billed on Star Wars, admittedly. I, uh, I don't think it's compelling, uh, but I do think it's competent so far. Yeah. Um, and we'll see if it is building somewhere. Uh, yeah, th this is, you got like, for me, it's lots like of I'll reserve judgment until the, the whole season's done. Um, for now, it's got enough of my interest that I would keep watching. And yeah, I, I was the most down on this show for like out of anyone um i very much thought like who the fuck cares about a prequel of a prequel of a character that no one cared about in the first <laughs> place like what is the point of this show even um and then yeah so the first couple of episodes and i was like wow this uh this is shot with a bit of directorial flair and the characters actually feel like they were written by adults like i'm shocked this doesn't feel like disney star wars in the slightest maybe it's just that maybe it's lowered expectations at this point um yeah, I'll give it a little bit more time. See how it see how it develops. Maybe it'll be shit. I don't know. Sometimes, like sometimes they manage to to crap out something decent. All right, you know, we got No Way Home. 
in the middle of like stage four, which is just god awful. They just announced uh, Deadpool three, which I'm sure a bunch of people are excited about. Wolverine's coming back, yeah. Then it's gonna be PG thirteen and disappoint the fuck out of everybody, and there'll be a bunch of and produced gay by innuendo. <laughs> That's what, all what do you think about my theory that that is that they literally came up with that a week ago? I agree with like, that a thousand I makes percent. total sense. Here's the, here's the evidence, Ryan. Hugh Jackman just started fucking working out. Uh, you had D23 <laughs> two fucking weeks ago, and you couldn't eke yep. out just an announcement? Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Like yeah. yeah, when I started like thinking about that and the fact that it was a couple weeks after D23, that it was a very like embarrassing D23 for them. People were upset. Like People were actually mad that they didn't come out and announce really anything that people cared about. And uh, when then you have a teaser trailer that looks like it was filmed in Ryan Reynolds' house in about eight hours – like total with all the editing and everything involved. And then it's an announcement of a, something that's coming out two years from now. It's like, that is total. It, like, Hey, we need something that'll like get yeah. people excited. If that we is, know that's uh, a win. Yeah. Let's just sign these contracts, make a little teaser and tell people it's coming. And guess yeah, what? Producing, that, like, like you said, producing that, that video, I've, I've produced videos that quickly. You can have the idea that morning, go shoot it in your living room, have it edited. Ready Here's for the saddest part. Yeah. Here's the saddest part. It trumps everything they've announced over the last two years. It absolutely yeah. just... Yeah. And, and everybody talking about it. I mean, how much like, money it, must they have thrown at Hugh Jackman, though, to get him oh, to do this? Because yeah. he was done after Logan, <laughs> man. He was like, that's that's it. I've capped it off. I've given him a good send-off. I don't want to do it And this is it. Right Ryan Reynolds yeah, isn't going to go... Like, this is going to be the last Deadpool film. This is, like, he's not going to... Like, he's not getting any younger, either. And, it, yeah. like, that sequel... This, the last one came out in 2018. That's a long time ago. It's mm -hmm. a long time ago. Six, yeah. six years between. Yeah. Them. yeah and the second well, one to, to, wasn't to that point, as good as the first. It just wasn't. That, That's stupid. That kid. adds to the point that I, I do think Ryan's on to something about that theory because the last one came out in 2018. Look, I'm not the I'm not a huge Deadpool fan. I like the movies. It's first one's really fucking good. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't re remember if I how much I think I liked the second one. OK, I, I can't like really that. remember. It, so. it was yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and th now now you've got this so what, six years now is how far the, the movies are going to be apart. Now, that's a mega character that you have and they've had no focus to even have him intertwined in any of this you know now i know the announcement was just recent you know with the with the rights and everything but well, the thing he is doesn't, he's, he's, he doesn't fit into anything that they're doing he doesn't fit with their mm -hmm. their whole right. scheme of like movies ne and, like, neither, neither did captain marvel but they worked her in yeah so. <laughs> but he's not diverse is he I, so I, he's I, gonna, now they're working her yeah. out but the thing I, I is, he's the part of the he, he's part of the X Men mutants right. family, right? Yeah. So right. they haven't even introduced those characters. <laughs> They're still trying to figure out a way to do that. So to me, it makes sense that they haven't brought him in. It, it's it's but. funny though. It's such a weird holdover from that previous generation, though, isn't it? Like that that bringing Hugh Jackman back, you know, having Ryan Reynolds doing this again. Um, it, it's like. It's it, a, it's obviously they, not. It sounds desperate. It's, it's a huge. It's, yeah, it's not what Disney would want to do. I didn't think. Think. It's so funny. They've been desperate to try and find new flagship characters to lead Marvel into the future, and they've all been failing. It's like, what do we? All what, of them. We, we need a strong man again to just. We need a sure yeah. thing. Hey, yeah. a sure thing. Hey, excuse me. Can we get some more straight white males here, please? <laughs> Thank you. Give it. Give it another year or two. They will get um, Robert Downey Jr. back. They'll find yeah. a way to bring Armor him back. Wars. I don't I think he so wants to come back. I don't. When not, they don't. Big enough when, check. When, when Robert Downey Jr. keeps coming up with movies that nobody watches until he's in Iron Man, he'll come back. Yeah, yeah. totally. I, I look, Robert Downey Jr. is a, a big star, but he does not pull when it's when he's not in an MCU film yeah. or or some type mm -hmm. of property. He just doesn't, um, yeah. and that's kind of goes for almost anybody at this point. The, the year, the time of the movie star outside of your Tom Cruise is pretty much dead. Yeah, so dead. they have to be attached to a big character now. What a coincidence! At the advent of social media, the the movie star dies. Weird, so strange. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, hey, as as uh, I'm just sharing my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 Bring it. Uh, there's bring a couple it of those that, out there. You there's give a couple. me that, and I'm gonna be ten out of ten, just like IGN. You give there's me a that. tempest in me. I've been uh, saying I it with that. Yeah. <laughs> Go yeah, ahead. Like, that, that's a 
That's a straight up drinker recommend right there. <laughs> when I look at this, I don't see anything more ridiculous than what I saw in the last episode. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's that's my point because when I watched, like, I like the Fast and Furious movies, uh, but when I started, when it got to a point where it got nonsense, I'm like, if I don't have dinosaurs in space and Vin Diesel just out there with a no, Vin Diesel just breathe in space at this point without any kind of equipment. If I don't see that, I'm going to be disappointed. That's where I'm at with Rings of Power. If I don't see a fucking t-rex and a damn gatlin gun like that and galadriel just mowing people down I, that i'm gonna be disappointed because that's where we are with this show i watched that film doctor who did, I would, doctor, I would doctor, watch it yeah. doctor, doctor who did dinosaurs on a spaceship that was the name of the damn yes, episode yeah. dinosaurs honestly, on a spaceship who did this who written did by this chris chibno i know it who did the meme? it was meme. a shitty episode who, who did the meme right here as who this we get is, uh, who, because because this is better Stockman, quality than Ring of Power. Tom Stockman. <laughs> oh! oh, there's another angle. Oh! With the volcano in the bag. Oh! Wow. All right. I love it. <laughs> look here, showrunners. <laughs> this is how it's done. Look at the look at her, look at the look on her face, though. That is a great. It looks like she's taking a shit. Uh, that's... <laughs> Hey, uh, Quarter Black, let's let's bring up the IGN article first, and then we'll go uh, over the yes. episode, and then maybe we can go into She-Hulk. I mean, it's only 23 minutes. I, I don't want to go into She-Hulk. <laughs> no one does. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, 10 out of 10, baby. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. The tides of battle just keep turning in a thrilling and devastating episode. Hmm. <laughs> they call that mm. thrilling. It ended like a thrilling. Hey, I, I, I look. Oh, hold, I'll give, I, hold I'll give him credit. credit. I'll give him credit. I'm pulling for Adar at this point. I'm, I'm yeah. all in. I'm yeah, all yeah in. you I'm, got out of the cuffs at the end. He's a yeah. Winning, I'm 100 percent pulling for him. Like literally, I, I, nobody, nobody on the good side is likable. That I don't give a fuck about any of them. In fact. Galadriel is is genuinely an unlikable person in well, this show. Like I'm pulling well, against her well, as a viewer. She, Adar said it to her face. He was like, "You have darkness in you. Look how fucking evil you are." Yeah. I was like, oh, finally somebody says it in this show because she's been evil this oh. whole time. Yeah. What, what, what was he said? It's like if you want to go hunting for Sauron, maybe you should finish by looking in the she mirror. Wants to yeah. She wants to. Like you guys heard me last time. He said there's she darkness in you. I thought he meant he, that he fucked uh, Don Lemonless. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, you know, you get all those little story what ifs. The the one I wonder about is that. You know how they took a bunch of orcs prisoner at the end because you know orcs can surrender now apparently. <laughs> what would they have done with them if uh, this had all played out? Would they have rehabilitated them? Like would they have gone off to live yeah, peacefully? No, no. <laughs> Gal Galadriel <laughs> said she was just going to torture them and ethnically cleanse them uh, yeah. at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. what why would you take them prisoner? <laughs> You're just yeah. going to kill them anyway. I, I also She's on a mission someone, for genocide. I saw uh Steve <laughs> Kenobi tweeted out uh you know, they've been calling orcs black people in fantasy for yep. like a decade now. And then the storyline here is that Galadriel wants to ethnically cleanse the orcs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, see, these are white orcs. Yeah. These are white orcs. That's that's why they, they paid such the careful show. attention to make them as pale as they possibly yeah. could. Yeah. Well, uh, also, Shad, do you I'm know this gentleman? Uh, yeah, that's Matt. Matt, what are, what's going on? He's reacting. Uh, I He's react like he actually has some interesting criticisms as well. That's not a pushover, so I, I wonder why they're linking that video. I think they're just <laughs> trying to use it. Look, look, it's all approved. When I, I just brought up that video briefly, and even in the first like few seconds, Matt says, "Yeah, you know, stepping on a sharp sword might not be the best thing." When he's talking about like the, the sword flicking thing, so I, I'm not sure that you know that video. Well, is in their IGN media, template for writing articles, they needed media in between these two. So like, okay, here, and then we need to put media. Look, hmm. type in uh, Rings of Power, that one. Put it in there. Yeah, they wanted to they get a thumbnail that could potentially look positive. Yeah. It wasn't like Shad just like clawing his eyes out and just written <laughs> <laughs> all over. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They really go ten out of ten for this. Gary, you should Gary, since you're you're crush every every video you make is crushing it. The next Rings of power. You should make you should make the thumbnail look super positive. 
just so IGN will link back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Since they clearly don't watch these videos, they only react to thumbnails. You should totally make it look like you love the show. And it just, like yeah, it. just give it a and sarcastic I, title like Rings of Power, greatest show I've ever seen. Greatest <laughs> thing. Yeah. Ten masterpiece. Ten. Masterpiece. 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 Thank you, Samantha. I'll just steal their headline. I'll just steal their fucking headline. Yeah. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> I, I wish I could be this easily impressed like Samantha Nelson there. It's like, this is like the greatest show you've ever seen <laughs> like masterpiece <laughs> 10 out of 10 really God, it, would actually be, it would be a really interesting experiment to make two thumbnails upload the same fucking video um uh, like the same exact video in like uh, 30 seconds apart i'll fucking public. do it one I'll is like do Jer it. jeremy's like you know with his fucking thumbs up the other one's like his head fucking down yeah. but you know rings Again, of power the greatest show ever and then the other one titled Rings of Power, the worst show ever. Don't release them, yeah. 30, yeah, don't release yeah, them 30 seconds apart. Don't, 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 no. don't, don't do it. I would say three so, hours apart. Experiment. Leave one and the hey, other and see what one happens. One night, I remember years ago, one night in like three o'clock in the morning, I uploaded four videos within 30 minutes just to see what would happen. And they all did really well, but it took like a few days. Like they didn't get like initial the notifications views, stop. Like, and then yeah, they yeah, and they all like they all were terrible for the first few hours. I'm like, I done fucked my whole channel. Channel. And then, like, they eventually did really well. But I'm like, fuck, I may do that again just for that. I'll do it on D Day Cobra. I'll do that exact thing on D Day Cobra to see what happens. Because I don't give a fuck. So, yeah. Why not? So, yeah, uh, IGN thought that was a masterpiece last night. 10 out of 10. Uh, Zach Hammond on the Streamlab side for $50. Thank you. Says, wife, the wife. Got me FNT Dallas poster for my birthday, and I bought... Well, that's a proper wife right there. Hell and I yeah. bought Shad's signed leather-bound novel. Just waiting on my ISOM, which is shipping to people now. Uh, appreciate and support people who do uh, do not hate me. Hail all. No, we don't hate you. No. no. That's been one of the worst things ISOMs. this week. Yeah, it's waiting I for love, my copy, right? I love seeing everybody getting in and having being excited, but I keep looking at my doorstep. I'm crying, yeah, because it's not yeah. there. Everybody loves it, sure. which is awesome. I, I listen. I haven't gotten uh, my eyes on uh, yet, but seeing the meltdown on Twitter has been <laughs> worth it. Like it is so good. It's like extra entertainment on top so of good. what you know I, I purchased. Like these people are coping worse than I've like in anything in our little corner of the internet. Like they are trying to find anything they can to justify all of the shit they've said and they are running out of things to say now so they're just inventing shit now they're literally mad because i guess ripa has a an ad for his wife's jewelry store in it that's that's what made them mad now so you're I, so you have a black so so the people that have talked about diversity inclusion representation and black voices matter and called all of us racist are mad because a black man created a comic book universe mm -hmm. and decided the only ad that he's going to put in there is for his wife a black woman who has her own company that made them mad fuck these people well, fuck i found a photo of one of them i, I think uh, yeah, this is every single well, one like... that has a problem with that <laughs> yes. yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> the, the progression of their arguments, as far as I could tell, was like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's all fake. You didn't sell any copies. Then it was like, yep. you're only popular because you're YouTube following. <laughs> Nobody actually cares about your comic books. Then it was like, well, they're actually garbage. Uh, and then it was like, you're never going to ship them. And now it's <laughs> yep. gotten to the point where it's like, well, okay, you know, you've shipped them and they are real and people like them. But, you know, have you sold 10 billion copies and got the award <laughs> yeah. for greatest yeah. comic book ever? Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. <laughs> it's like, yes, as if that's some kind of own. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy, man. It's, it's into that, is it, that it's Vicky great to see, fuck yeah. that just, that's just, look, fucking who, stinks who? cat piss. You stink cat piss. Who? So that's Vicky verse, isn't it? All she I does even is name fucking I her even life. Name her him. whole life is complaining about people who actually do something with their lives on Twitter. Oh, that's an, her whole she's life. She's an ankle biter. She's an oh, ankle biter. Okay. Yeah. She's not biting the, but just biting the ankles. She's she's getting covered in cat piss. She's eating kitty litter. Then she's biting ankles and then actually making herself go septic. Oh. That's that's about. Well, as that, far that, as that sounds like goes. a problem that'll take care of itself eventually. You know, it's just oh. one of those things. The universe kind of tends to unfold as it should. Uh, you want to pull up the like video, 50, Garrett? Fifty something or some shit. Get uh, get our uh, rings of power. Uh, there's a bunch of people out there. Like uh, it's a, it's a, 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 I don't know what to say about it. It's um, there's there's one particular guy that's that 
really gets mad at Jeremy for make what got mad at Jeremy for making too many Captain Marvel videos, then made three I'll, times I'll, I'll as many videos, <laughs> made three times as many videos about Jeremy than Jeremy ever could make about <laughs> Captain Marvel. And it's and it's weird. And Jeremy's married. Okay, he's a happily married guy. He's not into the D, uh, and if he was into the D, I don't think he'd be into you, but, you know, keep trying, <laughs> champ. It's it's fantastic to watch the meltdowns just continue, man. So we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, that's why we got almost 17,000 people watching right mm. now. Hail Friday oh, no. night. Nice. Get Orlando. Hey, Orlando, we're plugging right now since there's 17,000 of you. There Orlando, you 30. Orlando. Be there. Pull up the video. By the way, yeah. and gamers, come uh, on. Go RSVP. Yeah. Shut, yeah. So go RSVP. The second yep. meetup is completely booked. The first meetup, we still have some spots available. Not a lot. We're also planning out potentially a post meetup at Universal City Walk. That way, anyone that couldn't get in or you thought there was limited time, we're going to go out there. I can't speak for everyone. A lot of the Geeks and Gamers crew will be there. We're going to go to Universal City Walk and just hang out with you guys and bullshit until they run us out of the fucking parks. Uh, because so we get rained out again. Yeah, yeah. You guys are making time to come down there and see us, and it means the world yep. to us. Also, shout out to all of you. We sold a shit ton of those meetup shirts on 221B. Mm. Um, and uh, thank you guys for that. So, yeah, make sure you go over to geeksandgamers.com or the link that they're dropping in the chat and RSVP because we don't have a Be lot there. of spots available. And we're going to have some we're gonna have some badass people there too, man. It's, it's going to be cool as hell. So I cannot wait. Got the vid, quarter black. I got it. Mm. And we're not going to be able to see most of this. I did. I did this it's last night. Very dark. I, I couldn't this see is like shit. Game of Thrones. This is like season eight yeah. of episode three with Game of Thrones. Yes. You couldn't see yeah, shit. The Battle of Winterfell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is the opening scene. A dar grabbing some dirt. Uh, well, yeah, because I think he's making an like. Did he bury an orc or is he bringing another one? No, uh, he's, he's, he's he's planting seeds. Planting like, the seeds. You know, the seed. Remember yeah. the seed story from yeah, yeah. later, which oh, is yeah. gay as fuck. I I couldn't. It's, it's, that's what he's doing here at the clan rally. At, and that, I'm, before, I'm surprised there's not a burning cross right there. The it's awesome. Dude, and it's supposed to look like a clan rally. It's <laughs> so bad. It's so freaking bad. It's so obvious. I didn't know what that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's totally not authentic looking. Just saying. There's, those aren't tiki torches. Those are not. Tiki no. Torches. Uh, my fellow Charlotte Villians. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my Kyle Rittenhouse. My my Richard Spencers. Uh, yeah. What the hell? Did you notice <laughs> he was very specific about <laughs> my, my brothers and sisters, just to make sure that you did understand yes, that we're female yes, orcs. Yes, I, I did see some female orcs. We're, we're narrowing the too. immorality gap. Uh, this is a dar the inclusive. Be, you know, yes. be nice. Yeah. Body positive. So dar. he said we're going <laughs> to... We're gonna go and female? fight, and then all of a sudden they're at the they're at the village. By Calvin Klein. Now the village is empty, but um nobody could tell because it's so fucking dark. Uh, but uh, yeah, then the the this is the tower, right? Not the this village. The tower. Yeah. No, not this, the, yeah, this they arrive the, at the tower. This is the vor the watchtower, the fortified watchtower. That's right. Um, <laughs> as, is that how you're supposed to shoot uh, an arrow, though? By the way, when he shot oh, why not? The Rosie O'Donnell, he's not it's, it's not the best way. You can shoot it; you can get accurate, but there's a reason why it's rarely used historically. It's uh, sideways specifically. They just wanted to make him look different, and he's like, gangster. oh, how cool he well, is! Well, trust me, he already looks. He already looks different. Uh, <laughs> so, so you're saying? Wait, he's holding his bow like he holds his knife. Like, you know, like that, 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 yeah, that, 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 that grip is a weird way to do it. Non ergonomic. And just isn't that is actual the, fact? The he was, well, the way he was holding it, like the, the string was right up against his uh, arm. tricep. So, isn't that going to totally fuck up his arm when he yeah. loses the like, arrow? He yeah, that's, that's gangster, it, yeah. bro. Well, it's, it, the, one of the orcs, right? When, the one that's at, shooting Galadriel, not only is he doing thumb grip, but he has the arrow on the outside, is actually doing a very authentic arm. Um, the orc is better at archery, basically, than, than this guy. <laughs> well, well, the stunt men are probably draw. actually trained. So, it's like shooting a gun like this, but you just turned it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they they wanted to give him the gangster way to yes. fucking shoot a gun. I'm a gangster elf. <laughs> like, somebody put it. Somebody get a Tupac bandana and put on him right there. Uh, right that'd there. be perfect. <laughs> oh, so, uh, yeah. Legion of Memers, make it happen. They do. So. <laughs> and, and, and his his all, throughout all this time, his fade is looking fresh. Looking tight. fresh. <laughs> looking fresh, bro. Fresh, bro. Oh, no time has passed. No time yeah. has passed. <laughs> He's still lined the fuck up. <laughs> 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 oh my god so yeah this battle oh, yeah, like lasts a couple of minutes and they topple the tower 
uh, pretty easily. Sorry, what's it, going on? I just see a black screen. Um, That's I don't I know. I'm just assuming this happened. Okay. Did you like how a dog like, avoided the tower falling, though? He looked up, calculated where all the bricks would stand, and he stood in a gap and moved the other guy in a gap, and it's like, he we'll took be safe one now. step back. Yeah, he's really I, good, Disparo. He's really, I'll really say, good. I will say, like, cause cause everyone's saying it was real dark. I didn't have an issue watching it. Like, I, it looked dark for sure, but it wasn't. To me, it wasn't unwatchable at all. At least not on my TV. Yeah, I, mean, I, yeah, I was watching it in the daytime, screen. and like, yeah, even with the the blinds drawn, that was mm. still light coming it, in, so you couldn't see it that great. Yeah, it I, certainly I, wasn't as bad as that Game of Thrones episode I was referencing, but it, it was yeah. dark. But it, it was, wasn't okay. This dark as the Game of Thrones. I, I was. don't besmirch my home theater with this garbage. I watch it on my computer. Okay, just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to be honest, yeah, I, I do I, not sully. I, Wait, I, I sully my question, screen actually, when I think it with when I think about the geography of this battle. So they toppled this tower they managed to evacuate this fortified tower so that they could lure the orcs in topple here. the tower on top of them and then made their way back to the village which is actually inside enemy territory and none of the orcs saw any of them do yeah. that mm -hmm. it's baffling How, yeah it is really confusing it's like uh, they so the orcs are coming it. from this way and yeah, i thought like, the village was over here but now they're over here and the village is over here now I don't, no, no, I don't, they, I don't they, the village is the... in the same spot. They actually look up to the tower and they see the orcs between them and the tower. And there was the main road and they imply the only way to leave the tower is across the bridge. But suddenly they're at the village <laughs> and, and no or, no orcs saw them at all. Like, so how oh, did they do stuff. that? Yeah. They teleported. It's bullcrap. Mm -hmm. There's no Just way like they the Numenorians. Ah, oh, ridiculous. Just like, it's as if it's the show shit. Yeah, this is it. They're looking up at look the tower. Look at my great scene. plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Now and the king is the only attractive person in that entire fucking village. Everybody yeah. else just looks like old weathered dog shit. Perfect skin cleavage out. Got it. She is like she is shocking in a lot of ways because it's like they actually had an actress who looks like a woman in it. Like Galadriel <laughs> just has the body of a ten year old boy for some yeah. reason. But like this one actually <laughs> You know, she actually has she has breasts and she yeah. has like a figure, yeah. and the 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 sh the show actually allows you to see a tiny bit of it, and it's like holy shit! I didn't know you were allowed to do that. Now, uh, she's hot. I mean, she's yeah. annoying as hell in the I show. Mean, but to be fair, that is like one of the only ways that a woman could get men to listen to her is you know to actually yeah. you know show her tits. She was oh. in uh, she was in Counterpart. She's, she's no she's no dude, but she'll do. She was in Counterpart. <laughs> Which had a really, <laughs> really, really good first season. Uh, Counterpart was mm -hmm. an awesome show. Crazy. Uh, cra I, I don't know if you guys ever watched it. It was. I saw it. Yeah, it was. I, supposed I, I really like those things where you've got two things running in parallel. Any story like that, I'm. I'm yeah, hooked. it was. And J.K. Simmons just fucking killed it in that show. And it's supposed to be. You're kind of like at uh, a demilitarized zone or a Berlin Wall. Where uh, their two reality basically split off, so perfect copies of yourself were made in another universe, but then they started to drift, and it turned into a, like a spy thing. And one mm. side wanted to destroy the other. Uh, it's fucking good. It's good. Mm. Uh, J.K. Simmons' best acting job, I think, uh, outside of James. He's Jonah great. In I, I love the episode where it went right back to the start and showed you the decision that changed everything. Yeah, and oh. I, I always love how like one decision like butterflies out into just massive world-changing events. And they, that's how bad this show is. We're and they talking thought about, about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to not talk about this show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We're back to Rings of Power. <laughs> Not to a show that got canceled. <laughs> canceled after two Just, fucking uh, seasons. What a great show it was. Yeah. I wish I was watching that. <laughs> that I, I wish I was doing taxes right now. Uh, Literally anything. Anything. Else. Oh, look. It's the ships that have all the it's horses. It's the three ships. That's, that's the mighty the invasion. Tiny look at the scale. Yeah, I know. They can go up a river. They're Mary Poppins ships. There's I no mean, way. It, Horses can. I don't even believe the six stables could fit into that. And I know it's supposed I to be. I, I am. I am no military expert, right? But I am just surmising here. If you are going to stage an invasion of a foreign land and you are going to potentially be battling hordes of orcs, numbering in the thousands, you're going to want to go all in on this one because if you send a few hundred people, they're just going to get massacred. So you either send no one or you send like your entire military to to do this. But going in like this with 300 men 
It just kind of seems like you're a bit under-equipped for what you're taking on here. They got Guy Ladriel. She she piggybacked everybody over the mountains and the horses, too. She just <laughs> slapped them over her shoulders and just carried them over. Uh, that's all right. You have to hold territory as oh, well. They've not even thought about that. No. You can't just clean it. No. Well, I mean... Well, she she's ethnic cleansing, dude, so... <laughs> she okay, let me see. Sure okay, no maybe there's eight back. horses here. One, two, three, four, five, Ooh, ten total. There's five on each um, side. There's five yeah. on each side. I can't see so shit. That, <laughs> I don't believe there are ten horses in those boats. There's no way. And the hundred men. And the food supplies. Uh, but this is a, a great... <laughs> and their armory. A great scene where uh, a Sildor uh, ha is subservient to the commander of the Nor Northern Armies. He's like, excuse me, commander. I'm so sorry. Oh, commander. Uh, uh, there was a scene halfway through in, uh, when Arondir is like, oh my god, it's Galadriel! I know. The commander of the Northern <laughs> Army. Uh, yeah. They keep repeating that, that over and over. The commander of the Northern Army. It's like Army. everybody, it's like fucking Ace Rimmer just like walked into the scene and <laughs> suddenly yeah. everyone's like, what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this is, yeah, this is how, this is how Luke Skywalker should have been treated in the sequel trilogy. Like how they treat Galadriel. Yeah, how much reverence she gets. Yes, yes, like she's, she's just so revered and it's so cringe Guys. to see how, how try, they're trying so hard to put And see, her that over. would be this would be great, though, if she was in the position she should be in, not the commander of the Northern Armies. If they were going, oh, that's Galadriel. The, the You know, like, with reverence, and she's such a great person that she does all these things. But this is all just the commander of the Northern Army. They just keep repeating that same thing over she's and over. On she a kills character orcs. Arc. She's the scourge of the orcs. Quarter black. She's on a character arc that in about six years' time, when okay. season three okay. comes out, we'll start liking her. <laughs> Great. They've, they've already said that. That's in the, the show character. that she's indistinguishable from a human unless you see her ears. So there's no reason anyone should be impressed with her just riding past on like a Like right now, is she an elf? I don't even know. Okay, and that's, her hair that's, so, up her ear. that's so fucking wrong in every way. Uh, elves are well, yeah, very in, in the distinguishable show. <laughs> from humans. Yeah, they, I, I get like in the show. I gotta yeah. stop going. Lore doesn't matter. It just doesn't. She has mm -hmm. a presence to her. Aren't She's got to like emit light almost. Like there's something about her that draws people yeah. in. Oh, she admits and in something. This, just, like, like I can cover my hair and they think I'm a human. Ethereal, she's, yeah. She's so, yeah, she's just so plain and mundane when you see her in this, in her armor. She could just be anyone. Um, but are yeah. the Numenorians not meant to be, like, proper, like, superhumans? Like, they're, like, the Middle-Earth yeah. equivalent of Captain America. Like, they should all be about six foot six. Average like, average huge, height, powerful. average height of, well, she's supposed to be six four. Average height of six four. Elendil is, like, seven foot eleven. There, he's big. That's a big dude. And he's big he's dude. shorter than she is uh, right now. Alindale the tall. Is she up on a step? Well, that's a Sildor. A Sildor's tall too, but Alindale's a big boy. Uh, it's just uh, is Sildor such a fucking dork in this? I know he's. I just hate him. No. He's he's like yeah he's. He oh, looks like he's so he's so weak and he's so. They put her on like, an apple box. They looks, put her on an apple box. Look looks, at this. You see how high she is compared to him. And then this shot, she's, she's definitely way shorter than him. Oh, yeah. That's awful. And then she slips upwards and she's still shorter than him. Ah, that's really good. See, I, I, just, I, see, I actually assume that she was on like a, a step higher. I did like, too. Actually I on did the too. ship. You know what but I mean? But they're on the same level. They're on the same level. If I could find that shot again. Oh, no. When yeah, I imagine done. she like, because he's kind of walking up steps, right, to get um, like to the, to the front of that ship. So that's what it looked you like to you, me. You always He's get trying. that forced perspective with with um, you know cinema and stuff like where yeah. the, whatever characters in the yeah, foreground right here, just yeah. which one's to more in power? Be taller, like yeah. I don't know why it does Qu that. Quarter Black's trying everything he can. To I'm find trying it. to find He's that trying. shot. That's He's the, at that point. He's going to get ten more minutes about. until he finds oh, well. it. Uh, <laughs> last, well, no, I think you're on the same level. Last night, I mean, I haven't gone back Earth! and i will yeah. <laughs> no steps involved i haven't shit <laughs> involved. i haven't gone back but I, I will i will go back and i'm pretty sure that i'll say 95 percent of the decisions and anything that motivates a male character is a female a female is in power a female will mm -hmm. suggest the the right yes. thing to do uh mm -hmm. and and it's almost like they have a chart they have they have the Bechtel test chart. We're like, well, oh, there's rules. There's absolutely rules. Yeah, there is. Or maybe a behave. dry erase board. Maybe a dry erase board. Yeah, <laughs> maybe dinosaurs. Before. That's yeah. on our dry erase. Board. <laughs> well, just like when Don Lemon was about to be killed, who saved him? The woman. Yeah, the of woman. course. So I we'll get to that. Yep. over it. 
at the end of this, where everything's wrapped up and you come into the end and Mir- Muriel appears, and Arinder has done literally everything the entire episode. He saved the people, he made the plan, he t- saved the tower, he was the best fighter and everything, and then Muriel comes along and goes, well, you know, you are one of the best leaders. And <laughs> I Arinder know. just steps back as if nods yeah. to him. Yeah, you yep. did everything. I'm Sim- just going to go over here now where I belong. I'm like, what is that going on? That shit was so predictable. Sim- <laughs> You are Especially so amazing. Says, I, I was like waiting for that moment when he's fighting that orc and she comes up and saves the day. It's like, I fucking yep. knew it. Everybody and, and it, Then it gets Everybody even worse did. because she immediately surrenders her power to a man, which would be Halbrand. But when it turns out that he's Sauron, it's going to turn out that no, she should have kept the power all along yeah. because otherwise you just surrender it to evil and actually women are the ones that should be in charge. Yeah. <laughs> even Never give it to a man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's and th- that is the one thing we have to keep in mind while talking about this is that every person who comes back and says, "Oh, look at what Halbrand he's he's showing Galadriel that you know she maybe needs to be a little more humble, needs to have more tact, or things like that." Like we heard early on in the episodes, it's all gonna be for naught because Sauron is Halbrand. So <laughs> like that, <laughs> she should have never listened to anything he said. Did, That's how it's did all. She set him did up. Did you not love that line from Galadriel as well? Like when she encounters the Zildur and he's in the stables, like sweeping up. Or like, sorry, um, you know, he explains that he's just like a stable keep. Yeah, and that's the only um. job he's got. And uh, and she's like, oh, don't, don't, um, you know, don't overlook the task that teaches you humbleness. And I just thought, <laughs> God damn, coming yeah. from you, that is some yeah, fucking no, language. That's rich. <laughs> rich. That is coming rich. from this. Do you mean, do you mean like uh, th- your thirst isn't quenched by drinking seawater? As in, killing Adar won't get vengeance, and, 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 then, and she's on a quest they, they of both vengeance. Stop each, the, yeah, Wait. that was weird. They both stop each other from killing him when they wanted so to. Like, and then the previous which, which episode, one of you is actually the previous episode, she said, "I can't stop. I can't stop until I'm done. Until I've eradicated them all." And then she said that she she tries to talk fucking Hal. Sorry, Sauron. Sorry, Halbrand out of a vengeance. It makes no fucking sense. <clears throat> and, and well, like, even in this she's looking for Sauron no man. our brain I think our brain just naturally wants to try to make sense out of this sheer stupidity <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? I, I think so in this is what I will say with the hall brand scene she wants to get all the information she can out of him and then likely kill him in a fucking horrific way like that's that's why she stops um that's she, why she, she hurt her, her goal is Sauron yeah. Her goal yeah, is no, but yeah. she directly contradicts herself. She's like literally about 30 seconds before she goes to kill him. She says, I'm going to kill everyone, you know, I'm going to wipe everyone out and I'm going to and leave then immediately. you to last. And when now I'm going to do it through your rust. So she's already telling him that and he's yeah. going and to okay. die. And so we... I'm literally going to save you to last. What oh, motivation? No. Wait, wait, wait. Can we just appreciate for a moment that guy Galadriel said this? The character of Galadriel says, I'm going to yes. fucking take your entrails out and fucking strangle you with them <laughs> and cut all your people. <laughs> Uh, so oh, such hey, an awful, this is, unlikable. This is character. the sea is always right. This is the best. Right here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch drowned. No, no, no. That's how the meme needs to go. So the meme needs to go back to that last shot where he's looking back at her. Okay. So the meme needs <laughs> oh, to so say, What one. happened to your wife? And then he says, she drowned. she drowned. And then it shows him look at that saying, the sea is always right. The delivery. You got to get one of him smiling. Somehow you got to get one of him smiling. That's it. No, he's he's got to smile on you. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little smirk. <laughs> the, thing is, uh, the delivery I, I of that it. line was so jarring because she asked uh, what happened. And then he decides not to answer. And he gives this whole big thing about the sun. And, yeah, sets so good, you know? and then, um, and then it's like, the he, he dies back here. She died and walks away. And I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, he, he, he says all this the same fucking pseudo intellectual bullshit they're always pushing, and then he just turns back and's like, "Yeah, bitch couldn't swim." All right. Also, why does his suit? Why does his armor look so much smaller in it comparison to all weird. the other ones it, he's it been does. wearing? It does look weird. It does. It, it looks like it looks like he it looks, looks like <laughs> cheap crap. It's made out of foam. It, it looks yeah. like you know, it, the, like I, I you know how everyone question. was making fun of of Muriel's armor, like how it's like the dragon scale kind of effect. But then there's like a printed on t shirt <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> like, <cover up> the <laughs> yeah, the they don't they even is. try to hide well, that in the show. Like um, she's uh, full on like stood there, and you can see right through the gaps in the armor, and it's just like a printed t shirt underneath. Uh, 
With the also, same like, pattern. Like maybe the reason that his dumb fucking wife drown is because anytime <laughs> they go on boats, they have full sets of armor on. <laughs> <laughs> For the voyage. <laughs> oh. it does, like that armor does because it looks so small. We all have that t-shirt that we shouldn't have dried, you know? He's a bro. He's a bro, like, man. It looks like he threw it in a dryer and it wasn't supposed to be dried and it's just a little... Snug. Like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not ready to part with it yet. I, I, I can get a few more wears out of it. Hang on, it still fits. His armor, his armor has scale on the front, but on behind, it's all smooth. And it's all smooth. <laughs> it's just leather. Oh yeah, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, is that supposed to be is that supposed to be armor or boiled leather? Like, what the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> no, no, no. It's because the sea is always right, Gary. Is the sea is always animal? right. All right. Okay, okay, okay. It only had budget for the front half. Back half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Can man. I just say about the editing as well? How absolutely garbage okay, it is the... in this episode. Stay oh, right there. You mean the love it's of the Dutch jungle in virtually oh, every scene? There was there's that. that. There's that scene where where Don Lemonloss is like about to die with the orc. And he's like in this battle battle and it's like, you know, she comes up and saves him. And then the next scene, he's up and walking around and they're looking at the village. And I was like, wait a minute. He was just he was just what? in an intense fight. Like what? sitting there at the end of that fight, right? At the end of that fight, the... he's like getting attacked and then they beat the, the orc or whatever. And then they turn and then the battle's over. There's like no con like connecting tissue. <laughs> I, I say, love... Oh, they, they defeated them. Oh, I love how that giant, gi giant orc does the whole Terminator thing where it just keeps picking him up and <laughs> yeah. throwing him around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, fucking hell, just like put a sword through his face. I know, like, but he doesn't have a sword. All of a sudden he doesn't have a sword. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't have hey, a guys. weapon. Guys, all, all dad bods are now represented in this armor, though. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 He's got moves. Look at those moves. But I was going to say as well, like, during, like during the battle scene, you know when the, the villagers have been pushed back into the tavern and the orcs are breaking through the doors and it's like, oh shit, this is it. They're about to get killed. And uh, yeah, that's when the camera just like switches over to like the Numenorians hey, slowly good galloping across a field. But there's no linkage between them and there's no like indication of how close they are to each other. It's like they're trying for that same effect that you got at the Battle of Helm's Deep. Where Theoden and the others like ride out to battle the orcs, and then that's when Gandalf appears and they they charge the the Urukai, but that was all linked together because they could see each other. The, there was a like proper scenes that actually established where everyone was in relation mm -hmm. to each other. Here, there's nothing, and so there's no indication of like how long it's taken these guys to get here, <clears throat> or like how far away they are. There's no tension. There's no sense of pace or anything. That's like all throughout this episode. There's no sense of like how the battle is progressing or where yeah, anyone yeah. is in relation right. to each other. I, I, it's we don't actually know how worse they got that. from the tower. Yeah, we don't know how they got from the tower to the village. But even it, when their cavalry arrives, right, that that they retreat into the tavern after you know the, the, the battle and everything, and it's like maybe one two hours into the night. You would assume the orcs would attack just at nightfall, and then <clears> that you're telling me the orcs couldn't bust down a dinky crappy door on an inn because the only time they break through it. Is now morning when the Numenorians arrive. It took them all night to bust down that door, and then they. Oh, we'll, we'll get to the scenes where they're arriving in, in the daylight, and they they switch back to the night. Uh, yes, but but yes. the worst part, like <laughs> this, is the repurposing. So the sword hilt is basically the ring. You can't destroy it. Uh, it makes the 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 bearer, the holder of the sword hilt, feel powerful. It's drawn to the darkness. Uh, this is like bad reboot repurposing 101. There's no reason, like, you didn't need to do any of this. But the marketing <laughs> department's like, we need somebody to remind somebody that this is Lord of the Rings <clears throat> so we can have, like, a ring-like object, except this time it'll be a sword hilt. Um, Lord of the Swords. Lord yeah. of the Swords. <laughs> sword Lords. And, and it's a key to open a spillway on a dam. <laughs> <laughs> to ignite a, a volcano. Sword. But no, no, there's the no connection the between the dam and the volcano. That, yeah, they had to dig all these tunnels and everything to connect it. When they built the spillway and the they, key, there was no connection to the volcano. Yeah, did they ever establish there was a volcano there in this show? I don't remember no. them establishing that. No, really. It just no. kind of appeared. Like, they just assumed that you would know that there was a volcano there because... It's more TV. More. It's it's an origin story. They, okay. they got, it's they, it's got mithril all over it. Oh, 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 there's one there. there's one point where someone mentions Orodrun, 
like the name of the mountain before it became Mount Doom. That's literally yep. all you get. Mm. In and, this, well, the in name of the episode, episode is that, supposed to be the episode? valley in in Mordor too, but I, I it didn't look like a valley to me. As and I were talking about, it, it looks kind of like Rolling Hills uh, yeah, here it does. to me. Uh, but then we get a whole long scene between Bronwyn and Don Lemonless, and uh, they make out. Uh, oh yeah, talk about seeds. Oh yeah, for fucking it feels like an hour. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this is where they're like, hey, they totally dug tunnels, and they remind us, and then they cover them up, and then somehow they forge a sword in the amount of time that they left the watchtower to go take <laughs> cover in the fucking <laughs> village. Forced to show a sword, an entire sword. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. This this is the episode of Boba Fett or, or oh. no Mando. Whenever they were all getting the the oh, villagers, the they're they're. Cutting down little sticks, and they're gonna dig holes and put spikes yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, of it. let's That's go hide out in the village. Let's thing. go hide out in the village with the thatched fucking roofs. That's a great place to go. <laughs> you know, this um, is our key. Very quickly, the entire crowd when, going, the, when the orcs attack the tower at the beginning, that's when they're just about to launch their assault. Then they realize they're not there. Some of them, undisclosed, get killed by the tower falling on them. There's still a truckload behind, and then the village is about 800 meters away going, yay! Yeah. <laughs> what, if orcs, what if the orcs just went, all right, let's go there? Uh, yeah. I yeah. can see their torches. Yeah. Yeah. Oi, over there. Seriously, the, like, the show actually demonstrates how quick it is to get from the tower to the village, because Theo, that kid, in the other episode, leaves to go get food. Like, it only takes an hour. And so why the hell did the orcs take all night, uh, and then they couldn't do anything in the daytime, so it took them a night and a day to bother mm. going down to the village. Well, when you're marching like that, it takes a little what? bit longer. <laughs> why uh, Why are the villagers even trying to hold this area in the first place? Why I don't know. They just bail the fuck out. Just and just just it's like, they you know what? Retarded. If you if you want Mordor, it's all yours, guys. Have fun. We're out of here. <laughs> yeah. like, it's not like our land. Like valuables or possessions. or like Just leave. Just this take our land. Your, your scraps and get the what? fuck out. What are they going to do? They can't replace their fields full of shit that they roll around. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bunch all of, of their inspirational speech stuck. where she starts with, well, we survived the first battle. It's like, no, you ran away from the first battle. So <laughs> by your own logic, you should run away from this one as yeah. well. It's like, no, we can do gonna, it again. <laughs> we couldn't hold a tower, but we can definitely hold this village, which is open on four sides. <laughs> it's insane. It's utterly insane, their logic here. Hey, it worked in Seven uh, Samurai. Just... Why can't it work here? So, yeah. wait, when that woman, the, her friend, gets fucking stabbed, I, I clapped. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, just, <laughs> right she, she there, got right, her friend right, killed, yeah. And I love how they decide to fight the enemy with fire in the buildings with the thatched and wooden with roofs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Basically a tinder, tinder box ready to go. Yep. It's essentially like the Summer of Love where they just destroyed their own communities. Yeah, it's, a, it's exactly <laughs> like that. Keep. Mostly they had their peaceful. own chaz right here. They did. <laughs> Beautiful chaz. They were, they were the falling. orcs escaped the fire by just kicking over a wooden pillar and walking out. <laughs> it's like that was the best plan. <laughs> yeah. The Doesn't only even people who aren't fucking constantly looking like shit are these Is two. These two people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to that Alexis crowd shot. Shower. Every fucking person just Looks fucking dirty for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did like when they said they could smell Arendur. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are your company. It's no surprise. And <laughs> I can't believe oh, they actually gave him a fade too. That's Jesus Christ. Now that's a haircut. Look at that guy. They fucked this guy over. They get fucking Arondir with his hair all lined up in a nice fade. Then Theo just looks like a well. It's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's, it's the Will Byers. It's the Will Byers. It's, it's to cover up his elf ears. Ah, yes. he's an elf. Yes, he's half elf. Half yeah. elf. Yeah, half elven. Oh, Nick's sorry, Nick's brother. Spoilers. Wait, is, is, is he a Rondier's kid? Probably. Yeah, uh, maybe. That's it the, doesn't look like they fucked, the... though. It doesn't yeah, look it looked like, like it was the first time they kissed. Like, I, I thought, if he's half elven, wouldn't it be taking him, like, maybe 50, 60 she is years just to a... even get that old? Maybe like, she, I thought yeah. they aged younger. I maybe maybe she's her. just a Middle-earth... Uh... <laughs> Are you trying to yeah, respect man. lore there? Yeah, it sounds just, like you're trying to respect lore. Older, yeah, she, older obviously, older. Bronwyn gets around. I she, no gets around. <laughs> she gets around. So clean. The she girl like, gets I'll heal you. I'll heal you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense now. What, what was uh, she, as she, as, does, she does healing massages as uh, <laughs> yeah. it, as yeah. what, what oh, was boy. Jane Theory's response to the three date rule again on your live stream? Uh, <laughs> I said to Jane Theory, I said. Uh, what what women was it? What did I say? So like what which what what type of woman does the three date rule? And Jane Theory just went 
Whores. <laughs> uh, she Hulk. That's it. Uh, <laughs> wait, some women wait till the third date. <laughs> Unless you buy them a plate of chips, in which case the uh, yes, Ryan. Them. Some women wait till the three date. I, yes, honestly, I didn't meet any of them, but that's all right. I'm sure they'll do. <laughs> some even wait until marriage. I didn't mean any of those either. Those are lies. <laughs> I corrupted <laughs> mine. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, oh, God. Here here's the scene. Um, guess Here it is. Guess who's coming to a. Oh, did you see the New York Times headline? Guess who's coming to Mordor? They, no. They did it. No. They did it. A, oh, wow. Oh, they actually did it. I was so happy. I was like, oh, my God. All we need is Harfoots of color. And then I've got, I've got it. I've got it. You just speak it into existence, Gary. I do. It's my bingo. It's a, tri it's a, well, what's a, what's, I can't, I know what a trifecta is. What's the fourth one? Can you have a quadfecta? Quadfecta? Probably I don't know. Quadfecta. I'm not a gambler. I'm not a sports gambler. Ryan would know. He's a de degenerate gambler. What, what, the tri the nails, is there, is there, can you, is there like a, 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 a you know, trifecta is three. Is there a four version of the trifecta? Is it a quadfecta or whatever? Can you like pick four? I don't four fucking know what they'd call it. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trifecta. Like a four, I don't know. Fucking 14. Uh, this is how bad this TV it. show is. We're talking about trifectas and quadfectas. Hey, I told you. That's show. the only time <laughs> I won. It's entertaining that way. The only time I won money gambling was on a trifecta betting on the NFL. Uh, long time ago. I won like a hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome. Nice. A whole hundred dollars. Whole hundred dollars, yep. Uh look at uh Don Lemonless. And his fade. And his Check it out, man. Look at that Don fade. fade. That's a Barack Obama haircut right there. Look at even got little waves up. in it. He's but got like, a durag somewhere in this yeah. it has ensemble. A has it yeah. grown out at all? And what would it look like if he grew his hair out? Would he leave like a Jackson 5 kind of afro going there? Like yeah, it'd be like sideways, and you'd have to get somebody to trim it up to make it shape up. Uh, let me make it uh, clear. We, uh, <laughs> we're going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I love this idea. Like, I, I would love to show this to Tolkien and just say, this is what, uh, this is what elves are going to look like in 2022. <laughs> for, for a man, I guess, didn't curse often, I think this would probably have him drop. He'd be a motherfucker, this <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hippies. <laughs> <laughs> they messed up my work. <laughs> he would go nuts, though. Like, have you read some of his letters criticizing some of these even really tepid adaptations? And he just ripped him a new one. And I, that was just people trying to be true. And then if you saw something like, this he would just spit chips the guy <laughs> can i i i don't know if we've covered this while i was that, away for a minute oh, or there, there's but there's the yeah there's three I, houses I I love the scene where um the the villagers realize that they've been fighting their own people like they take the masks off the dead orcs and like <clears> some of them are like their own villagers and i just mm. thought you fucking saw them leave to go and join the enemy? What the fuck did you think they were going to do yeah. once they got absorbed into the enemy ranks? Do you they think they were just going to head off this. and like, do their own thing for the next, uh, the next few weeks? This is like, also um, the mystery of the disappearing fortifications. When you cut to the night scene, there's, none of, there's all the walls and stuff. But the day scene, it shows you like two seconds before, none of it's there on the screen. Yeah, like, like, there's, there's literally nothing, no yeah. none of it. There's well, no yeah, wagon. So that time, there's, there's walls no... all over the place and everything they've built. Well, they, they cleaned up, even... guys. I mean, come on. Look at, look at the bridge. Right now, right? Look at the stream. That's like the yeah, that's the stream that a man it. could just easily wade through. Yeah, just step yeah. right there. Or just go left or right and go through the yeah. forest. I mean, uh, fuck this show. Fuck <laughs> 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 sake. You know what? The, the stupidity has reached critical mass inside me, and I just can't handle it anymore. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> this show yeah. is actually one of the dumbest episodes, and that's saying something because it is. I, oh. Look, okay, how did this, this cost is, sixty on, million on. dollars an episode? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is the worst episode the of the series because. Boring dialogue is boring dialogue, and when nothing's happening, that's fine. But when you make a fucking battle as boring and as mm -hmm. fucking lame as this, then that takes talent of being shit. I so should. I think this is the worst episode. Of I what. should resent perversion of the characters and do resent and and do resent it so far as it appears in this sketch, even more than the spoiling of the plot or scenery. J.R.R. Tolkien. Boom. Mm -hmm. 
No. And and that was to a response. Someone submitted a an adaptation of an adaptation. Yep. And it wasn't even that bad. And he just ripped it a new one. <laughs> uh, just imagine what he would say. And all these fuckers books. came just, out before this, yeah. going, "This is what Tolkien would want. He would want people to come and adapt his stuff. They just that's his nature." <laughs> He would be an international feminist that picks flowers leading an army. <laughs> Fuck off! He, he would want this this show to reflect the world we live in yeah. today. today. Oh. Guys, this <laughs> uh, the modern the audiences. You know, he probably would go the other direction completely. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I a, guy who, a guy who fought in the Battle of the Somme in World oh, War One would absolutely yeah, yeah. respect these fighting scenes. <laughs> <laughs> he would just be like, brilliant. <laughs> I'm surprised that Bronwyn didn't introduce herself to Muriel as Bronwyn, leader of the Southland's armies. Right. Commander. Well, she got all the Commander credit. of the Southland armies. Picker so, of flowers. Just <laughs> least of that night, children. Like, are you Love telling me there wasn't, a, like, a single other person there who would be willing to take leadership? Someone who's maybe a bit stronger, a bit more capable in battle and everything. Not a, not a single guy was willing to step up and say, all right, we have some business to do. Let's get to work. No, everyone just what? does nothing. They just accepted like, it, too. No, nobody even questioned it. They just went, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, of course. I, She's I, the leader. I honestly was waiting for a moment where, like, Bronwyn took that sword hill and said, we, we need to get this to safety, but how are you going to get it through this? army of orcs alone and then uh, Muriel says she's not alone and then the camera oh. just pans across <laughs> and there's Muriel <laughs> and there's Galadriel there and they all <laughs> and then Charlie's Angels theme played <laughs> but she actually says at one point well i never wished for leadership but like from the very start that's all you wanted to do is just boss everyone around and tell them where they're going to go i was like no i never wanted this though and I'm wondering, like, what, what leadership structure was in this place? Did they have a mayor, a town council? There's nothing. There's no leader anywhere. And the only closest one is this tavern leader guy who's wearing, like, an apron, looks like he's got nothing else on. And then is like, oh, I'll go join the bag. Who, what, what's, what is this place? What is Whoever owns the, the, the other leader owns is the, the guy. <laughs> the, the other leader is the guy who... Have you ever heard of Sauron? Listen, hey guys, if we're gonna start doing this, we shouldn't be putting the Summer of Love pictures in this. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. so we need to take this. Somebody it was a, put the it CNN guy in front of this. Mostly the peaceful or protest. Uh, it was a mostly peaceful let's, attack. Let's, yeah, let's, yes. let's, let's, let's play. A, <laughs> let's let's play a game. Yeah. Let's play oh, a game. Put the podium guy. Put the podium guy walking across. Middle Earth or Chicago. That's the game. Middle Earth or Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was less deaths in this episode than Chicago this weekend. So. Yes. <laughs> that is true. Shout out to Lori Lightfoot doing a great job. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Crushing it. <laughs> Crushing it. Shit, man, uh, this looks like my local town on a Saturday night. <laughs> 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 I mean, but seriously, have a look at the scale of this compared to something like Helm's Deep. This is barely a troublesome skirmish in yeah. comparison. And this is their yeah. big fight of the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's, Game of Thrones, I'm not a Game of Thrones, House of Dragons trounced this in episode three. Yep. And they don't even come close. And it had such a smaller budget. And it's a pathetic, this is a pathetic pathetic attempt of a battle scene it's this is my this was a good scene here too uh because the the orc instead of attacking the guy that looks like he's competent he's an elf <laughs> he attacks the villager and then decides to attack the elf <laughs> but nobody noticed the orcs coming up behind them yeah they just <laughs> yeah he even walks into one like he just I know. Yeah, he back, back back no reason one. whatsoever <laughs> and, and it's it, not like it's a small orc either Exactly, no. and if if that orc had a weapon while was it Aaron Deer was not facing him, it oh, would yeah. he's dead. He's oh, yeah. like oh. he just free hit right there. Absolutely, he would have been stabbed in the back. It, oh, my favorite multiple he times. Just a roundhouse kick to the orc's head. That was great. We couldn't go a yeah. episode without Don Lemonless and some chains too. Where's the chain got him? It's around the neck, around his neck, in the back of his clothes, apparently. That's really good. That's a Renee, I think. Renee. Yeah, Renee. Right, yeah. 
Oh, that's, that's good. great. Rene's game is, but he's up this game. Can uh, dude, he's legendary right now. Yep. Right now. Yes. Rene. Yep. Don Lemon chained. Yep. How are we only fucking twenty minutes through this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna continue. Yeah. Oh, this is how it feels Whoa. watching it. <laughs> it's it's the true. Yeah. It is. He's true. about to come. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the Terminator orc. Yeah, he's kind of <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Um, they fight for it, a really just, long yeah, time. Where's his lesson hit? It. Watch the next, like bird? once once she comes up and saves him. Watch how quickly oh. he, like the next scene. He's just popped up. They're walking around like nothing's going on. It, it's, this it's well scene goes on forever. I yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. They just waited with this. Look at him while yeah, the actual battle goes point. on in the background. L look at him. He okay? got coomed the, on. Just, he got coomed on. <laughs> he did. Look at the, he got a facial. He's like heavy breathing. He's almost dead. And then like this scene, and he's up and walking and round like yeah. The editing is is so bad it's so bad it well, doesn't, there, there's no anything. there's no sense of how the rest of the battles progressing it's like they mm -hmm. are barely holding their own and then he is fighting this orc she kills it and then that's it the battle's just over like yeah, I don't yeah know what it, it, literally there's no connective there it, it just yeah. goes yeah. the boss yeah. straight to Oh, and okay. also, like, they <laughs> dwell on that, like, gore scene for a good while with blood spewing out and everything. Yeah, it's like, oh, it, it felt got an so out of place for a thing yeah. pretending to be Lord of the Rings. It's right. like, I come on, this, you know. Also, don't you appreciate the the, that one of the facts of the why they have the white armor on is so that way the black blood has a much more <laughs> visible, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm looking back at it, I'm like, more. oh, that's a convenient color for the armor to show the, the black blood yeah. <laughs> conveniently splattered but, uh, in random places. Everything. I don't know about anyone else, but if an orc is bleeding into my mouth, I'm going to close my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to close my mouth. Give it to me. It's like, no, yeah, just, yeah, it's just like, it almost opens his mouth wider. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he discovers. Well, it, it tastes like orange juice, man. The dark it's, secret. It's, that's why. I mean, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure some of our memers can put a little porn hub uh, thing right there that's going on when he's opening his mouth. Sure, our memers can pull that one off. So, <laughs> well, he, he I just mean... kept opening his mouth like wanting it more. I'm like, what the hell is this show? You know when you go on a date, you watch a movie, come out of the movie, oh my god, what is this? Uh... It's so, so, so fucking bad. I can't <laughs> see it. It's a oh, human. It's inclusive death. Look at that. Oh, it's, no. It's inclusive <laughs> death. <laughs> Stop it's hating and hating more just in case you didn't get it the first time. Oh, and, and then, then the guy then says, convenient. they're making us fight our own. It's like, yeah, thank you. I couldn't gather that from the wow. board. <laughs> this, is, this is what I was saying earlier. Why are they surprised that like some of these people ended up fighting them? They went to join the enemy. Yeah. That's specifically yeah, why don't. they left you. <laughs> I think it's a secret so, uh, fantasy what they want to do to half their audience that's complaining. <laughs> that so when they did the scene in um, meme. We're going right to now explain what we just showed you. I know, right? <laughs> classic. A oh, classic. Uh, mostly peaceful boy. raid. <laughs> mostly peaceful raid. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh that's good that's good well done so fast yes that's what she said <laughs> that's not what we said about this episode no so. no <laughs> no I, and there's a slide uh, there's that yeah we beautiful sutherland um, slide. We. Oh, dude it took so much time to watch this and, and i had a live stream and it started early it's it hit at 10 30 my time and it's, and it's still, I had to stop it, just like She-Hulk. I cannot it sit. Came out I, I was going to say, did you have that, like, yeah. Yeah. looking at your watch effect, where it's like, oh, yeah. Christ, am I only 10 minutes in? Surely <laughs> oh, I've got yeah. further yeah. than this. Ryan, yeah, it, at 10.30 Central, it, it dropped at 10.30 Central. What? Wow. That's a really weird time. Yeah. yeah, that is weird. It's weird. They've been weird. dropping it early. Why They've would been they dropping it a little that? early. Um, Because they're stupid. It's stupid. The whole thing is stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> You could, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm happy. That's fine. Just release it in the middle of the night so the fewest people can watch it possible. Especially this. <laughs> I go for small mercies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, it's. Not, uh, this some, is the third group of orcs. Some clansmen in the dark. 
<laughs> We're going to get you, boy. Can get we talk here, about the, the, the number of orcs, right? Because in a previous episode, we saw like this trail of torches that easily numbered in the thousands. It was like mm -hmm. there was a huge number of orcs. And suddenly in this episode, there's maybe at most 200. And that's if we combine all the groups. There's like the first attack, maybe 100, the next 50 or something. It's, it's like they disappeared. I, I I never have a sense of like how big the enemy force is meant to be because it's like mm -hmm. it it fluctuates from scene to scene, whatever the plot needs it to be. Like mm -hmm. when they're attacking the 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 tavern, there seems to be like maybe twenty or thirty of them left. But then yes. when the the gun the, when the um, Numenorean Numenorean. cavalry arrives, suddenly they're fucking everywhere, you know. And it's just yeah. it, it changes from moment to moment. It's whatever the mm -hmm. director had available that day, I guess. Yeah, and you can well, say that well, about every scene, really. So many things change from moment to moment. Haircuts, <clears throat> it's 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 bizarrely edited. It's like there was a bunch of reshoots. Probably. Mm -hmm. Almost. <laughs> wow. Uh, so they're in the Especially tavern. While she's completely incapacitated, and then it instructs them on to how die. to render aid. <laughs> I wanted her to die. Uh, I did, too. I was so wanted her to die. I was like, this would be the greatest thing. I was, I was getting ready to call Ryan if she died. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, if, I was If you're going to cauterize a wound, surely doing it with, like, a half-burnt stick of wood is not going <laughs> to yeah. end well, as all the bits with of like flaming embers, wood yeah, drop yeah. off into right. the wound mm -hmm. and yeah. just stay there forever. You know, instead of asking for, you know, heated up iron, you know, or something yeah. like that. <laughs> they could have used a sword. <laughs> Like like you said, I, 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 no, what you said earlier, Disparu, like, if you've got an, a fucking arrow that's gone right through your body, just, like, sealing it off at either end doesn't, like, undo <laughs> doesn't all the damage yeah, internally. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. If you're bleeding, I, like, you know, if you're bleeding you're like that, that actually, there's something yeah. fucking wrong with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, clearly so, they don't know, know what that is hit the shoulder, and yeah, granted, you can still hit an artery, but it's supposed to be a looks bad but it's technically not bad which is the reason why they did the yeah. shoulder area rather than like say closer to the heart of the lung well they were someone needs to get that scene where the oh, you know dude. because the, someone needs to get the office space uh scene where he's like no we we flip we fixed the glitch yeah and you're like yeah but what about yeah. the internal bleed no 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 we, we fixed, fixed the, the glitch, glitch. <laughs> you know like it's like that doesn't make any sense it's such a dumb scene but it's a dumb show so it what is because it's uh, daytime where they are. The sun's coming up with the Numenorians and their. Yeah. This is the disconnect as nighttime. well. Yeah, like daytime. Like, is this hours later? Because it feels like it's a concurrent scene, but you I know never it's know bizarre. It. But the cut seems to like they just passed that time. It was nighttime, and now it's oh, daytime. Oh, go back to that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go, back. You go back to that previous go back. one. Look at those oh. copy pasty. Oh, uh, <laughs> where the fuck did they fit on the boats? They just yeah. stamped all that. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. They're bigger control, than control, the three control, boats. Control Not they're even bigger. just the people, the horses. Yeah. Like well, the whole, there's, yeah. There's, like, there's probably a group of just these people over here, and then they just went bop, 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 all the way yeah, across. Yeah, I, I would be surprised if there was more than a dozen in total, and they just copied yeah. and pasted them. How many, so is this just... Is this just one woman leading all these men? Is that what that is? Yep. Because well, all the to other... be fair, there's yeah, a couple women. There's probably a couple, some women in there. Yeah. There's a couple well, female if, Numenorians. I, they're all trash. I can't tell. Though. Yeah, I can't tell if they're women or if it's just the guys with the man boob armor. So I can't tell what I'm looking at here. Uh, you guys missed that great Ryan quote right there. There's a couple women Numenorians, but they're all trash. <laughs> I'm kind of desensitized to it at this point. It's just normal for Ryan. <laughs> no wait. Oh wait. So how many people here saw? Picard. Anybody here see Picard season one? No. Oh, the end of Picard like, season one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I went to the yeah. exhibit at San Diego Comic Con. Okay. Uh, like 2018 or whatever. Then you won't whatever, get like 19. At, at the end of season one, the Federation so, shows up and all the ships are the same. Like all. Oh, every, yeah. yeah. Every single yeah. ship is the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So bad. Bad. Looking away yeah. for one model, man. What do you expect? Yep. Uh, oh, oh uh, Aaron Deers. He's going to be tough now. I'm not going to give up the sword hilt. He's like, I'll start killing uh, everybody. Then he starts killing people. And uh, by the way, that's Benjamin Stark. Um, <laughs> and Theo gives up the, the sword hilt. She's still defiant. She, uh, yeah. You'll you have a little defiant face. She's like, mm, she's like cut my head. Let, then cut my cut head off. Cut my head off. Okay. okay. Well, how many fine. people were disappointed when she woke up? That was so sad, oh, man. Totally I don't know. She's like the only hot woman in the show. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. 
But does she Wait, have does he have the mark of Sauron? Now? It's the mark of Sauron right there. Oh, oh my god. god. It kind of looks like it. Yeah, yeah. Because they need to know where they're going on the map, you know, just in case they forget. They yeah. see it on the show. <laughs> where, where am I going? Oh, okay. I'm going to this Mordor. This continent here. Yeah. Uh, I, I ain't going to remember that. Can you draw it on a map or something? Okay, so yeah. it's dark in there, and they go outside. Wait, it's dark in there, and they go outside, and it's the Numenorians approaching, and, the you know, you can hear the hooves thundering in the water. So it's light out there, and it's dark in there. <laughs> Maybe they have all the we- windows sealed and off. It's not. It's not just that the inside of this place is very dark. It's not that. He walks in through the door, whoa, the whoa. open door that goes outside. Yeah, and it's dark, and it's like one <laughs> yeah. shot outside with the Numenorians daytime. They all shot ran. inside with him opening the door nighttime. They all ran in the tavern and just let him in. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh and no! It, it and took now him it's all daytime. night to bust down that door with a battering ram. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, pubs are renowned for having really strong doors for absolutely no reason. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just stop the invading armies, didn't you this know? This is all of the yeah. fortification that was not in yeah. that shot that Disbrew was talking about. Yeah, none of this. Yeah. It's here yeah. now. It's here. And, and I guess, guess Orcs are okay with shit. sunlight now as well. Like, see all this trash, right? After the fight, like, like it cuts to um, Galadriel and then it cuts back to the village, and the village looks pristine, like nothing happens. And that's what it looks like beforehand. <clears throat> it, it really looks like they filmed it before they actually, so they filmed the after battle before the actual battle because probably it did. Like nothing happened. Yeah. But you know how the orcs, can, the orcs can stay out in, this, in the daylight now? Oh, oh. Well, hang on a second. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought it was just trolls that couldn't stand light. Why, why are the orcs allergic to sunlight? Orcs don't like well, they, the light. They actually burn like vampires mm-hmm. now yeah. in, in the light. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think they've shown you a million times in this and also, show. Yeah, in, like in yeah. The, in, I think in the books and the, the, the Peter Jackson movies, like they just don't like it. They don't like it. It's not like it actually hurts them or anything. But But now they're vampires, you know. But in previous episodes, they did establish when there's cloud cover, they are okay. They did have, they did actually establish that in the previous episode. So, what's interesting? The previous day when they were doing all the preparations, well, the previous day when they were doing all the preparations, there was lots of overcast. So why didn't the orcs attack during that day? But they were playing it off like they won't attack during the day because they don't like sunlight. But now they're out in the sunlight. The the writers, the writers, kind of forgot. You know yeah. what they had established. Yeah, just kinda. You know, uh, and here why we is a stable boy in the Queen's guard? Because it's guard. Like cavalry. <laughs> why is he there? I mean, Fuck, I did appreciate dude. that Muriel was still on the hill because I actually fully expected him to put her at the front of the army and just have her lead the charge into battle. So I'm like, well, at least they've kept her on a hill on her own somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm betting that scene was shot. There's Sauron. Sorry, Halbran. <laughs> it's not Sauron. Totally not Sauron. It, it, oh, don't you get it? He saved him here, but then he's gonna kill him during, uh, you know, during the battle mm-hmm. Lord, in Lord of the Rings. Oh, Crazy, and he's huh? he's got his little wrapped up thing that mm. nobody bothered yeah, yeah, yeah. to fucking you know, check. What does nobody question. Like? Does that look like an axe there? Because an axe has a very specific shape, but it doesn't. But how like... did he get the exact same cloth and exact same binding? to wrap up an, an axe because he knew that the new uh, Numenorians were going to come over and he would have to escape from the inn. How did he know? All- oh, he w- he was watching the show. How did the old ask. guy manage to escape from this battle as well, considering he wasn't even on horseback? And they, they would have undoubtedly like, sent their cavalry to round up survivors. He said How away- did... Halbrand, sorry, totes not Sauron, teleport in front of a dark. <laughs> I know. Yeah, wig. yeah wig. that that like, was that didn't make any sense. It was so hard for Galadriel to catch up to this guy. Mm-hmm. She had to pull out a spell from a rear end that the show does yep. not establish she can do at any point to magic her horse to go faster, and then suddenly Halbrand is in front of them. Yeah. Come yeah. On. How did that fucking? Oh, he's a sorcerer. Uh, you know? may, oh, maybe. Hey, actually, it might be because he's fucking Sauron. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like legit he's a sorcerer. Did you yeah. this? The horse. They had to make sure the horse got up because we can't be sh- to actually we injure him. Yeah. All the yeah. people. We've murdered in the other town. They forget about them. That's, That's all fine. But horse, we've got to show horse getting up okay. immediately. This shot too. Have so, a broken so they're leg. running, right? So that's a bad guy. That's Galadriel. Dog. He's in front. So they're coming. They're like heading off of each other. He knows he's coming straight at him. 
and he's about to do something with the and spear. He, doesn't he do goes anything. right into it. Doesn't yeah. change <laughs> anything. Just keeps going. Yeah, he could have just turned left and gone the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> even, even if he is, even if he when is you... Sauron, and he's, and and that's the way. He, that doesn't make sense for the story they're telling right now for him to Correct. to make that leap. It's still stupid, yep. and it, it's jarring in that moment too because you're like watching it and it's all building up. Or she's chasing him, which again nobody really cares. But it's like, how did he get from? That makes no sense. So, and then yeah, him not changing. Uh, his path at all. He just keeps running right. To uh -huh. He runs right into it. And he was, if I, if I remember correctly, he wasn't even looking behind him for Galadriel. He just was, he was just focused on, he wasn't even looking to see how close she was. It would have made sense if he was focused on her to see, to, and he didn't see what's in front of him. But look, he's not even focusing on her. So he's looking right in front of him and he keeps running right towards him. Makes no Bro. sense. <laughs> 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 He's totally going to kill him. It's terribly written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you I tell? Did, like, terribly this, like, directed like... as well. Like, <clears throat> this goes beyond writing. It's just well, terrible direction. And, ha where Halbrand just says, do you know who I am? And the guy's like, no. That was a She-Hulk moment for me from yesterday. This was exactly the same scene. <laughs> I did like, I thought he was going to step, I thought it was just going to be a step on the hand. It was just like so clear as day. He was going to fucking step on his hand before he gets to it. But then he just spears it right I thought hand. he was going to kill him because he knew who he was, but I guess not. I, I think that's what he wanted to do. What he was about yes. to do. Yeah, he was yeah. about to kill him. Because he's mad he tried, he killed him before. Yeah, but if that's true, yeah. why didn't he let Galadriel kill him? That's the thing that doesn't make sense because yeah, you know, because exactly. Galadriel it doesn't make better. Sense. Do you he... feel it when we're together? We we fucking make each other better, you know all that shit. <laughs> Twilight. He's playing the long game. Oh my god, it's <laughs> so Twilight. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sarandria. Can we just get to the? Can we get to the bit where Galadriel? Team just Sauron. Tells Sauron that she's. She I couldn't can change him. She was writing. I can change him. Yeah, this. I, it's so him? okay. Even if we didn't know. He was Sauron. It's so fucking painfully obvious at this point. He doesn't act, yeah. answer any direct questions. Yeah. You know, uh, what did I vagaries. take from you? A woman? A child? Uh, no, a life that he later admits to. It's it's so saccharine and fucking boring and predictable. And then this show is so up its own ass. It rapes the it's Lord. So, it's way up there, man. Yeah. They think mm. they're so fucking smart so clever it's we're gonna set him up so all the people on twitter think that they're gonna they're gonna ship galadriel and sauron together and then when we reveal that it's really sauron everybody will be so surprised it'll no, be they so won't. it'll be so buzzworthy no. on social media grace randolph will be so happy <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh so, so, so well 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 then we're back this to the, guy, right? the Numenorean the bros. Blood. He's like, I've seen enough water last a lifetime. And I'm like, it was barely a skirmish. Come on. Yeah. I mean, you barely have any blood on yeah. your white armor. Fucking wuss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I, I will say, though, Gary, Gary, I hunted. I hunted. <laughs> I could not find any bad reviews or any bad tweets about that. I hunted. Rob, okay, Rob. so wow. I'm just saying, Gary, 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 I hunted. Okay. I hunted, Rob. I hunted. For Toby Maguire's dick. <laughs> Hunt. uh, that's my favorite clip. Hunted. Hunted. Rob, Rob. I hunted. Hunted. <laughs> wow, I'm glad that the, the homosexual trio survived. I love how none of them have even got like a hint of facial okay. hair or anything. Look like, at just that. Make them look as boyish and wimpy as possible. Look, yeah. at, look at the shot. No, no, go back to that frame. It's the beta bunch. Look at the shot of that moob right there. On. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, you're right. That looks like a straight up tit. <laughs> it's like my titties. <laughs> Moves, it, moves, it is moves, like moves, 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 I am not gay. I have relationships with women. 
sex with men. And I got news for you. She can't. <laughs> so much emotion. <laughs> oh man. So I got to so say aggressive when he says that. Yeah. Better that's a better that's better uh, more powerful acting than we see in Rings of Power. R- it rumor has it that dude is still turning around in his apartment <laughs> to this day. <laughs> <laughs> you know Somebody just needs to, you know how people put like the 10 hour loop of stuff? Somebody needs to get that part. Like let, let Ice Cube say it, but then the, the whoa, whoa, just get 10 hour loop of him just doing it and throw it on a YouTube channel. Uh, it's just a 10 hours of him just circling around. That would be perfect. So. Just really confused. Yeah. Hey we'll guys, look, look at this village. Look at that village. I could really tell wow. a battle happened there. Yeah. <laughs> Ravaged. With lots of fire. Yeah. Could you please leave the building on the bottom right hand side? A volcano mm. needs to destroy that later. Thank you very much, <laughs> Oh, Dutch angles there. Ooh, Dutch yeah, angles. This is where it goes. Oh, Dutch angles. Crazy Creativity. in this bar, you know? Fuck. Oh, no. Not bar. I was thinking of the tavern where everyone was holed up. <laughs> this but is literally angle, where angle, the sword was, right? This is where she it's goes like all Charlie one. Bronson on him. That that's the original barn that the sword was in, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's what it looks like. It's. But why did um, Theo have the sword sets. hilt again? Why did they give sets. it to him? What? Oh, that was ridiculous. Yeah. I, he I don't know why Lemon gave thing. it to him. It, yeah, it was like, yeah, it, it has a power. Like it has a power over you, and by giving it away, you're the relinquishing its power over you. But it's this important, and you want the Numenorians to throw <laughs> it in the ocean, so you give it to a child. It's just. Yeah, the very he's, least, he's like, keep an eye warrior. on him, make well, sure he actually does it's it. It's because you know, they're the just, future. Don, you know? Don Lemon Lust wasn't the leader of the elves, so the maybe future, he's, maybe the he's not the, the smartest person. Maybe. You know? Can maybe. we also do a test? I have something to show you guys to test. I want you to try and see if you can pick to, to figure out what's wrapped up in this cloth. Ready? So, here, can, can you tell what might I mean, be wrapped up in this cloth? That looks like it is probably an axe. Like an axe. No, <laughs> it, it looks like yeah, a sword hilt. Done. It looks like a yeah, sword hilt. Looks like, oh, yeah, sword hilt? Yeah, you would be full. Ah, yeah, they convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would be like. Uh-huh. Looks like, like <laughs> as soon yeah. as you pick it up and feel the weight, they're like, oh, it's definitely the same. They would have noticed have you got the, the broken hilt of Sauron's sword there? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need to oh, check. No, 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 no. no. You fooled us no. all. I I I can't believe that. (laughs) You got me. He got me mm. at a Dutch got angle, got baby. It's range, another yeah. Dutch angle, oh, this, baby. This scene's great another because Dutch. of the because of the line of um, we prefer to be called the yeah. uh, <laughs> orcs. They have pronouns. Yeah. Our pronouns of choice. Pronouns now. Okay. Uruk, hi. Okay. <laughs> we prefer Uruk. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I'm going to castrate you alive. I'm going to slice all your balls She's like, I'm going to castrate you, fucking orc. And he's like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that might be fun. What's kind of weird about this scene, right? It's one of the few scenes where the show wants to like actually depict Galadriel as being a bit too far, going a bit evil and everything. But what she says, I'm kind of on board with. Yeah, they're orcs. Slaughter them all. Wipe them out. It's the one time I actually agree with Galadriel, but the show's trying to convince me that she's gone too far. Like, I could on you. They just, just can't pull her off. This scene, this scene also makes her a moron in the future because he basically tells her about the rings. He says it's going to be not a, not a power of the flesh, but to control the flesh. So mm. now, if she finds out that someone's going to give us a, oh, this powerful ring, allow you to and control she takes people, it. she should put, link it together with what she's already been told. You, you, oh, by trying to appear clever, they just make their characters appear stupid, even the ones they want to seem like the good, smart ones. But hey, they got Dutch angles, all right? And that's all that matters. Yeah, do. that's... Mm. Look at that. Look at it. every single... Every Ooh, single every shot. Dutch, Dutch angle, <laughs> Dutch angle. Mm-hmm. Got the Dutch, Dutch angle. Who's the Dutch know how to do the angles, yeah. Wait a minute. Who's famous for Dutch angles? 
Um, and Batman. Le- and, and the Le- Dutch. No, Le- <laughs> and you guys the are The freaky clueless. deaky Dutch. Uh, well, you know, Dutch angels make shitty scenes look good. Not Dutch, Dutch angels. <laughs> Dutch angles and lens flares. Who's na- who's famous? JJ. For- oh, JJ. Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. JJ lens flare. And they, got, boxes, they got somebody which smacking is a big component the camera. Of this. I didn't know he was Dutch. That's interesting. <laughs> no, he just sucks. It's Dutch. <laughs> By the way, is that is that um, Morford Clark's real hair? Because if it is, it looks like a fucking stupid wig. It looked to me. It looked like a wig during the battle. I don't, I don't think know it, if it's because it was a stunt person. Stunt, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So I wasn't quite sure Likely, whether to yeah. tell that or not. Yeah, that, that so, looks real. But someone who knows um, hair apparently thinks that they're just really bad extensions. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. my wife. She'll know. Yeah. Oh, it's the sea. This is oh. a really bad extension of Tolkien. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking scene. This scene. Oh, this dude, scene. this is the greatest scene in the world. He's like, I riding a horse and I was cooming over you. And she says, I was cooming over you when I was riding my oh. horse. I, I honestly <laughs> wanted a Loki kind of moment there where he's like, Oh, you ran rings around those orcs. You're amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just put it the reason there, why yeah. they say they saved each other is literally. I found out I really enjoy murdering things. That's yeah. like, yes, I just found the bloodlust when I was fighting next year, and it saved me. And I realized I was good. I'm like, I'm not sure that means you're good. He's basically, yeah, he's basically like, while we were killing people together, I had a massive erection. Nah. <laughs> 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 oh, you're making it weird. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Oh, I, I had a mess. Oh, oh, really uncomfortable. <laughs> you can't remember it. That's what that looks like. I was really uncomfortable in this cod piece. I mean, I, 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 I coomed, but should I have? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's so confusing. He's wondering if that's the Did you Why feel like feeling so aroused? <laughs> Awkward. Can we just Wait, talk about like how guy much the they try, how much they tried to get, like Hallbrand to look like, uh, <clears throat> like fucking Aragorn. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, every yeah. shot of him, it, it's clear they tried to get as much as possible. Are you the king hair, that was everything. promised? She said huh? the line. Are you the king that was promised? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah. Are you the king yeah. that was promised to us? And he and says, like, yes. Oh, and you just says, fuck off. And everyone's like, all right, we won't ask for any proof, okay? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? No, it's, he has to kind of look at Galadriel and she gives him like a little nod, like, yes, that's what you're supposed to say. You are. <laughs> He's like, okay, then. I'm on the king. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, and, I'm, it, I'm, I'm totally, totally, totally fine. fine. Look, I'm this totally is, fine. I guess we'll wait for that moment, but this is the first time that he actually like says that. Every other time, it's just been other people saying that that's who he is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, but he said, yeah, because he said he doesn't want to be. I don't, don't want, want it. She just looks right down at the center, it and it's like, she's, she's, king. She's, she's looking at his dick. Uh, he's, he's like, <laughs> sack means you're the no, king. correction. He's, she's looking at his sack, okay? Uh, <laughs> okay. Sack? I mean, I'm not not you know what you did. But okay, it is. You know, look, whatever. it's a sack. I'm just pouring out a fact. Sack? Wanna, hey, you <laughs> want to be pedantic? You be pedantic, mate. That's it, all right. This, this would this. be, this moment would be like if I was walking around with a Batman knife and someone says, <laughs> oh my God, are, are you, you Batman? Batman? <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, next actually. time, ne- next time I go to the US, I'm just going to wear a shirt with the American <laughs> seal on my chest and people will assume I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> Shad, Count Dankula convinced a lot of Americans that he was a, a uh, justice. Oh, <laughs> that was so hilarious. were glorious. That that was, when someone put awesome. like a picture up of all the Supreme Court justices, and it was just like <laughs> Mark <laughs> Dankula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't understand the logic in the scene. Literally, no yeah. words like yeah, they are all just bend between the knee. these two. He's, he just walks exactly. up and she's like, "Is this the king?" Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah we have a king now. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> Woo! Hail well, to this fucking guy we've never seen before. No, no wait, well, it makes sense for them because they're like, "Well, we're not being led by a florist anymore." So we got armor on at least. I'm <laughs> <That's> just grateful. <laughs> Hey, Shad. Hey, Shad. Wait, you're a man taking charge? Yes, I'll kneel to you. Quarter black, quarter black, go back, go back, go back. 
to where we see Mariel. <laughs> what do you think of that boob armor, uh, Shad? Oh my god, it's, it's so pointless. I'm usually a fan of boob armor. This one, like, it's scale mail. Scale mail is supposed to be flexible, yet they fix it to a solid, rigid plate. So what's the freaking point in the first place? The armor is... <laughs> So damn stupid on multiple. That's levels. very similar to the move armor too. I think it's mm -hmm. it's an interesting style as well to wear like you know chainmail armor with a skirt. Like not many people, can, not many people would think that was practical. <laughs> nobody can lose that. Like that. Yeah. Looks, I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain this old guy that's making eye contact think he has a shot. Look at him. He thinks he does. He, yeah. he does. Like, he's <laughs> like, hey. I can't he's stop looking. I can't stop looking. <laughs> At Muriel's cup, and it looks like that lady's head is just in the cup. <laughs> no, it looks like a beard. It looks like she has a beard. <laughs> it looks like it looks like a what fucking. Like a, I thought it was like an old dude. What is on her head? What is that? It looks like a red face. What's going on? Like Yay! We, we didn't have to. We, so many of us were killed. We didn't have to copy and paste each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, I love, I love the guy off to the left. He just looks absolutely smashed. Like, yeah. <laughs> the rest of them are celebrating that dude just having the, the day of his yeah. fucking life. He's like, what, is a man? Oh yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wish He's like, we what's even going on? I don't care. With Muriel's like really dumb fucking helmet, where she's just walking yep. through, and every time she turns, she pokes someone in the <laughs> eye. <laughs> you know, they just went through this big battle, lost a lot of people, friends, family are dead, and they're like, "Let's party, screw this, yeah. and die." Yeah, like, there's time. no mourning, or they're like, "This is yeah." Oh, this... Now uh, let me be clear: I am an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I can't unsee the Barack Obama here. Can yeah, I? no, definitely. I can't either. Wait a minute, where did they get all the fucking food from? Yeah, where did the, did the Numenorians bring Wait, it on the their horses food and drink their ships? from? Well, you have did to do something with those orc bodies. Back to the ship. <laughs> Two days He's right on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and there's oh, orc blood the everywhere. They're eating their villages. <laughs> <laughs> that's the southern in the way. Them. Oh, Th that's that's what the Harfoots would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will wait for you <laughs> <laughs> at the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> He's like totally bummed because he misses his sword hilt. I... <laughs> So, <laughs> so, they so the fucking... big bad guy that's been coming in enslaving people to get the sword hilt rides off with it. We get it back. Nobody pays attention to where it goes after that. He just gives yeah. it to this kid, gives and nobody questions it. Well, it's even worse because the kid's <laughs> talking about like the, the control that the sword has over him. And so he's like, well, if you take it back and then give it away, it'll lose its power over you. But if he's like absorbed <clears throat> by the power of the sword, like the ring, you're essentially giving like an addict the exact thing that he wants, which yes. Doesn't yeah. seem like a very good plan. And right? he's a kid. Wait, wait, well, it's wait, an wait, addict who's a kid as it's, well. It's right oh, after. It's, wait, 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 it's right red after. Flag. Like this thing has a very like unhealthy hold over whoever like gets a hold of it. So like mm -hmm. you really shouldn't give it back to him. Just uh, keep a close eye on this kid. Make sure he uh, <laughs> make sure he actually does what he says he's gonna do. It's obviously got some kind of valuable, like it's valuable to the bad guy that just came in, right? So why well, would we? Don Lemonless repurposes the dialogue he already, he from Gandalf, from Gandalf to Bilbo, and says, "Be free of it," and then he fucking mm -hmm. gives it to him. And then he just, <laughs> and this is after like, hey, we didn't bother like opening that cloth the whole time because we totally trusted the bad guy to have the yeah. the, the sword help. <laughs> So this is when they find out. If you haven't watched the episode, they have been carrying around this thing thinking it was the sword hilt for the last 15 minutes of the fucking episode. It went from Galadriel to Don Lemonless, and it goes to him. And then they fight. the big reveal is uh, it's not the sword hilt. And that I couldn't bump believe bump. It when they the axe in there um, was not in there. there. <laughs> you were they instantly picking it up that that's not the sword hilt. <laughs> oh, I can't get, get the thing. But also, oh. this this key lock is directly underneath the statue that they found in the last episode when they had the sword with them. So why didn't they like, oh yeah, this is where it needs to go. We definitely need to make sure it never comes back here. At no point did they ever mention the big hole in the floor directly under the statue they were standing next to. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, the tower needed to fall before they could actually see it, you know? So was Adar's oh, plan that might to be it. fake them yeah. and when to take the... the so his actual plan was, I'm going to take an axe, give the actual valuable sword key 
that unlocks this and starts up the volcano engines. I'm going to give that to some random hobo that walked up to me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go I, off with an I, I just I Yeah, think assume that he knows exactly, <laughs> yeah, assume that he knows exactly what he needs to do, that he can yep. fulfill the plan, <clears throat> not get caught, um, and won't fuck it up. That's, that's well, pretty, pretty in all fairness, he said, if you watched last week's episode, uh, he reveals a sword. On, at the bottom of that sword, there's a contain, there's a, a hole to stick this one in. So, you know, he just made him watch the last episode. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, also, true. remember, this key is it was not made to set off Walking. Mount Doom. It's, it just opens up no. a spillway. I like mm -hmm. I, 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 I I don't get it. It's like this big, yeah, the evil, evil, like <laughs> magic sword that is like, yeah, Sauron. He made it because yeah, water on a on a well, water yeah, the in a volcano the sword, creates so explosion. The, sword will, the yeah. sword will bind the people of the Southlands to him. So somehow releasing that water would bind all of the people to Sauron. Makes no sense whatsoever. It's so stupid. It's unbelievable. Yeah, because they had to go out of their way to dig all those tunnels. You know. How many years past the time that that you know door and key was made? There's no yeah. connection to Mount Doom at all with that. And it's, and it's, it's so all it's just part of this land to do originally, like just flood, flood yeah, the land. That, like, that, that that's, that's all it does. Shad, Shad, I don't write. <laughs> Look, this is a very simple plan. The sword goes into the hole that opens up the fucking <laughs> massive reservoir. The massive reservoir then falls down the hill and goes in a tiny tunnel that's been dealt, but it's been dug by orcs, okay? All of it just somehow funnels in there, and then it goes into a volcano that would <laughs> evaporate it. It would evaporate it, but it doesn't because when it hits the lava, it causes a nuclear explosion. <laughs> because yeah. the water was actually steam. It was actually gasoline the whole time. Whoa, whoa. Oh, they do have, to, they do have the bigger sense. problem of gravity as well, that that water has to flow downhill the entire time until it goes into a volcano. If at any point it needs to go uphill, the entire plan falls apart. Yep. 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 And also, it, it, logic. Yeah, yeah. Depending, it would depend on how much force was behind that water and how like and how big the hill was, to be honest. Well, yeah. there's, yeah. An, there's actually a part of the plan that they fucked up uh, that they're hoping we didn't realize, which is the fact that they didn't build complete tunnels. They built a massive trench with a big hole in the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the water would not be going down, complete down. It'd be splashing all over the place. Around. And just that all around. the elves that all the elves at the watchtower standing on top of the watchtower so they could watch shit miss completely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Which means and, the trench has to be within eyeshot of the watchtower yes. because the water comes from the watchtower. Well, that's tower. why they put the covers over the top, it. right? It's not just to protect them from the sun. Uh, it's also, you know... Yeah, but they can't see through tarps. You, no, you they they raped the land and cut down all the trees. <laughs> like, like what you guys saw. You There's like smoke in, and yellow pus coming carefully, out of the ground. If it's... you look carefully in the volcano, at the bottom, it's completely lined with C4. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's Minecraft TNT So water and lava plus C4 is explosion. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that's how you yeah. get. Yeah. I, yeah. This is the actual logic. They you know, you know, <laughs> they, they think the explosion, the explosive expansion of the water as it vaporizes into gas would this cause pressure enough already. to pop the top of the volcano. But this is the problem. They showed us a cavern that was not pressurized. It was open to the air. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. You keep it, it just right means there. the gas would go keep, out. Keep, right. right there. And the keep your logic is, out of this discussion, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. so, so, I see your let, logic. Let's I just see say, it. Let's just say the away. entire plan works from start to finish. Everything's perfect. Yep. Why does Sauron need the mountain to explode? Because the lava is already there that would forge whatever he wanted anyway. Uh, he no, the top no, of the no, he needs, he needs like a cloud he, over the whole of Mordor yeah, so yes. the orcs can move around. Okay, no, no, no. Right, that's what right I can, correction, yeah, correction. Yeah. Mordor. Mordor. That right there is a Mordor. flow. Mordor. That would incinerate everybody in the village. Okay. Yes. You know this because Ever of Pompeii. Ever hear of Pompeii? Pompeii? Yeah. Pompeii? You know Pompeii? 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 Our girl Galadriel, she has to stand right in the face of it. But she'll be totally fine next week. Dumb. She will be. She's just covered in cheese. Yeah, that's right. That's like, right. That's so how long, this. How long does Sauron think Ash will stay in the atmosphere for? Uh, like, as long as episode eight goes on for. As long as it goes evil. His entire plan needs to be done in that time. Yeah. Yes.
So the pyroclastic flow, that's like minimum 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Yeah, that's I mean, like, literally all right, it's insane. Just but what they show is something that's even way worse. It's got lightning in the clouds and there's glowing fire behind it and everything. It's like, holy crap, that would incinerate everything in its path. And mm -hmm. they really want us to believe that Galantia is just going to have Tank it. Like, I can yeah. take it out the chair. Yeah. She does. <laughs> oh, Someone God. needs to curb Galadriel, your enthusiasm, this. Leader of the, commander of the Northern <laughs> yeah. Army. Yeah. From, from, she from. gets destroyed <laughs> at the end. <laughs> well, the funny thing is that they know that it does that because you see trees basically just erupt in flames. Yeah. Look, yep. at, these see right, yeah, Look like... at the start of next week. I just want to see her get a sword out and go, whoo, for literally. Look at sword. Just, could you go back to that previous one for a second? Go back, yeah. I, I love the dude in the foreground. Just like, he's <laughs> yeah. had to do it. He's just take too many. <laughs> he's like, you like Moob armor. Yeah. Here's the real thing. Yeah, it's like, oh, God, I've got to look fucking energized again. Put Travolta. Put Travolta's head on him right there, because that's what that looks like. He's just randomly walking around in the scene. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe the Harfoots happen to be walking by right now, and fake Gandalf comes and just controls the fucking fire. And saves oh, it. man. Oh. No. Uh, we've got, God, we've got an image of right. um, Galadriel in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's I would love it. Like. I would love it. Oh, that would be great. Hey, listen. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out dick in hand, man. Yeah. <laughs> you look good. You look like a bottle of gin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he also looks like he just saw like the last he finally got way too deep in Pornhub and is like god I should not have fucking fat to that yeah. just instant regret yeah. that is the most Depression. accurate description I'm just about ever. to die I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the trunny pull we've all been no. there we've all I just, ass, uh, ass, yeah, I like well. that he could have escaped oh. but he's like nah I need to stay for this it's worth yeah. it <laughs> I, I can finish. I can finish. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just need one little bit watching more. the wave oh. just come in. Did it, by the way, seriously, did anyone else laugh when that Numenorian soldier got wiped out by the meteor in his oh, Yeah, that's pretty funny. The director. Yeah. <laughs> Him and his mate just stood there and he just goes... <laughs> his mate's like, fucking hell, mate. I mean, everyone during that entire thing just stands there and just sort of stares at it. And occasionally you're like, oh no, you need to run over here. Why? What's different over there? <laughs> there is a it's great so shot funny. here. And, you know, you even see buildings burst into flame as this cloud is approaching, right? But no, glad yes. she'll be fine. No, she yeah. is. Burst well, into flame to be fair, like, look apart. at this. To be yeah, fair, the people that are that running, way? there's no way. So, there is so no to be way. fair, the people that are running, it is futile anyway. Like now, they're all gonna they're gonna survive somehow because the show you says well they will. But but yeah, like there's no, gonna be no difference in the people that are scrambling, and then what's gonna happen to Gladriel? So I don't know. Oh, my, oh well. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what a bad, bad, bad show. Um, yeah, so all this was to lead up, and this was your big set piece, folks. This was all the lead up to get a, an origin to Mount Doom. Sorry, what are you trying to say, Gary? Um, this is bullshit. <laughs> it sucks. Have you heard of Mount Doom? <laughs> Have you heard of well, Sarah? Um, look at that scream face. <laughs> look, at, look at Don Lemon's scream face. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, he looks so like Don Boyega. Just to Ray! Ray! Like a scream. Why get out of here, brother? <laughs> Why does I'm he look out. like a Photoshop? I'm out. Everyone else has got like this grey mist over him and he's just really yeah. clear and stands out. Yeah. He is, he's really clear. This other guy back here looks like he's looking at his ass. Look at this guy back here in the back. Yeah. Look yeah, at baby. <laughs> I'm, run, 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 I'm gonna baby, follow run. this guy. I'm gonna follow this <laughs> guy. There you go. <laughs> Is this the same guy that was walking it off? It does look like, like, like the same guy. Yeah, actually, I think it is. <laughs> Looking for crab services. Can I get a sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, let me cover up the moops for a second. I saw, I saw some. I, I saw some. Hey, at least he found a hat. <laughs> Come on, he found a hat. <laughs> yeah, chat deserves Personal credit protection. for him, but can somebody take this shot and then just put like the little caption? Ray! <laughs> Ray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is bad. Yeah, um, you know, when thinking about that volcano with the water, right? Like volcanoes explode because of pressure, but they actually show that there's no pressure in it. And so the water falling down, if anything, if I'm really trying to figure out what would actually happen, it would actually seal the top of that volcano and just solidify it. And it'll have yep. the opposite effect. It would actually, yeah, seal the top and stop it. And so it's the fact yeah. that they try to stay Or, you know, you can lighting. Minecraft it and say, yeah, just turn it into obsidian, you know? That's all. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Why the fuck is there lightning in this? Why is there lightning? Is that a phenomenon in Middle Earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 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 crazy. That can actually happen. It's the insane friction and. I want to see that in real life. I want to see that in real life. You want to see a volcano explode in real life? Fuck yeah. That sounds dope. No I mean, I love the idea ways. of like you're you're about to get hit by a pyroclastic flow and you get struck by fucking lightning. First. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh god! Take me out else. Uh, just go on YouTube and look at uh, a Dude, volcano eruptions. You'll see it. Do y'all think more mithril was uh, created from that lightning bolt? <laughs> uh, probably. A, I told you it's a Balrog and an elf fighting at the bottom of that volcano <laughs> with lightning. Oh. You know, you know that would have been more satisfying <laughs> if they like. There's so many ways they could have tried to have explained the exploding volcano thing, and yeah, have a Balrog just I don't know fart or something. Yeah. I would have been yeah. fully on board, but this <laughs> fart. Is so dumb. It's ridiculous. Yeah, out of the explosion, all of a sudden you see a Balrog like it looks like it's farting out <laughs> smoke just coming from the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> that is more believable. It is. Is it? There's a tempest in me. <laughs> I had some more got tacos and uh, <laughs> milk or burritos. Oh man! Uh, drinker, can you please give writing lessons to the Rings of Power writers, or at least tell them to make their CGI blood not look like it's from PS2 from a PS2 game? The wargs oh. look more like X-ray girl's dog than a beast. That's from Stargate 404 for ten dollars. <laughs> I mean, where where do you even start with this show, man? Jesus. Yeah. The, there's so much, but yeah. Oh, God. It's like children wrote it. And this this is what we're stuck with now. Adult and children, probably. Yeah. I, I think mostly it was just a gigantic tax write-off because you're never going to convince me they spent $60 million per episode on this shit. No. No fucking way. Not a chance. Don't see it. Don't see it. Not when you have a direct comparison in house of the dragon that spent less than half of that per episode and it looks way better like the production value of that show is far and away better than this i mean the dragons the alone are just yes it's incredible the, the production value on ryan reynolds <laughs> announcement of deadpool <laughs> <was better. laughs> higher quality <laughs> it's, uh, it's like crazy. a camera look better I, yeah. I, no lies detected <laughs> That's crazy <laughs> Hugh Jackman was entirely CGI'd for that. Next <laughs> <video>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really good. You just Fantastic got like a bunch job. of VFX artists in India that are fucking sitting there killing themselves, trying to CGI veins in Hugh Jackman's bicep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too many. Uh, do you think he's really going to work out and get his, like, you know, he got yeah. pretty dead. Uh, I think yeah. he's, he's already, that, dude's, like, he, that dude's serious. He commits. He's, he's still, commits. Yeah. he's still, he's a also fit. maintained he's still decent shape. Like, uh, it's yeah. not like he's, it's not like he's fucking Lizzo he's, or some shit. Hey, he's like in, that. he's and in Broadway you know, shape. He looks, he looks really He's good. the yeah. music man on Broadway, don't you know? Just, just he's the oh, yeah. up again. Yeah. He can do it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Shoot some stuff uh, in his ass. He'll be the Marvel the steroids at his age. Don't know if he wants to go through it or not again, but hey. No. Stallone's been taking them all his life. Uh, drinker. And look at him. He's I know you got to go, man. But uh, thanks for hanging with us through that wonderful, wonderful uh, review of that show. That was great. I, I don't know whether to be devastated or relieved that I'm not going to be here for like talking about She Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> There's only uh, so much cringe. I think one. you're gonna be oh, devastated. I know, yeah. Jesus. Like I tried to summarize it on like a stream the other night, and oh, I was just <laughs> I was doing my own head, and <laughs> I couldn't handle it. <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, like honestly, thanks for having me on, guys. It's it's been great um, as always. Um, and yeah, I'm. Uh, 
well, for people who want to see me in, in the flesh for real, I'm going to be at Scotland Comic Con next weekend over in Edinburgh. So it's not even nice. that far from where I live. Uh, so I'll be there the whole weekend, like signing autographs and all the rest and doing panel events. So it should be good fun. So join me there if you if you get the chance. Heck yeah, yeah man. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Awesome. Man, fly to Scotland, yeah. Fly to it's Scotland. always good having you on, man. Yeah, brother. You're Thanks for coming back it. on. So. Uh, pleasure anytime. Uh, we'll, catch you guys later. We'll see you Take soon. See you, man. Later, man. see you later, man. The critical drinker, ladies and gentlemen. He's going away now. Yeah, he's got to. He, he's got to leave. Us, like, when he's, I know. He's go away now when he leaves. Go no. away now. Go away now. Go go away away the now. brand. <laughs> Gotta keep that brand going. <laughs> right. Good stuff. God, Good it's stuff. even like it's even the, the show is even worse when you actually break it down beat for beat. Like it's it's so hard to get through that show just watching it, but then you go beat for beat and you're like. It's even worse. It's even worse. Yeah, it's, it's bad. By the end of the I, show, I, it's so bad that in boring that you've forgotten about the how many bad and boring things have happened. You're just like happy to get out of it. But yeah, when you slowly go chick, 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 you go, oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, and that. Mm -hmm. Oh fucking that. I, that's what dumb. is this show? I, that's dumb. I thought this yeah, was. I thought dumb. this was the best episode because it was literally just stupid fucking action, and you didn't have to just constantly hear them talking. <laughs> yeah, they also, they also didn't. They jump still packed a lot in like too. five different parable conversations into this one show. Still, but yeah, yeah. yeah. It, but it, it, was, it wasn't it was, like an ADD kid on crack was jumping b between one group and another. So at yeah. least it. It was still slow and it was still dragged out, but it wasn't as bad as the previous episode. So, it, yeah, for sure, way more palatable. But the bar is so fucking low at this point; it doesn't really matter. It's below the floor. So yeah. Ryan basically treated this episode like he treats his women. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Don't action, talk. not a lot of talk. In the kitchen, <laughs> it's, it was it's better that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny P. Green on the Streamlab side for one hundred dollars. Uh, oh, it says first time. Give it to me raw. Okay, hang on. Wow. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> give me the meat and give it to me raw. Give me raw. <laughs> raw. How would? How did they fucking? <laughs> <laughs> how did how no did one pick up on that, that dialogue? Line? It's like, unbelievable. How is, like, how did you see no Elrond's face too? He's all like, "What oh, did you wow. say?" <laughs> Wait, the gayest character oh. in the fucking thing is the person he says that to. Yep. Give me the meat and give it to me raw. <laughs> give me the meat and give it to me raw. Five minutes later. <laughs> he have a cigarette coming out of his. Oh my goodness! Oh, he, was it as good for you as it was for me. <laughs> oh my god! Say, just need some fucking disappointing me there. <laughs> you just need some saxophones underneath it, you know. Mm -hmm. You are not a power bottom. <laughs> just think, just think that he does this though. It's like how <laughs> Femi is Femron for fuck's sake. Yeah, and then like, and then he goes back to Dee's and she's like. Doran, you smell like an elf's dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I fucking sucked one woman. <laughs> How do you think that tree really grew, bitch? No. Because <laughs> I have relationships with women. I was in the middle of a hundred dollar super chat. So uh, <laughs> first time, give it to me raw as an unpublished we can talk about anything, you know, just any. <laughs> as an unpublished author down here in Florida. I meant to attend a writer's conference that would coincide with your meetup being a waste uh, of money sensitivity readers. I decided to offer it up to you instead with a question. Sure. Uh, and thank you. Uh, this is in two parts. Given the state of things, is starting a YouTube channel the only viable path for indie authors to gain a market? It seems the way of things. Or would some of you see other opportunities elsewhere to gain an audience? Cheers and see some of you in Orlando. Thank you. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. see you there. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, who, I mean, who YouTube is. Uh, Can you say the name? Who is that? That was Danny P. Green on the Streamlabs. Yeah. Side. I mean, I mean that, it's obviously uh, YouTube is is obviously the 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 top you know choice in terms. It's not the only, but it's definitely yeah. the the most. Uh, 
accessible right now. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of different avenues. It just depends on what you bring to the table, really. Um, and I mean, look, it's there's other platforms out there that are not going to get you to grow as, as quickly. But even something like I see people building their platforms off Twitter. You, you know what I mean? If you're if you're out there and you're a reply guy, you can be you can grow your platform on anything. It just depends on what you bring to the table. I know Shad has something to say, though. Go ahead, Shad. I mean, if you can pull it off, it's a very, very successful method of marketing, you know, your, your novel and stuff. But if to pull it off, you almost have to make it a career. And uh, yeah. for me, doing YouTube is my career now to the point where I have a lot of trouble finding time to write. Um, and that, the, But that's the catch-22 because you need to market your book. People might say that's the benefit of traditional publishing, but this is the thing a lot of people don't actually know is that traditional publishing will only spend a good chunk of their you know marketing um, portion on uh, on like breakout insane successes. Most people, and uh, this is the vast majority of people, especially debut authors that traditionally publish, they the uh, publishers expect the authors to do all the marketing themselves, uh, <laughs> and you don't really gain much out of that. And uh, and it's so that really sucks um because that used to be the main benefit of traditional publishing is that they would yeah. market your book push it in front of eyeballs but they rarely do that now and so they expect you to do your own videos your own kind of you know pushing interviews with other people and stuff uh and so what are you going to do uh, and that means all right so there, there there are still benefits to traditional publishing but marketing is one of the difficult ones uh and if you're going to go self-publishing there is ways to try and get your book no uh you know, visible without doing huge YouTube. And it is like trying to get interviews. Um, uh, you know, there's this possibility of of uh, purchasing ads and things like that. Uh, using the inbuilt mechanisms on uh, on Amazon for, uh, you know, pushing it further. But that's like, because Amazon usually pushes um, publications in their recent release window. And so one of the methods that people have done who are self-publishing is that they actually write several smaller books <laughs> and then they release them pretty close together to try and compound the, the uh, promotion that Amazon can do. And so there's, there's lots of videos you can look up to try and find marketing strategies in self publishing it's tr it is difficult though and the best way i have to say is you well is youtube because if you can build an audience uh, it's powerful yep. yeah well, well that's the key with any of these things it is literally about building an audience um i know someone well not personally but i know the channel on uh, tiktok and they set up a t-shirt business yeah. just by doing comedy skits on yep. tiktok and it's based around a t-shirt and each video is a new t-shirt and then just put the t-shirt up for sale and it's like done amazing for them no oh, that's smart and, yeah. It is literally just a case of anywhere you can build an audience is great. And each platform has its own specific thing. So TikTok focuses around small things. YouTube's like longer form content and a bit more of a range. You've got shorts as well with that. Uh, Twitter's yeah. just like 280 characters. So it really depends where your strengths are. But if you can build an audience on any of them, uh, that audience will be just be more interested in what you produce. Yeah, yeah you're so. not you're not, and not just a single product. You're not it's looking you. for yeah. mass market sales anymore. <clears throat> this is going to be like a bunch of local bands. Uh, you're looking for a localized fan base basically um and but the thing is you can't just i don't know i think it's hard to like i'm gonna go on youtube or tiktok i mean he this brew just gave us a ca case but maybe they were marketing experts so they had a great idea i just don't think it's the best idea to go i'm just going on to sell my book because it's got to be you got to i don't know build your audience through something else something you're passionate about now maybe it's fantasy maybe it's the subject your book is around and you can build up a uh a, you know a good group of people with that but I think just like I just going to sell the book, I that's that's a tough one. That's I mean, uh, and, and the, the thing is with so so many people self publishing now, comics, books, everything else, it's just it's a thousand times harder to get 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 noticed. So yeah, don't look for New York Times bestseller. Look for getting a, a get start out with a small group of people and see if you can build on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that like like Shad said. The cool thing about YouTube is that I feel like the threshold, it's obviously a grind to get to a thousand subs and to get to, you know, those 4,000 watch hours when you're starting out. But once you do get there, the monetization of YouTube is, I think, more helpful. So while you're grinding, building that, you still can do stuff. Whereas things like TikTok um, and Instagram, the monetization levels for that 
it's a little bigger threshold with a lot less money sometimes. <clears throat> so like that's like all the stuff you're thinking about. Also networking. It, it's always been a big thing, right? That it's helps. just trying to yeah. Yeah. reach out to others, right? It was similar interest and just say, you know, send a message. You, know, you may not get a response, but if you're genuine and you're passionate about it, you might find that one person who says, hey, I want to help you out. And that can be all the difference. Yep. Yeah. Don't know until you try. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Butt Crack Media has uh, gifted <laughs> 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. Thank you, Mr. Thank Butt you. Crack. <clears throat> Thank uh, you. Master Austin for $60 said, Watching Rings of Power is the equivalent to that scene in The Princess Bride when Wesley was being tortured by the machine, getting the life sucked out of him. At level 50. Thank God for Friday Night Tights. You guys are the best. Hail. Hail to you. Thank you. Hail. I mean, it is dark Perfectly times. Perfectly summed up. That's what it feels like. It is. And it is dark times. It is fucking dark times for entertainment, right? Like, House of the Dragon, as much as I like it, I try to keep thinking, like, how would I have felt about it, like, back in 2015 when there were some pretty good shows on the air? It had probably been, like, mid. You know, a little above mid. Uh, but now it's, like it's, it's season game of, six. It's not. It's game season of six Game no. of Thrones. That's what I feel like. It's like not the best Game of Thrones. It's not the worst. It's like right there when it, Game of Thrones was still good. What happened? It wasn't. Mean? It, it exists. That's yeah. That's it existed it and me, it was you know? it was interesting to Ash. kind of follow and. Yeah. Did you put that meme up? Where'd it go? Oh, I was, about to, I was about to share it. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's true. Be patient. No, I, I, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying House of Dragon because yeah. it's like we have this framework. <laughs> but we don't really know the true story, you know? So like there is that element to it as well. That I'm, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that the Mr. Bean drawing of it? <laughs> it looks like Mr. Bean. Beautiful. <laughs> it's like that image of the horse where it starts off really nice and then it ends up being just... <laughs> Complete crap. Oh, fire horse. Fire horse. <laughs> Not yeah. fire horse. Fire horse, and then halfway through, he just gets cut into that fucking pencil Big mama's board. <laughs> mama's house. She looked really fucking tall in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> like, the way they had her, like, towering above Bronwyn. I don't know how tall that actress actually is. Yeah, they're yeah. using those apple boxes again. But it's like, well, they made her see, as tall as fucking Elendil. No, I think she's you tall. See, what happened, Ryan, was Bronwyn also got shot in the leg. And they didn't tend to that, so it turned gangrenous, and they had to cut them off. Okay, that's what I <laughs> At the knees. Uh, Bashy Washy has gifted 20 Nerdrotic memberships for $100. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Bashy Washy. Bashy Washy. Uh, thank you. Uh, easy, jo easy. Uh, Johnny Builds for $50 says, 10 years ago, I first had as. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. what? and it ends there uh, it was it was, you it, it was glorious <laughs> since you remember me i've had quarter black on crowd really embarrassing <laughs> whoa i'm getting sloppy seconds here uh, and then i discovered gary i get sloppy thirds what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of you on Friday Night Tights crew. So it's like a cocky gangbang now. Yeah. Uh, it's been a sexy journey. Uh, keep it up. I want more. Ooh, hey. Ooh, Ooh hello. We'll give it to you. Hail. Bang, Friday bang. Night Tights. Give me a honk. Oh, wait. Cor you want a clown horn? Yeah, give it. Give, give. I build Lego on my channel almost a year. Ooh. There you go. Nice. Nice. Yeah, well done. Well Damn, what's your channel name? I'm, I'm fucking uh, it's Johnny Builds. Builds. Johnny Builds. J O N N Y. Johnny Builds. Johnny. Johnny. Builds. Johnny Five. Is Builds. Nice. Johnny Builds. Built. <laughs> my favorite one. Oh my god. god. Wow. Oh. <laughs> where pineapple pizza came from. No. The, no. the funny part is, is as, much as, can, as much as we can meme this picture, it will never beat the actual original caption yeah. of the picture. No. Oh, that was funny. Shit. <laughs> this shit's taken forever. I had to order a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those can't take a long time. Yeah, yeah I, I've done I've done exactly the same thing, except I didn't have jalapenos on mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man i remember fucking, fucking you trying have... to sleep try, no i remember like trying to sleep and being like god he's, i'm just trying to fucking sleep can you yeah, keep quiet no. you're, sleeping <laughs> on that little, you're sleeping on that little couch that's like exactly. not really meant for people to fucking sleep on yeah and it's like you've been through this before quit fucking bitching. like holy shit yeah <laughs> it's, it's so fucking accurate <laughs> see the first one you're in there you're like oh i gotta what do i you're do super how do i engaged. help you're like yeah, i'm yeah. engaged and then on the fourth one i was sleeping on the couch through the majority of the whole thing and she yeah. understood she was like ah yeah it's number yep. four he's not going to do anything he can't do anything <laughs> see, see, my wife or baby thor was you know all about the pain meds but next door we could hear the one who went all natural and oh my gosh banshee shrieks <laughs> oh my God. all natural no pain <laughs> meds banshee shrieks there was wow. a tempest in her yeah wow <laughs> And he's trying to get out. And it will not be quelled by you, Regent. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be quelled by you, Doctor. As a dad, you want him to go all natural because basically they're fucking ready to go up and like they're fine after like 30 minutes of having the baby. So you don't actually have to do shit. They're just right yeah. in mom mode <laughs> yeah. after that. But if they take the meds, it might be out for a couple you days. Have to, so. yeah, you have to take care of them. Still. Think about that, guys. Just saying. <laughs> the, the, the chat, the chat is the chat's Man blown away that you dad. have kids, Ryan. The chat's just blown away. So. <laughs> <laughs> My seed is fucking strong. So. <laughs> Potent man. Um, mm -hmm. I went to work the next day. I, I had to go. It was, hey, it that's was, what you got to do. It was, Johnny builds. Do you do commissions, dude? I'll fucking commission you to do something. It was, uh, yeah, it was new comic book day. So. <laughs> I had to go. I had to go get you get the new comic here. books out. And said, "See ya. Sorry, you got had that baby cut <sighs> out of you. You'll be good, right? All right, peace out. <laughs> you got doctors. You got you doctors, got doctors. Right? Uh, silly rabbit media for ninety nine ninety nine <laughs> with B plus visuals and D minus acting, writing and editing. This is like if Warner Brothers gave Lord of the Rings rights and billions of dollars to the CW creators to make a series. Amazon Prime would have been better off making uh, old sci fi channel B movie type parodies of the Rings of Power. I agree. It yeah. is. That's what it is, though. It is that. Like, I, I would argue that the Dune fucking sci-fi show was, like, ha is higher quality than this as far as storytelling is concerned. Definitely have better writing. Yep. Uh, Ray DeLone. DeLeon. DeLeon. For $50. DeLeon. Hail Friday Night Tides. Been a fan for a few months now. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, you inspired me to talk more about culture on my political channel. As politics is downstream from culture, I hope to get nerds more conscious of the political world without boring them to tears. Well, I think that's good. We also need to get the political world more conscious of what's going on here. That's uh, yep. that's been one. That's of the That's what we problems. need to do. Yep. I hey, Gary, I found an alternate ending to the episode. Oh, you did? You yeah, yeah. Ooh. There's no sound. Yes. So. All right. <clears throat> Oh, Look at that was fucking a good, uh... flat face, you know. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh, what happened? Oh, good. Hell yeah. Just, just add in the music at the very end, and it'd be yeah. perfect. <laughs> Last episode, and that's it. The show ends right there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and we're out. I'm, yeah, just gonna come out the like, gun. Mm, yeah cheesy. listen listen i retract my previous statement <laughs> ign was right 10 out of 10 10, 10 out of 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10 masterpiece jeremy yeah, masterpiece <laughs> <laughs> that was Doc Dog, by the way. Thank you. Uh, before uh, movies that. sucked for fifty Canadian pesos. Yee. I had a great week, so paying it forward to Friday Night Tights. Thank you, thank you. I had uh, my first video hit one thousand views. Oh, that's brilliant! I love that. Wow. Nice, nice. Oh, congrats, man. Not Hell surprisingly, yeah. titled "Make Galadriel Great Again." Oh, <laughs> wow. that's great! You I ride the you. rhythm. That's awesome. Uh, that and I ignored awesome. my first spawning of a fourteen-year-old TikToker's whining in the commercial in the comments. Oh. Great time to be alive. I agree, guys. Do you remember hitting your video, hitting its first your first thousand view video? Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't? I I, I remember all. Well, we had this one video that uh, before the channel, like we really restructured it. We we had a 
a couple of my guys were at a convention and Michael Rooker uh, was <clears> talking <throat> about uh, his Mary Poppins, I think, scene. I think that's what it was. And so it got like 50,000 views or whatever. And I was like, we are PewDiePie. Holy fuck. <laughs> like we yeah. are. I'm, I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. <laughs> views. This is the first video that ever took off. You know what I mean? I'm like. It's like, we're going to go to every convention we're, 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 and film we are, everything yeah. anyone ever says. We're taking, we're taking over, <laughs> and we literally gain like three subs out of the whole fucking <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then YouTube comes back saying, $5. Five, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Would you like point, 36 cents? Yeah, we still did, that was still in that four-year period. We didn't even have 1,000 subs, and that video was one of them. But I thought it was the greatest thing ever. But I do remember one of my first videos that really tracked well it was uh it was something to do with the last jedi or jj <sighs> abrams comments about four i don't remember but it had like 1200 views after two days and i was like wow like this is crazy mm -hmm. and it kept like slowly it gained like 100 views you know every couple of hours and it was unbelievable and uh what happened ryan <laughs> and uh but yeah like so it blew me away like 1200 views after a couple of days was the most amazing thing ever so i know that feeling and yeah. if you have a if you have a Pop channel you just start now just man it's like just keep grinding keep grinding so that's awesome i my, agree my, I, my I, browser I, my browser crashed my first uh <laughs> crash my first accidental one was i think it was, it's my first video that i put on this channel is I went to WonderCon in 2015. There was like a flash panel, and I fucking videoed it on my phone. It sounded like shit, and the only comments were like, "This thing shot like shit," but it got like a, <laughs> it got like over a thousand views. I don't count that one. Um, we were covering Ash versus Evil Dead. That was my first thousand mm. reviewing Ash versus hey. Evil Dead. That was awesome. I was like, "Whoa, dude!" And yeah, it was like a thousand views over like five days, Jeremy. And I thought, "Yep, this mm -hmm. is it." Gonna nope. take off now. It's it's yeah. the best feeling ever, man. It it's is. the best feeling ever. Mine doesn't really count, but like because my first video I was already like working for geeks and gamers, and I think Jeremy like shared it or whatever, so it got to a thousand views. So. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah. Doesn't count. Doesn't <laughs> count. Mine was Saints Row. And the only thing I can remember thinking is, okay, this one's taken off. I need to do more. And so I just did three on the same topic. And then it's funny because about a year later, Saints Row came out and every single thing I said in that video is still true the moment it came out. <laughs> and that got delayed a year and they didn't fix anything. Yeah. So yeah, it like I found especially at the start, when you hit a topic, just keep going on it. Um, yes, take it's it's yeah. until, it, until it goes away. Yeah, yeah, and okay. then your growth, it, it comes in bursts. And I can even remember like each step that went up. Um, that's all it is. And, that's all YouTube yeah, is. Yeah, there is yeah. a way to the, like... The downslide is the tough bit, but you know, if you keep going, you'll hit another topic. It's and, like volleyball. Sort of that's all YouTube is. You got to keep that, that ball up. You know, that's it. You're mm -hmm. just constantly keeping the ball up. That's yeah. You can rest well, for a little bit. Through. Yeah, but that's this it. should be an inspiration to so many people out there because, I mean, they all like it. it Disru knew he had good content, and, and anybody that watched it knew. The problem was nobody was watching it because the algorithm wasn't picking it up. You know what I mean? But now, like Disru, you're—I don't know how much confidence you have in where you're at now, but you should have um, incredible confidence because you ain't going nowhere. Holy crap! Your channel's killing it. Your takes and everything. But yeah, you know, when he first started out, like I don't know how many videos you had had up when I talked to you for the first time. How many videos <clears throat> did you have produced at that point? Uh, I can probably find out because yeah, thirty. I, I, I know the exact it, video I joined. But you have thirty six subs when I talk to you, right? Thirty six. Yes. What it was? I remember watching subs. the Supergirl video. Yeah, I still, and I, that, still I really enjoy that Supergirl. And it like, had nothing to do with his content. It had nothing because he had he had amazing content. And, and so that's when I look. It had a lot it, to do with this stupid profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to argue well. with the Ryan on that one, man. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead this brew you were you were saying something so. but yeah that 1000 view video for me was um end of august so like 13 months ago is when i got okay. my first video over wow. how crazy it is yeah. man uh, look at you now damn i, I didn't even remember video, but... every video is 100k for him every yeah. video so <laughs> I didn't use the same thumbnail. Using the same fucking thumbnail. The same stupid profile picture. <laughs> that only started because I'm like, I'm going to use this same thumbnail until the click rate goes down. And then it never did. So I'm like, well, if you keep clicking. Yep. All right, I'll just keep doing well, it. Yeah. It is keep like, it. honestly, like just your message, like a fucking squirrel. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy drunk <laughs> sending me an angry drunk message in the middle of the night? And I'm like, should I even look at this? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it's kind of kind of part of it because every time people are like, I, I, I can't stand all these people that don't even have their profile pictures as the main thing. I'm, like, I'm just going to keep it to annoy people at this point. <laughs> I'm still waiting for someone to go, you don't even show your face. And I'm like, well, my channel's lit, you know, so. <laughs> as is dead chicken for $50 on the stream <laughs> <website>. <laughs> Stop. Hi, As. Matthew. How you doing? I'm Matthew. As, <laughs> click, 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 click. Why don't you go ahead and tell them about the chicken? Why don't you tell them about the jokes and the trolling? Uh, yes, tell us all. please. Tell us all what's going on with this chicken nonsense. Okay. Right. Chicken. I'm playing this. I'm playing this survival game online, Miss Survival. Yep. I find myself this 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 nice little base. There's a ladder going up, and there's a like a you know metal tree house. So I can see around, I can see the danger, feel safe, like a kitty cat in a tree. <coughs> and then I go out and I come back and I'm in my house and then I suddenly hear this. <laughs> and I go, so I go outside and I'm like, where's this chicken? Where's this chicken? And I can't find this chicken. So I'm going around the peripheral of the, the top. I can't find this chicken. Down at the bottom, you know, so they go, it's gone. So I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So go back upstairs. So this chicken, this chicken's nearby. And then it dawned on me, the chicken was on the fucking roof. <laughs> so I tried to like jump, jump up on the rails, but it like the roof overhangs. So you can't grab onto the ledge to get up. So I couldn't get it. So I was trying. I fell. I died a couple of times. Oh, wow. And when I, every time I got back to my base and tried to do something, the chicken suddenly went into fucking DJ mode. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't fucking stop. So I got a little wound up because I had a fucking chicken for fucking hours at me and I knew where it was and I couldn't fucking do anything about it. So I, I ended up, right? I ended up, I, got, I, I did all, I went through all the stages, you know, grief, anger, all that kind of stuff. I went through every fucking stage imaginable. And then, I, I was just silent. I was just silent. I went to one of my uh, one of my uh, storage <laughs> boxes. I just picked it up, took the storage box outside, put it on the balcony, climbed up to the top of the storage box, got onto the roof. There's the fucking chicken. I'm in this fucking zombie world where I can die at any minute. I had one fucking bullet in my shotgun. That's all I had to my fucking name. I didn't care. I fucking blew that chicken away. <laughs> wow. Blew it away. And then, and then. Have you thought about therapy? No, but, you know. That was should. therapy. So was. That was, yeah, exactly. So I, anyway, the stream ends, you know. And then the next day, hey, it was fun yesterday. Let's do some more. So log in the next day. <laughs> <Chicken's back>. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, luckily, though, it was on the out. Luckily, it was on the outside. So it was a quick death. Right, we're not playing that. So we're not playing that game anymore. To the chat, and then the chat. But I mean, thank you for the super chats. But for two fucking hours <laughs> i just got chicken joke after chicken joke after chicken matthew god bless your heart for giving 50 dollars to the matthew. stream but go go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> he went online to fucking the chicken joke website and was just doing these fucking oh super chats every chicken joke imaginable i love you everyone else joined you, in you, sir. It was everyone excellent. joined in and i i had two hours of just non-stop reading of fucking chicken <laughs> Matthew's a good egg. So, oh, so at night no. when you went to sleep, did all you hear is? <laughs> you, do, do you want to no, see my? I did, I did order a KFC. <laughs> <laughs> so you ate the chicken. Victory game? feast. Indeed. This is this is what happened to me last night. Um, it also involves animals. Uh, I'm here. I, I stole this wagon. I wanted to take this wagon and sell it in Red Dead Redemption, but it got stuck on this tree, and uh, then this happened. Am I actually stuck? I'm like slamming accelerate, <laughs> trying to get out of there. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh, oh no! Okay. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Wait a minute! That was like a perfectly. You got a fucking joke. straw cowboy hat on for your Red Dead Redemption stream. Ryan, that must have been a man. Fucking dork. Yeah, it was like because it was stuck, so I was like trying. I'm holding accelerate, like double tapping A as much as I can, trying to get it fucking out. And as soon as I get it out, it's beautiful. Boom, and it's gone. And then I thought I was gonna be okay, and I landed like on the horse, but I just kept rolling too far. I'll do it one more time, motherfucker. As an audience member, you don't know there's a clip, and then just boom. Because I was, I was still alive. Live after the first yeah, fall. Yeah, you could. Have... <laughs> Someone needs to put music to that because uh, that's just perfect. <laughs> I don't think, and I need to play through Red Dead too. But I don't think people appreciate how gr they, they. I know that they get a lot of love, but they don't get this overwhelming love that they deserve. Man, those Red Dead games. Are dude, I, Red Dead's I, I first one's awesome. Dude. Fucking one of the best games. Great game. game. I, I yeah. think when it came out, it was there was a lot. Yeah, no, of it was huge. It. it was yeah, huge. Yeah. It was huge. But dude, like, I played it. I played it. Has a, it's a game huh? I played. It's I played oh, wow. that game. That's how Holy good it was. Shit. Is that the game that you need to play again on on Twitch? Yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> play. Fuck Twitch. Oh, that's Twitch. Twitch. Did you finish what? it? Twitch. I, I, Twitch. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm gonna have people Twitch. watch my shit. Fucking Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Neurotic gaming. Yeah. Uh, Neurotic <laughs> gaming. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, but Rockstar really hasn't done a lot of, uh, they, they've kind of, it seems like they haven't put their focus on that game as much as they should have. Uh, they they uh, turned their focus right back they, to GTA. <laughs> well, they just yeah. make, they make fucking millions and millions of dollars on yeah. GTA online. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they haven't released a GTA in almost a decade at this point. And so. Yeah. Uh, but hey, we get to play as a big booty Latina. So yeah, look at that. Final Juicy man. booty. Man. Shout out Alex Stein. Alex Stein uh, who has better, look who has look at that pizza. ass. Who has better pizza reviews than Barstool Sports? Oh, uh, shit. That pizza review? So. <laughs> Fucking, that was yeah. brutal. That was great. <laughs> that was so good, right. dude. Oh, my <laughs> God. What did he say? Six uh, sexual assault allegation, allegations <laughs> yeah, out of yeah, ten? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's how he rated the He's a genius. Oh, wow. He's a genius. Woo. Yeah. Uh, me so trashed for $50. <laughs> I come here for two things, Ryan Kennel and tits. <laughs> Those man <tits>. Wow! Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, no. oh, great timing! Perfect, perfect opportunity. Me, I, get didn't, I get it I off. Did not, I did not say that. No. Yeah. Would you prefer oh, look this like you? It looks like or you. that girl oh. from. Uh, uh, you got me. She Hulk. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Use what? the quotation or the bartender from, from uh, Cyberpunk, like we revealed today. We're gonna do. Oh my God! You found out. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't know. Uh, didn't I, know what? I, I, what? 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 So, okay, so today, huh? uh, I was watching his game. He was playing uh, the the missed game, and uh, he brought he brought it up. I brought he, it up. I think you brought it. You brought it up brought that it he up. Uh, that he liked uh, you know trains tits. We got to be careful. No, I, did, uh, I did not. That is not right. <laughs> but by, by saying by saying <laughs> I I I like no. I like cyberpunk be, until I couldn't blow my load all over the titties of that bartender and everybody in the chat went what <laughs> wait a second hey you do know the nature of that bartender it's like uh -huh. what are you talking about it's not so yes it's two times wow. a week it's not been a good week it's not been a good week, it's not been a good week. <laughs> Look, <laughs> <laughs> no, anyone can anyone can like transvestite tits twice in a week. Anyone can. It could happen to anyone. And in my defense, they were using a completely female model in the game. In yeah. a video game. Yeah, okay. the game just said uh -huh. it was. How was I meant to know? <laughs> It's a trap. <laughs> roll the clip. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. clip. Roll the clip. Hold on. You, you gotta oh, roll it. <sighs> we already know. Oh, we already God. know. It's time. Oh. No. Give me the meat and give it to me raw. Five minutes later.
<laughs> mm, I have relationships with women and sex with men. <laughs> and I like transvestite tits. I got news for you, Az. Uh, uh, you're inclusive. Did you? I gotta, I gotta say, <laughs> well, I gotta say, uh, I am uh, gonna uh, get uh, right. I'm uh, gonna get me tooed later today. I swear to God, I am. Because I'm gonna harass every fucking woman I know to see their tits. Because I need to, I need to reaffirm. I need to reaffirm that 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 I'm going through a crisis right now, guys. <laughs> uh, you, you, be, you better double check and make sure before you do. Uh, that, <laughs> well, I, need proof. I need proof. Let's try so, not to get this one age restricted, guys. <laughs> yes. uh, Can we try? Yeah. It's too late, yeah. Gary! It's <laughs> too late! It's too I don't waste any slurs. We just have like, yeah. I have a it's story late. that's... No, as it's too late for you, clearly. But it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still have some potential. Go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead, I have a story that won't get us age-restricted, but it's still funny in the same way that as is it's funny. It's, it's not about me, of course, because I would never tell anybody that, even if it did happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were... We were on a we were on a work trip. Is this and, uh, Brian? Is this Brian Canal? You know? <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't say their name because this is a fucking disastrous story. If anybody if anybody knew who it actually was, but uh, we were on a work trip and we were doing not much working and a whole lot of fucking drinking. We were blasted. It was like Halloween weekend. We're out at a bar and uh, you know everybody's doing their thing and our buddy comes up just blitz out of his fucking mind and is like. Man, I'm dancing with this chick. She's the one in the green Power Ranger outfit. Man, she's been grinding on me all night. She gave me her number. I actually fingered her asshole when we were dancing and stuff like this. And I'm like, hey, you do you, man. Like, shout out. He would not stop talking about this girl, this green Power Ranger girl. Of course, she's fucking hammered. We all hammered. The next day, <laughs> the next day, I told I you this him, was a mistake. I see him on his phone. <laughs> And I just see this like look that I'd never, he looked like he was gonna die. Like he looked as scared as I've ever seen a motherfucker look in their life. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey man, what's going on? He's like, uh, I, I don't know if I wanna say. I'm like, bro, you gotta say now. Like, what's going on? He's like, well, I was texting that girl, uh, you know, the Power Ranger girl from last night. I'm like, yeah, he's like, he sent me, she, well, she sent me a picture. And he turns the phone around. And it is a dude with a full fucking beard and a green Power Ranger outfit with the mask up on his head, just with his arms around my buddy looking happy as fuck at the, at the bar. <laughs> Did he get a drink? He, wasn't even oh. he was so blitzed. He was oh. so blitzed that he thought that this dude who was dancing up on him was a fucking chick. So much so that apparently he fingered her asshole while they were dancing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god. I'm going to repeat just, just, this. Just, this is just, why I do not drink. I will never Ryan. drink in my life. Holy just, fuck. Just an aside, though, that's not what drink does. Is. <laughs> yeah, not everybody that drinks. Okay. What? Shad. Person's asshole Let's talk about it. a weird move. Other Let's talk Urban about Meyer, She-Hulk. I don't know. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of dancing with a dude and fingering his butt, let's talk about She-Hulk. <laughs> we would not we never let that shit go anytime we'd see him we'd, we'd do the oh, fucking green no, power yeah. the flute song bum, 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 ba -da -da. Like, we would do everything we could to remind him of we that almost green made power it ranger. guys we it's almost the green made power it. ranger is a man oh, in the show oh, you should have known was supposed to, like, we, help we us can agree restricted you know, Ryan. Like, wasn't that supposed to help us not get age restricted? Yes. <laughs> that, I can agree that that is pretty gay, but uh, you know, I, I still don't think it's as gay as your Batman knife. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh. Good one, Chad. That's that's uh, brutal. He's literally but here would, all week. He's gonna be here all week on my on my channel. Yeah, try the video. I would, I would take carrying this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uber geek. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> the chat is losing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Dan Vast, a show for the whole, show for the whole family. Yeah. FUT, mm -hmm. bring your whole family. The butthole shout out, family. Shout out to Dan Vast. You guys go follow follow Dan Vast on Twitter. Yeah, follow, uh, follow Dan Vast on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> follow, follow Dan Vast on follow. Twitter. Ta tag him. Tag, tag him. him. Send him. Send him a lot of love. Uh, yep. He really appreciates that. We yep. really love Dan, and and I want him to get that you know love on Twitter. Really means yeah. a lot. So Very specific. We do appreciate that. Yeah. It, uh, in my friend's defense, he was drunk. As was not. I just, just want to put that out there. <laughs> Ryan's, <laughs> Ryan's, Ryan's being way too defensive for his friend. Yeah, just Brian. Ryan. Ryan. I didn't think of their arsehole. For his friend. Oh, Ryan. Brian. Oh, Ryan, oh, I have me. been on every drug under the sun at once, and I've never thought of fingering a guy's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was just across my mind. It was so, it was so perfect because he... he could not stop talking about this girl like for fucking hours after because we went to different bars and he could not stop talking about it how proud he was of himself green ranger man green ranger, green ranger girl man that green ranger, green ranger girl, girl. girl. somebody somebody like the green <laughs> ranger was, a tool. was there a green ranger girl I, it's like i, I don't know I, no, no it's a man no it's a, man. Dude. It's a dude okay well, i don't watch the fucking power rangers i, I was old when I, that I, shit I, came out i never saw the power rangers yeah. uh i see dan vast in the chat you want to go up, pink or yellow that's where you want to go for. Yeah, yeah pink all the way. Extra girl pink. liked the yellow range. Uh, yeah, she did. She went, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, before uh, before y'all talk She-Hulk, I'll, I'll go ahead and bounce. Uh, I got my stream tonight, later tonight. Uh, we were going to play Apex Legends, but apparently we you have to get a code approved by EA for the big private lobby, so no Apex Legends tonight. So it's either going to be Fall Guys or Fortnite, whatever our members decide they want to play. So that'll be a few hours from now. So thank you, Friday Night Tights, awesome. Shad, awesome as always. Uh, no, fuck you. That's right. You're, I'm supposed to say fuck off, Shad. You want to <laughs> fuck off? Uh, oh, it feels yeah. good. So, oh, no, it's all, it, this was, a, so this was one of the funniest episodes we've had in a long fucking time. And that says a lot because we have a lot of funny episodes. Tonight was fun as hell. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later tonight on Geeks and Gamers Play. Friday Night Tights is awesome. Fuck Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, you could just finger his ass out. You could. Yeah. <laughs> that had some. That had some uh, vitriol to it. It right did. There. Well, maybe you called him out for you know playing too many video games and not making enough videos a couple of times on Twitter. So maybe he's a little angry. Maybe as he, I, as he I goes to play. I referenced last time I referenced him on like while I was on stream. I said his name like it was a racial slur. <laughs> you scare me. To be like, fair, yeah. you say everybody's. You, you complain about sunsets the same way. I mean, it's it's pretty consistent. <laughs> yeah, San Diego sunsets are fucking terrible. To yeah, be honest see, with you, yeah. Uh, Zanzoltan for one thousand Argentinian pesos. Wow. <laughs> Says hail to the fellowship of Friday Night Tights. Today is my birthday. We won't sing till later. We like our audience. Uh, and I couldn't be happier that it is on Friday, on FNT Day. So wanted to give a little of my monies just to say hail to you. Awesome streamers and the chat. Love you guys. P.S. As you're still the best British guy, even though you are attracted to dude tits. <laughs> <laughs> I added that part in at the end. Okay. That was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> It flowed off the tongue, Gary. It did. Yeah. <laughs> Just like do tits. Uh -uh. That guy's got a nice rack. <laughs> you killed the cock. And then oh, you like no. the dude tits. You, yeah, you, wow! <laughs> <laughs> so, if it's apparent what I'm into, tits or cock, it's quite clear it's tits, isn't it? Isn't the it? stream is really tits. Yeah, regardless of whether there's a cock or not. Right. <laughs> so, I, I, I killed the cock. We'll get back to the soups in just a minute. This shouldn't take long. Let's talk about She-Hulk. That's what she said. And Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, X-Ray Girl earning the words tonight. Well done, Thank lady. You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well spent. Ooh. So, you know what I said? Not on the most recent episode of She Hulk, but the last one where she <clears> finally <throat> gets a guy that might be into her and is a nice guy. Is like, oh, oh, yeah, he's yeah. totally get a bit turned out to be a scumbag that's just doing something because they'll never betray men, you know, in a positive light. That's not neither. They're not morons or idiots or scumbags of some kind. And guess what happens this episode, people? Scumbags. 
Oh, yeah. Does he roofie her? How does he get blood samples while she's just asleep? He injects yeah, his li six, uh, little needle, needle, little needle, a yeah, little needle, <clears throat> a, a little needle. He would like if you were to wake her up though. It, I, he, I don't know. He fucking gave her some good dick. That's she's passed out, man. <laughs> okay, all right. Just Maybe saying. he did. Uh, who's gonna be? Is this, it, this age restricted business. How's that going, Gary? Uh, not very well, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be good. Well, maybe we're, not from something earlier. Well, what happens? The last hour. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens is it's fine for a few days, and then somebody, you know, complains. Complains. <laughs> yeah. I like the show all the way up to the man tits. <laughs> <laughs> so then I call my uh, then I call my guy, and then he lifts it in a couple of days. Yeah. So it's just yeah. this thing we've been doing for a while. Uh, Bradley Burnett for two. Uh, Super Chats equaling $50. <laughs> says, uh, I'm not watching Rings of Power now because my normie wife wants to binge watch it. Why? Oh, no. God, no. Uh, she no. likes the Lord Seriously. of the Rings movie, movie and is just curious about the Rings of Power. They're nothing alike. Uh, you need a divorce. Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to survive all the episodes in one sitting, dude. Seriously, it's it's going to yeah. kill you. Uh, can't wait to see her reaction. Uh, yeah, it's going to look like Tot at the end of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's what it's going to look like. Uh, she didn't enjoy Doctor Strange or Thor. Uh, then she's really going to fucking hate this. Always interesting to see Normie reactions. Uh, lastly, I live in Tampa Bay, and we got lucky. The people south of us did not. Some of the worst damage I've seen in 30 years. I lived in, uh, in the 30 years I've lived in Florida. If you are inclined to donate to help, please find a reputable Charity, I agree with that. Yeah, out yeah t Tampa lucked out. I lucked out. Um, but yeah, the people that were right in that path, that storm surge was oof. dude, that was insane. Was really that one bad. camera that was six feet off the ground that was operational for a little while that was insane, yeah. dude. Like, uh, now, now I can understand why like manatees and sharks were like inland, you know, swimming in yeah. freeways and. Going down yeah. sidewalk. Like I saw the Amanti video. That was fucking crazy. Yep. Yeah. Like where I am in, I'm in Orlando, which is kind of the center of the state. So it's pretty far inland. So it, you don't have, obviously you're not going to worry about being on the coast or storm surge or anything like that. But I'm in like the perfect place. There's never any flooding here. We've got a ton of drainage. <clears throat> and it was just, I mean, wind gusts of up to maybe like 75 at times, like peak, but, you know, nothing more than that. So that's how I was able to go out and film myself being retarded. Mm. So another Without day. Dying. day very, Flo one. very Florida man of you. Thank you. Very. I tried. Very. Um, what else happened in She-Hulk? They went to the... Oh, I haven't got therapy. So, she got so therapy. They, yeah. they've taken Hulk and the Abomination and made him like <clears throat> dumb fucking Birkenstock wearing hippies. Yep. I'm not sure that he's only appeared... Like, my theory's long been that he's setting her up right from the start and that actually... They're going to pretend that she's in the criminal organization with them so that they take away the only thing she actually cares about, which is her job, and that's what she's defending in the last episode. That's been my theory for wow. the series. You're giving that a lot of thought. It, 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 yeah, it would yeah. make sense because no, Abomination... Wait, wait, you spend as long thinking about it as I do, you get desperate. <laughs> Abomination <laughs> right now is one of the only, like, I guess, morally good characters like that's a man in this series. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know? So well, they definitely mm, smashed yeah. a car deliberately to make her stay there. They wanted to get her in the tent deliberately. They got her to <clears> delete <throat> the number, which was the only connection she had to the guy that set her up. So it all kind of fits. And yeah. she's the one that's been protecting him. So it would also give Daredevil a reason to exist in the fact that he's the lawyer that defends her. Oh, I don't you know. just reminded me I, Daredevil's going to be having more in this. faith in the writers than I do at this point because I, I think they're so... Yeah, no, but think about it this way then. Let me pitch it a different way. This way, it makes every single man, which is decent in the series, bad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, that's yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Disbrew, I think. Yeah, I absolutely believe you. There is the scene which we haven't seen yet, which is the abomination back as the abomination running through these church or whatever, getting <laughs> high fives and shit. Yeah. So that's a, that's a breach of parole. So they'll probably use that to stick him back in prison. Uh, also, there was some mention about an inhibitor. For yes, abomination, yeah. which is yeah. broken, now, which is touchy. So, yeah, well, there because there's uh, there's like a tracking system and an inhibitor. We were told that oh, like Bruce's was so specially made, I couldn't possibly make another one for you, Jen. Oh uh, yeah, but Abomination gets one. Yeah, I, I don't understand. 
I don't understand how that works. Oh, they, that's because they, 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 they don't either. Dope shit. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, the they writers don't understand. They power inhibitors on the raft in like Civil War. Mm -hmm. like, it's not new technology mm -mm. in this universe. Bizarre. Yeah, it's because plot. That's why. Hey, do you want to know something really cool? This is MCU canon. Yeah. <laughs> how can it be though? They said the Daredevil's not even going to be the same Daredevil. Like it, well, personality wise. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, the, his Netflix series isn't canon. But Charlie Cox oh. is going to be Daredevil, and I'm so I'm so grateful to that because it it, it is canon to the previous MCU because they mentioned you know the battle in New York, uh, the Paramount MCU that before Disney took over completely. So I, yeah, we could just use our head canon for that. Uh, they're going to completely destroy Daredevil. The the fact that they're clickbaiting everybody and it's probably going to be what the last episode or two episodes maybe where he yeah, comes it's gonna be in. the last episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just I mean, shows this how is, sad it's, it is. It's it's kind of smart for them to get people who have no fucking interest watching this show to watch just for Daredevil to get their watch hours up for the, these couple episodes. So. You know, be smarter uh, writing <clears throat> something good. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah, that would actually be smarter. But uh, yeah, I, I get you, Ryan. Uh, Mr. French, one eleven for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Today is my birthday. Whoa! All these birthdays. Uh, just uh, wanted to say that Ryan Kinnell is the Mr. Miyagi of misogyny. Jeremy is a dumb <laughs> redneck. Gary is a blind wizard, as is a chicken. Quarter Black is a lazy Mexican. I love the women the best because they're silent. All hail the fellowship. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's right. Round You're two. You're talking. <clears throat> I was going to say, that that is my very first student at the new dojo I'm opening called Misogyny Doe. So, <laughs> misogyny Doe. Uh, round two for the special guest drinker is the best Scottish folk hero always drunk. Shad, the best male ninja. And Disbrew, the cutest boy toy for four eyes. Uh, X-ray girl, where's my happy ending? As can't what's afford it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> right, girl. Uh, as what's the best type of show to watch hentai in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's probably got some dude with tits in it though. <laughs> uh, not other, another dime has gifted ten nerdrotic memberships for. Fifty dollars, thank you. And K Biz, K Biz, K Biz. Lord of the Rings is in bad hands at Amazon for five hundred dollars. What? K Biz, a maniac. Man. Very nice. Are we gonna see him in uh, Florida in Orlando? Oh, he's fucking better. He better yeah. be going there. Better I think be he there. probably will. Better be there. Dude. So, and I think uh, I think Kbiz dropped some over over at the G and G Streamlabs as well. So, big shout out to <laughs> Kbiz. Uh, he's he's a fucking insane person, yeah, but we love him. We love him. Uh, so it's the good kind of insane. Uh, uh, she hoaxed Jamelia Jamil pleads for Deadpool three role. Wow, um, does that does that get what? you excited, uh, audience? <laughs> Uh, J no. Jamalia Jamil, whatever her name is. Jamila Jamil. 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 What, what is she famous Which for? Which character is that? What is Titania? She yeah, she's Titania. Yeah. Uh, Who doesn't look anything like Titania, doesn't have an origin like anything like Titania. It's Everyone's just... favorite character, right? She's well, a super, she talks like she's an influencer. Superhuman yeah. influencer, dude. <clears throat> uh, I, I hate her fucking character. I actually think the way that Created she's by reacted. this guy right here. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, oh. she's created by Dr. Doom. Um, I, I, I kind of, I hate her fucking character, but I did like some of her responses that she's had on social media. Like when those, when those pictures came out of like her outfit, like in the show and people were like, wow, this is fucking garbage. She was like, yeah, I'll be real. My hair looks really bad. This outfit looks terrible. It kind of looks crappy, but my tits look great. Right. <laughs> yep. So I actually thought that was a really That's funny a great response. response. And, that and, was they, a good and response. they do, <clears throat> they do. She's got a great rack and she's a woman as <laughs> <laughs> well that'll make you change then won't it <laughs> an original woman i mean not, uh, my favorite moment of, in that my favorite moment of hers was at the wedding when jen walks past her and she goes oh i love how you never try <laughs> like, yeah yeah it was so catty it was like, awesome. yeah. uh, matthew hammond for 40 dollars on the stream website thank you matthew 
Uh, most people take their YouTube stream to Rumble. As wants to take the FNT stream to Pornhub channel. <laughs> Heel versus sit on face. Heel versus sit on face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's um, a new meta. <laughs> yeah. Rumble, call me. You know, keep getting age restricted. Uh, Tracy Fulmar, or, or email me, don't call me. You don't know my phone number. Uh, long time, first time. Cue the harp, and I wouldn't answer it anyway. Thank you for that. that whole origin no. story there, Gary. Uh, Gary, I'm sending you some uh, memes I made of you and as to your Twitter. Hope you all enjoy and get a laugh. I absolutely love and thank you all for what you do. Hail to the chat. Hail to the fellowship. All hail Friday Night Tides. That's $50 from Tracy Fulmar. Is, uh, is, it, is that your name on Twitter? I'll check. Is that, did you at me, bro, or did we uh, send him via DM? I don't know. Um, what else happened in She-Hulk? Uh, the, they had the, the <laughs> stupid therapy, and and Mamble was fourteen minute therapy scene. Fuck, I, yeah, that was really I, it, dude. There wasn't much dude, to the show. I fast forward through parts of it. I did. Like, I just it wasn't funny. So so go the sit in the chair. Go sit in the chair. So the beginning is her going on dates with this guy that she met at the thing. It's all great. They finally fuck. And then when she wakes up in the morning, he's gone. And she sends him a text message. And he doesn't text her back. And yeah, she's kind of her. obsessed with that. She's yeah. like yeah. staring at her fucking phone that like an obsessive fucking loser. Like that. that's how it all starts. And then uh, she has to go check Abomination's uh, like inhibitor, inhibitor and his tracking device. That's yeah. what leads her there. Yep. But when she gets there, she doesn't have a signal. So she's fucking obsessing about this guy who has not uh, texted her back yet. And then she goes to therapy with the rest of the yeah, she, she, a man, a man When trying to find a signal, she, she, she walks into a therapy session. Yeah, the therapy yeah. room. I, I, I get so confused about, like, the statements they, they say uh, about, like, objectifying women. And then the whole thing is about being thirsty for dudes the whole time. Mm. So, I, I mean... I'm confused by the show. It's not funny. It's inconsistent. She Hulk looks like shit. It's nothing like the comic at all. Well, it's easy. It's sexist when a man does, but it's completely fine when a yeah. woman does it. Yeah. At least we get to call out the haters in real life in the show. Oh, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a even that. As, that's like, amazing. I saw it as <laughs> like, truly incredible. Like, the, the show's magic. internally contradictory because all the time she's like, well, I just want to be a lawyer. My entire life is just my, about my career. There's nothing else. I, this is what makes me happy. And then she's absolutely miserable until she gets a man. And then she's finally happy until he doesn't message her. And like, maybe this will be the moment she realizes actually going and being a lawyer and just having that in my entire life is what's making me miserable and I should change it. She's like, no, I need to well, double down on this. Screw in all fairness, man, I need true. to be a lawyer more. Like, oh no. Because that's, the the, that's where the writers are coming close. from. Yeah. yeah. The way that she gets a man is goes on a dating app, goes on one date, he buys her some fucking fries, and then she goes, fuck me. <laughs> yeah. And that is what happens. So that, that's her discerning choice of men. Half of the fucking dudes she went on dates with were clearly fucking gay. So why is she fucking... <laughs> and she's the one that's picking them out on the dating apps, apparently. But then she, the guy approaches her at a wedding and says, hey, you're pretty. And then she goes, thanks. Goes inside, gets absolutely catatonically drunk... And then pukes and thinks, oh yeah, he's totally into all of this. This is this is perfectly normal behavior for a regular fucking middle-aged woman. And so when they go on a date, she's like, three date rule, but she wanted to fuck him after two. After two, she went back to bring him back inside, but he'd gone. So she bangs him on three dates and she's like, Yeah, I've got myself a boyfriend. No, you you fucking got played. This guy, if it, the worst, the best case scenario you would have got from this is this guy was like, this bitch is fucking loose as hell, and this is an easy lay. The worst case scenario is you got your blood stolen because he's actually a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she's a shapoopy by the standard of the song from Music Man. If you've never heard that song before. Sh what? Shapoopy? Shapoopy. They Shapoopy. did a spoof of it in Family Guy, actually. Family Guy, yeah. Yeah. Sha poopy, sha poopy, sha poopy. 
Don't You're welcome. I, <laughs> a few people out, out there. A few out. people out there will I get it. I need more Look context. Could you keep going? <laughs> <laughs> Could you please explain the joke just, longer? Just, yes. So the, 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 the lyrics go: A woman who will kiss on the very first date is usually a hussy. A woman who awaits for the second time out is anything but fussy. But a girl who waits for the third time around, heads in the cloud, feet on the ground. She's the girl you're glad you found. She's your shapoopy. Oh, okay. So she waits till the third date. You're welcome. She poopied. Okay. Yeah, she poopied. She poopied. She poopied. Not poopied. If you're everyone else in the country. Trust? <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> like a Cleveland Senator steamer? Senator third time. It's, it's, it's a shapoopy song. Uh, Yoshi Wan Kenobi for $40. <laughs> Yoshi Wan Kenobi. First time Super Chatters. Ooh. My wife and I are celebrating our five-year wedding anniversary Ooh. by watching us. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong? Happy wow. anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> and the only way we know, uh, the only uh, way we know how on Friday night, uh, we never miss an episode. You all are practically a part of the family. Hail Friday night tides. Hail wow. to you. Uh, Happy uh, anniversary. Yeah. I apologize for all the things we talked about. If it's yeah. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Now go get that blowjob and a sandwich. All right, do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eat the sandwich. Yeah, I want to see pictures of the Holy sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. Remember for... what I, engagement? I'm just saying. Oh no! That, we, yeah, the guy did send like the sandwich a from the engagement. The sandwich. Yeah, he did. Right. He did. It was a, a good looking sandwich, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got a keeper. Giant the world ender for fifty dollars. <laughs> They're not fake characters. They're characters who've been added to Tolkien's lore. That's right there. Uh, tokenized, they're tokenized characters. There you go. Tokenized. I get what you did there. I get what you did there. Uh, tokenized. Ministry of Wrong Thing for forty nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Gary, you're going to be very embarrassed. Come season three of the Rings of Power, where the show's budget into the intimacy coach shines with the coming sex scene with Uncle Tom Bombadil and Proto Frodo. Uh, <laughs> where she lets him into her hobbit hole under her grass mound. <laughs> that super chat was written better that, than this show. That super chat was written by oh, yes. and it was still more written care by and dedication. Yeah. Yes. There was and, more craft. And still written by a 12 year old. So that was great. Because <laughs> that's why I'm laughing. Uh, Freaking grass mound. Oh, shit. <laughs> that takes me back to, like, you know, freaking fourth grade. Uh, Too much grass in a wiki. Uh, thank what? God it's Friday, and all hail you amazing ladies <clears throat> and gentlemen. Lady. Ladies. I don't know. Maybe as can be considered wow, we, one. We now. don't Chrissy, know anymore. Chrissy was here for a second. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy was here for, like, a nanosecond. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. sipping a drink in New Orleans. What was she just, like? Smoking a cigar. Like, I don't know. She, she, looked, she looked like she was just drunk, like, going through the bar. Did she have <laughs> beads on? Did she have beads? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Right. I have an interesting theory on how she got those. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, oh. Excuse me as I get drunk with my coworkers and keep uh, being awesome oh well yeah patrick l's for 100 dollars. you can drink on the job hell yeah brother and he's a cop no i'm just kidding <laughs> there used to be breweries here that would allow the workers to drink as much beer on the job as they wanted so they didn't steal it that, that they only like canceled that about the 90s so i just imagine an entire brewery That's where i'm tragic. pissed all the time <laughs> well you don't want sober people selling alcohol do you Imagine if you Imagine were no. Brian fingering a guy in the ass because you forgot the Green Ranger was a man. Because you forgot the Green Ranger was a man. Wait. This this week. There you go. Uh, there you go. In the Twilight Zone. I got news for you. Imagine if you will. Brian fingering a guy in the ass. <laughs> You have entered the bunghole zone. I like how the last the last super chat you were like, oh, that takes me back to the twelfth grade. It's every Friday. Twelfth <laughs> grade, I do. Back in my day, brother, I was never in the twelfth grade, like ever, <laughs> not <laughs> once in my life. I didn't make it. Uh, oh. the 12th grade. The 12th you sound like grade. one of the trailer park boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was. 
Uh, although being said I was channeling Julian oh, with my I was channeling mm-hmm. Julian with my last hurricane update because I actually had like a drink. Yeah. <laughs> like I had a fucking actual glass out there, fucking wind and shit. Just fucking sipping it. Yeah. Well I gotta have ice because I gotta get it cold. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well in that second one you actually had that bottle of jack. It was funny because yeah, the bottle was like chugging like, jack at like so, eleven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, so I went from bush light to Oktoberfest, then bush light, bush light to end the night, and then I it was out of beer, so I went to uh, I would just cracked open a bottle of Jack, started drinking that for the morning update. Yeah, um, those were good. I should do those for all our other hurricanes here. Yeah, content. Well, hopefully you won't get too many. Uh, Aaron Joe, Whatever, this one was this one was a bitch. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> Aaron Joe for one hundred dollars because you guys are doing heroic work. We are. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank I am you. now just openly hostile to people that defend the show. Uh, <laughs> it took so long. Yeah. I'm glad I mean, you came out. It's good that you came out. Uh, if they're on Twitter, only half of them are people. Uh, maybe less than half. Uh, Star Killer OBL for 250 PLNs. Hmm. Martian pesos. Uh, check the budget. Oh, Polish. Two, see how it looks. Three, think where the money actually went. Conclusion, guys. With that much cocaine, Tolkien himself wouldn't be able to write it any better. Come on. <laughs> um, hey, you could probably bring him back to life with that much cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian Duncan for $111.65. I love you all. Thanks for the laughs. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we appreciate it. The, 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 like, I don't know. These guys are just fucking funny. They are. Funny looking, too, but funny. Uh, Sparks1524 for $50. Hail Friday Night Tights. Shameless self-promotion here. My first three books are on Amazon. Ebook and paperback. Book four comes out next April. Hail, do not stop being a voice for sanity and reality against the wasted wankers whimpering and waffling in woke. Sparks, what did the name of your books? If you're going to yeah. shamelessly self-promote, <laughs> tell me the name of your books and, the, and your name help. as an author. <laughs> if you see it in the chat somewhere, X-Ray Girl, please let me what, know. You don't have to see What is that chat. person's screen name? Sparks1524. Well, yeah, that's probably not what he wrote it as. Um, <laughs> it, it, yeah. I mean, like, if he did. And if he did, bold, bold move. Bold move. Bold, yeah. yeah. Uh, Null Unit 60 has gifted 20 Nerdrotic memberships for $100. What if she knows the three date rule, and then just go, just goes on the three dates because she's just trying to get to the fucking sex though? That doesn't. That doesn't You've been thinking about Shapoopy this why whole time. To the third I say, yeah. <laughs> she she saw the Music Man one too many times and was like, oh, now I can bring you in because now I can be a Shapoopy. Well, see if you're like what, what if, if you're yeah. a player, what, that would be a, so much that? more interesting. If you're a player, wouldn't you're... that be a more interesting show than what we're getting? <clears throat> I'm just saying. Um. What, that yeah. Every week we got to wait for her to go on three days before she fucking spreads. No, if they actually connected it to Music Man, I think that would make it more interesting. It, I, I think they should try having like superheroes fight villains. I, I don't know. It's like it's yeah, like this radical idea. Like, That's yeah. outrageous, Gary. But stuff. where does the middle-aged <laughs> woman drinking in, in at eleven o'clock in the morning come into that, Gary? Um, I don't know. But that's like every woman in Hollywood. It's not. It's not just a middle-aged woman thing. It's a middle-aged Hollywood woman thing. Mm. You know, that's what mm. we're seeing. We're seeing the the perspective of a middle aged Hollywood woman who just drinks all day and texts. That's all they yes. fucking do is drink and I was, text. I mean, I was just drinking Jack Daniels at like nine o'clock in the morning outside. So let's not get too judgmental. <laughs> right? right. Hold on, wait, 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 Ryan. Wait, I'm going to get judgmental. I need to, I need to put Exhibit A into the into evidence. Oh I've, boy. I've, oh boy. Right, that is, that is model, oh my god, that, that is a female model that was voiced by a female actress. Yeah, okay. How the, fuck am I, how the fuck am I meant to go? Oh, well, that's clearly a fucking dude. I mean, everyone else, knows. and they did put giant milkers it's, on her, so it's, it's like it was a trap. Man. It was a trap. Milkers. But is she just a man because they say she's a man? Yes. yes. Then that's apparently, a... I didn't even know though. Her back because again, fe- female model, female voice. Yes. That's a f- I don't know if that's a female then. model. I don't know. I you think it's questionable. Who knows? Who knows? 
Yeah, but how did everyone else know that? Uh, maybe, you? maybe it was the well, eighteen. She says it. She maybe says it was the eighteen oh. years I lived in San Francisco. <laughs> Just be careful what you're checking out. <laughs> you know. <laughs> something about it. You know, trying to try and tell something there, Gary. You know, as you might think there's no visual. Dude, I lived like, in San Francisco for 18 there, years. There are things Mary. that, you know, there are subtle things that people obviously pick up on. Is it pheromones or something like that? Or, or always say hey, is that ass, you're two for you two doing? at the moment. There, there's something you that like you're noticing. You like my tits? <laughs> <laughs> that might give it away, too. So sad. Is she the one that works at Afterlife? I, yes. I think, I think, yeah. I think, oh, yeah, you know the name of the club. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Right Comics Division knows the name of the club. He's intimate with this. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I'm in cyberpunk. My She's actually a good character, too. Like, Hold on. I, I, I'm nice. trying to ascertain whether or not I can put comics on the stand here. Comics. <laughs> it's not my fault, is it? I don't know, as. Right, is, I don't want to miss the witness. I don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> don't strike him. I don't want him on the stand. I don't know. No, objection. No, I mean, objection. Yeah. Objection. Dude, yeah. No, you know but seriously, when you first introduced the character, I had no clue. Oh, I mean, right. Carrot, I, I, I never I never did her storyline, so I had no idea Carrot, that the character was even trans. Carrot, we need an audio clip of, like, a bad recorder crying game. We, we, every time I start talking, we just need that clip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. I'll just make my own. I'm gonna buy a recorder and learn how to play the crying game. <laughs> just get Lizzo to flute out for you. Oh, oh my fine. god, that was the most horrid thing I've ever seen. Oh, um, I've seen a lot of horror things. Um, okay, you've seen a lot of horror. I've seen a lot of horror in my life, but her walking out on that stage, um, wow, dude. <laughs> Uh, Rhino Helix has gifted 10 Nerdorotic memberships for $50. Nice. BMC Pete on the Streamlab side for $50. Circumventing that bitch. Mama Susan. <laughs> Uh, hail. Oh, oh, wow. Mama Susan, I disavow. I love you. <laughs> we love oh, you, goodness. Susan. Please, Mama Susan. Age restricted. I'm no. done. I'm done. I'm done with you, Mama Susan. I'm done. <laughs> I'm giving you plenty of time. I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> I just, I'm not. you know, when I want to feel therapeutic about Silicon Valley, I watch Silicon Valley. I watch the first yeah. season of Silicon Valley, and I there's a character for time. every CEO in that show. There is a character based on every fucking CEO in Silicon Valley. It's such a great fucking show in the first two seasons. It's got TJ Miller, who got canceled, uh, yeah, yep. who was on Compound he Media the other had day. Had a bomb threat. He called it a bomb will threat. He, will he be in Deadpool 3 then? No. Probably not. Ooh, yeah. Not with Disney, no. He's not going to. No. Dude, did you see who's directing it? It's no. not the guy who directed Deadpool 2. Or, or definitely not Tim Miller. No, it's uh, his. He's mostly known free for guy. Bob's Burgers. It's the Free Guy. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, he directed Free Guy. So Free like, Guy, and then the writers are from Bob's Burgers. That's like the big thing that they're all connected to. Okay, mm. Bob, is, yeah, Bob's Burgers is okay. Yeah, I've never you watched say, it, so I can't say. I've, I've so watched some. I'm not. A fan. I don't You're know the director for Deadpool three already. Yeah. There's yeah. A, so that has a director before Blade has a director, and Blade's about to shoot in like two weeks. Well, they had a director, but well, that they had a director. Off, apparently. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's interesting. Yeah. Ooh. Well, it's going to be very Disney. I mean, they got uh, one of the girls who wrote Pickle Rick. She probably, like, wrote the name or part of the name Rick. Maybe she just did Pickle Ick. Rick. And she got it. She got. She was fucking, in the room. She was know. in the room and got him coffee and got a writing credit. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> That's going to sound terrible. I don't give a shit. You suck, Jessica Gow. You're terrible. Um, What's well, the same thing with, uh, with Loki? We had writers from... Rick and Morty going, oh, look, they're like, look at this. They're so smart, these clever, super big brain people. And what we got there? We got Kang. I love when the Kang. writer of the fucking show comes out and says she never liked superhero comics. They were too serious. <laughs> right. Great I, choice. Yeah, I, I love it when they say, I don't like this. I don't like what I'm doing. I don't like the characters that I'm dealing with, but I'm writing the show. But I'm working for Hollywood. Kind I'm of. making it for me. <clears throat> Uh, BMC what did she say? She said something Pretty like, much. this show is about doing the laundry on a Tuesday as opposed to going out. She-Hulk hasn't saved and done anything heroic in, in six episodes, apart from drink herself to excess and vomit at her friend's wedding. Yeah, 
because it's all about her. We're waiting for hero moments. Is I've that like that. when she beats up Titania? Is that her hero well, she, moment? She beats up the guys that were going to jump her, you know? She, does. she specifically <laughs> avoids them. Like, even in the last episode, it, you could have said, well, you know, she's it's a hero moment going and guarding the guy who's the parole officer because he might die. But even in that, he's like, "I'm uh, thank you for coming with me. And she's like, oh, no, well, if he's broken the law, I should be here as his lawyer. She doesn't care about him at all. She only cared to, to defend her client. Yep. So it's specifically avoiding everything that it means to be good and be a hero. Even when she's on about her uh, costume that she wanted for the outfit. Oh, I only want the suit. You know, I even, don't want the super suit or anything. I won't never need that. It's like, oh, come on. Even Dan Slott managed to make uh, uh, make her likable. Jen yeah. likable. Like it's And yeah. he's a cunt. And he, he is, is. <laughs> and, and he is a cunt. Like almost as much as Mark Wade. I guess Mark Wade and Rob Liefeld have been going out at, at each other, uh bounding the article. I don't know, dude. I think Dan Slott's more of a cunt. Th- than Mark Wade? Yeah. Mark mm. Wade. Okay, there was a time where Mark Wade was more talented. I'll, I'll give you that. But I, I don't yeah, know what, what I know about Mark Wade. The people on like message boards. I mean, he he's an asshole. So is Mark Wade. Mark Wade. Like everybody. There's a reason he hasn't like written scripts in Hollywood. Like everybody fucking hates him. Everybody's yeah. ever fucking worked with the guy hates the guy. Uh, yeah. And it and that goes way back. Even when I was like, man, this guy's a good writer. But I heard he's a fucking psychopath. Um, <laughs> Well, dude, you know, the word gets around. It's a very small, like, especially back in the early 2000s, it's very small. So you'd mm. hear everything about every publisher, every writer, every artist, everything. They're a bunch of ca- they're catty, gossipy lot, they are, those comic book creators. Uh, BMC Pete on the Streamlabs side said uh, already, Hail, do you think Amazon is counting your live stream reaction as 15,000 views? 16,000, by the way. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> glad you're safe. You are my number one EP. Ah, there you go. Must What's, be uh must be a Navy guy. So yeah, early promote on evaluation. So, oh, yeah. nice. Okay, okay. What what was that name again? It was BMC underscore Pete. There you go. There's that Chief Pete right there. So that's awesome, man. Thank uh, you, Master Chef on the Streamlab side for fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Not Master Chief, Master Chef. Yes. Have any of you heard of another crowdfunded success, The Chosen? It's just finished filming season three. It is an example of giving people what they actually want, just like Ripaverse. I have heard of The Chosen. Yes. I don't know much about it. I've heard of it, though. Uh, is that the, the biblical series, The Chosen? Yes, it's yes. the okay, okay. biblical series about all of the disciples, I believe. Yeah. It's not like Mark Millar's Chosen. Big difference. No. Big difference. <laughs> huge, huge difference. Huge difference between those. Dude. I don't think the religious people would like Mark Millar's chosen as much as the chosen. Just saying. I do think you. Uh, Grumpy Fickets for fifty dollars uh, says, "Thank God for Friday Night Tights." Hail all. Thank you. Hail. Thank you. I, I think Az found his Green Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> no! It's really hard to tell. So hard to tell. God, I'll never forget, I will never forget that picture of my buddy just smiling his ass off right next to that dude just beard. full fucking beard, dude. <laughs> did you did you laugh? Did you laugh at him? Oh my god, we fucking just we laughed. We made out of him for fucking months and months. Oh my god. <laughs> We, we did oh, not let him live that down. What are you going to do? Be like, console him or something? No, we pointed no him away. away. <laughs> it's, it's like, like our, a good friend. It's like our reverse She-Hulk female bathroom moment. It's the, it's the, the long uh, male ritual of clowning our friends into oblivion. That's how we know they're our friends. It so. teaches them never to do that again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> You'd think he would have known before. And before. <laughs> you know, yeah. you didn't dress Some people like just a- don't get it. You did dress him up like a whore and throw him into a gay bar like those women would have in gay the, uh, bar, the gay bar. I want to put bar. it in you. Gay in bar. the gay bar. war. Start a nuclear war. war. At the gay, gay bar. Well, that's going to happen bar. soon. So, yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's not. You're a superstar. Uh, Kratos, I know, you know, Tim Pool's just like, they were supposed to be a civil war before World Dang War Three. Damn it. <laughs> 
Dude, give me my video. second beanie. I bet, he, I bet he was as well. He's been dying for one for yeah. like four years now. Uh, okay, I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to say this name. Uh, Kratos Descendant Gaming Channel. Uh. Yeah. Just rolls off the oh. tongue. Thank you for the <laughs> Crado Descendant Gaming Channel for okay. I can do it for fifty dollars. I just needed uh, I needed some help. Chad, where That's did the you first step, Gary? Where did you? That's the first step. Is that the first? It is the first step. Admitting, right. Admitting you need help. Right. Admitting you need help. Admitting you are powerless over the English language. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chad, where did you buy that Beck de Cor Beck de Corbin? Back to Corbin. Back to Corbin. So uh, Cult of Athena, you can get it. I, I got it um, from an, uh, another collector who was moving away, but I believe he bought that from Cult of Athena. Not sure they always stock it, so it might not be fully That's available. That's a good site. Cult of Athena is great. You know, yeah. I, uh, I recently got this beauty from Cult of Athena. Look, look at this. Um, they have a Gladius I want to wow. pick up. Um, I want to get one because of your video on the, the Gladius as the modern sword. Yeah, <laughs> your best sword for self defense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the one I got was a uh, United Cutlery one. It's really good. really good. Hey, they just sent me a Theoden's helmet. I got King Theoden's helmet from Lord of the Rings. United Cutlery is wow, great. Nice. United Cutlery is the shit. Yeah. Good shit. So, why aren't you wearing it? Is the real question. Uh, that's. I'm going to do that. Probably next, well, no, probably for the Rings of Power finale. So when 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 Shad brings out his sword, I'm going to have that helmet on. I'm going to be ready to go. Ooh. Or maybe so, I have the helmet of who? I have the helm of Sar of Halbrand. Yeah, just Sauron. Yeah, Sauron. Yeah. I don't know if who you can... made this meme. Sorry, this meme. How how did somebody get this meme? Like, it's only been out today. Tell me again. I can't read it. What's it saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't yeah. read it. Zoom in. Okay, zoom in. Zoom in. Hold on. Okay. okay. Enhance. Man, you have to open it. You have to open it. You have to open it in a different tab. You have to open it in a different tab. Zooming doesn't work. I actually hate that Twitter does that. Yeah, I do. I was enhancing. Okay, Twitter's just sucky. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, okay, got it. Right, I'm gonna share. Okay. 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 All right, all right, okay, mate, let's do this. Okay. Can do this. All right, let's fucking do this, guys, okay? Rowan, tell me again, Orendil. Orendil, what is it called? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Will it hurt? No. <laughs> oh. Ten minutes later. Uh. <laughs> oh, <no>. Wow. <laughs> Oh, no. Friday Night Tights, a family oh, show. Oh, goodness. Holy no, shit. No. How's that? That's good. How's that? Uh, oh, no. Wow. Adult rating going on the channel, Gary. Um, I think we failed, so maybe we can try again next week. <laughs> Do over. I thought we have a pretty good chance. We got Shad, you know, he's a good guy. We got Disbrew, he's a good guy. We got C Critical Drinker, is definitely a good guy. It's not like we had Elijah Schaefer on or somebody like that. But uh, <laughs> one of those guys. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. I love you, Elijah. But Fuck it, that guy. Fuck that guy. No, I love You hey. have as an eye on. <laughs> Never. I'm just kidding. It's sarcasm. It's sarcasm. We love Elijah. Uh, no. thank I think you. my making musical references might bring it down a notch. Oh my god. <laughs> Musical theater. It's not like like oh, I can't even get down on Gundam. None of Gundam's episodes have ever been age restricted or demonetized. Oh. And we talk about Chris Chan. Uh, <laughs> no, it's mostly us. It's not our guests. It's us. Yeah, it's, it's us. us. No. It's us. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's us. It's pretty uh, it's it's us. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Wow. It's true. It's true. wow, the little guy just gets just comes out swinging. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you at arm's length, and because the oh, height that you are, that will probably, you know, <laughs> that'll do it. Oh, yeah, for, for being small, man, I got some pretty long legs. Yeah. Gotta watch out. Uh, Geek grind. Whoa. Geek grind has donated one hundred dollars. Geek grind coffee. Wow. Geek grind. Oh, yeah. Links in the description. We're working on another, or there, I say we, <laughs> like I have anything to fucking do with this. <laughs> They're working on another blend. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you don't want to know about my blends. Uh, thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining. 
<laughs> Gary's growing his own. <laughs> He's in the fields. <laughs> and your coffee bean. I got the big hat coffee on. Coffee beans. <laughs> I got the big hat on. Oh, someone please create that. Please play, create Gary in a field. Juan Valdez. <laughs> Gary. Gary Valdez. And picked <laughs> by Gary Valdez. <laughs> Valdez. This is the boomer blend. <laughs> the boomer blend. Uh, oh. oh my God. Thank you for being the light in tru- uh, of truth in fading light of fandom. Proud to support you all. We're proud to have you. Thank you. Geek Grand Coffee, we love you. Thank you for hey. your support. Thank you for not holding any, uh, having any strings attached or anything like that. I really appreciate that because uh, any sponsor should have fucking canceled us a long time ago. So thanks for sticking with us. Hope we don't uh, take you down with us. That's all I can say. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, hey, I think that's it, folks. I think we got to wrap it, wrap it up. Ram it, damp it. We'll take it. Wrap it up. Remember that song? Isn't that Stevie Ray Vaughan's brother's band? Wrap it up. That's obscure. Yeah, yeah that's pretty obscure. Uh, I, well, dude, I was in, I was in prison. My when father's brother's out. nephew's yeah. cousin's no, I, I Stevie Ray Vaughan, Stevie Ray Vaughan though. Yeah, Stevie yeah. Ray Vaughan. Shit. But the, they had a couple of his brother. Like, his brother's band <laughs> had a couple of hit songs in like the really early nineties. Come on. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like wrap it up. Uh, Rest in peace, Stevie Ray Vaughan. We miss you. One of the oh, fucking bro. goats, dude. Oh, that was so good. Yes. Uh, good well, Texan true. right there. Good Hell Texan. yeah. Oh, the Fabulous Thunderbirds. That's who's saying that. Fabulous Thunderbirds. Thank you very much. Thanks, chat. That's what I thought. Yeah, come on. Um, come on, man. Yeah. Uh, you know so that? let's go around the horn here, and uh, people can plug whatever they like. <laughs> my green fucking Power Rangers. My green Power Rangers. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep. I love I love how Ryan started that story going, this one's not going to be as bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The whole time I was like, how is that? It's awesome. way fucking no, worse. There's no it's way. It's not about me. <laughs> we should have immediately well, been like, oh, wait, no. That, well, that's I, a warning. I, I, yeah, think, I personally think that that story is more family friendly than the other story. <laughs> Nah, what are you smoking? Okay, well, according no, 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 you know, according to YouTube guidelines, I would agree with you. I would yeah, exactly. Agree with you. Yeah, I just play by the fucking rules. I don't make them. All right, so yeah, yeah, but what? YouTube's guidelines are based on reality. So in reality, <laughs> you're <laughs> Lord Odin of Ardmore. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I actually uh, officially uh, my birthday was this past Wednesday, and my wife actually bought me. Mm-hmm a it's you can buy like these plots of land and i'm officially a lord so it's not one of the you know there's those sites that have it where they own a domain and stuff and it's all this fake no this is actually it's a legal document that can be inherited by my son so i am officially a lord of ardmore so yes lord odin of ardmore but you can check me out over at omb reviews on youtube and odyssey it's been great to be back this week having tons of fun and some people were asking what i was working on towards the end there i was uh finishing up a rosary because i hand make rosaries so Thank you. Thank you, Odin. Yeah. Comics Division. Hey, everybody. On Comics Division, you can follow me on Twitter at Comics Division and at the YouTubes. That's all I got for sale. All right. Move buddy. along. When's your next live stream? Um, Monday. Monday. Yeah, we're going to have Shagsworth on. Oh, good. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like Shag. Good. Yeah. Uh, Quarterback Garrett. Hey, what's up? You can find me at my channel and on the Nerdrotic channel. Making Rings of Power reviews <laughs> until my fingers fall off. So um, I am going to stream tonight. We're going to play Back for Blood with Ord's board. Ord's. Uh, so come on over nice. to my channel and on Ords. his channel. I think he's on Twitch. Uh, wherever he's streaming, watch both of those. It's going to be fun. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. That's it. Yeah, get get your fun in now, buddy. Uh, we start yeah, gotta, early. Yeah, I got to squeeze it in. I was up so I was up till like five in the morning, dude. So yeah, that's I was what watching the stream. At, that's why we're uh, yeah, where you? That's why we're ending yeah. at four hours today because I'm fucking tired right now. <laughs> I, need to to I hear you, man. I need to go to sleep and get get up nice and early and watch that piece of shit again. Uh, Disperu's got me beat though. He's he's watching it three times. I'm only watching it twice, man. That's it. That's all you get well, out yeah, of it. Yeah, that includes editing. So it's watch, yeah. then go through to record, <laughs> then boom, edit. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. 
Yeah. I do it like I do oh. my women. One and out. <laughs> Same. Just what one about viewing for me is all I could handle. I'll view it, but I go slowly, get all the notes, and then just live stream it, get it out. Uh, the one fun part, I'm sure Disbrew can appreciate this. If you watch it like two or three times, you find so many inconsistencies. Like, it's <sighs> oh, yeah. ridiculous. There's even uh, lines that I don't even think I heard the first time. <laughs> like you just I know. There's so lots like, of I can't things I missed. That happens every too. week. Yeah. Every week you guys like bring up a line. I'm like, when did that happen? I don't remember <laughs> yeah. that. I just block it out. Uh, That's, it, it, it makes the recording part worse because the first time I can watch it and go to two notes, it's like what? You've got to actively concentrate on every <clears> single <throat> second of it. And that She-Hulk therapy session. Oh, that, that did me in. Like, the bits on my video where I walk off, that's not me faking it. I legitimately cannot handle it anymore, and I had to leave the computer. <laughs> no, no, dude. Yeah, I'm putting off my pain, right? So I'm not doing the episodic. I used to do episodic reviews of stuff like this, and I'm like, oh, with D with Disney, I, I cheat. I'll do one or Can't two, and it, then man. one at the end. But the problem is, if you do the one at the end, I have to watch all the fucking entire season over again. So I am uh, I'm not looking forward to that. I am not looking forward to that. My sobriety is Neither strong. Neither am I. My sobriety is strong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is. Uh, let's say, uh, no, quarterback, you already said. Ryan Kinnell of RK Outpost. Uh, once again, there's so much shit going on right now. There's so much stuff that's coming out in September and October. Uh, I'm loving House of the Dragons, so at least I have one thing that I yeah. like, which is good. Uh, the rest is shit, which, of course, that's what gets a lot of views. Nobody fucking cares about my House of the Dragon reviews, whatever. <laughs> but, um, but I will say we've obviously been plugging 221B Tactical for Geeks and Gamers. That is where you can get your Geeks and Gamers stuff. Go to Geeks and Gamers' website. Sign up for the meetup if you haven't already to RSVP. <laughs> also... If you go to rkoutpost.com, I launched a new store there where I'm running all my merchandise through. Um, so if you could, if you don't want to send a super chat or whatever, some people actually want to get something, whatever it may be, head over there, get a hat, get a shirt, whatever. Thanks, Gary, for having me on. And thanks to all these wonderful panelists. Yeah, dude, this was a good one tonight, man. I, I oh, yeah. pissed myself laughing, almost literally. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, one of the funniest guys on the show. Mr. Crying Game himself as. <laughs> right. There isn't an option to bang that character either, so I, I didn't bang them. Okay? But you thought about it. But you tried. You tried. You tried. You tried. Yeah. I got news. That's the only reason you know. I can't believe that two times I've said nice tits for the reason of entertainment. I got myself in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but it gave us a lot of entertainment, so we appreciate you. I know. It really it did. You what? think this has been a funny show. I think it's been a fucking mitigated disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens and tits. That's Chicken what has tits. to be this way. Chicken tits. <laughs> Chicken tits. Cocks and tits. Cocks and tits. everywhere. Chits. <laughs> it's got a double meaning. Uh, I could not believe you said that when I was watching that show. You <laughs> said, <laughs> I was like, did he just say that? He did it again. <laughs> he did it again. Oops. I did it again. Oh. I fell for male tits. <laughs> <laughs> fell for the moobs. Got lost in the gay, I guess. Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> Tomorrow, I might have a stream. I'm not entirely sure, but I might have a stream with Nick Ricada and Sargon of Akkad nice. as we uh, as we paint our 40K and uh, talk about uh, politically incorrect stuff. Uh, Sunday, there is a uh, fun day Sunday with Quarter Black Garrett and Exeter Girl as we hack and slash our way through Vermintide 2. We are on Quarter Black. We're on the next the level. The highest level of difficulty now. Oh, no, no. Second yeah. highest. Oh, fuck Arella. <laughs> oh, yeah, the next one's Chaos. Second second highest. Uh, Which is every show on Sunday, so be there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, every Sunday. Yeah, yeah, show Sunday, uh, maybe. Uh, Tuesday, Real BBC on Gary's channel this week. And uh, Friday night, Tides on Friday. Yeah. Also, that... thank you. Just sincerity for a second. No trans tits. Thank you, because you've made um, this month the best month ever on uh, Hill vs. Babyface channel. Well done. Nice. Well awesome. done. 
which I think is the same for quite a few people this month. Uh, yep. Yeah, I I think I this is my highest viewed month as well, actually. Without a doubt. I didn't say viewed. Um, I didn't say viewed. Oh uh, well, best <laughs> whatever. It's this my is the most views I've ever had in a month. Yeah, uh, same for here. my channel. Same here. I did put out I did put out ninety videos in September for I my put channel out, though too. That's good. I put out okay. nine. Yeah, I'll do that. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're doubling that, that, that doubled the more our you output put out, <laughs> that, the more you get back oh you're so right x-ray girl very wise uh, were you in rings of power <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow. so in order to reach the light you first must touch the dark you must the touch, yourself. <laughs> touch yourself down and a ship apparently looks fucking up yep. you know whatever Rocks look down. <laughs> uh, Disparu, thanks for coming back. We're going to see you for a couple more weeks, at the very least, with this Rings of Power stuff. Thanks for uh, being here, dude. Doing a great job. Oh, yeah. Oh, always fun. Always great fun to be on. Um, for me, the Rings of Power, She Hulk. I don't know if anyone else is going to cover up. I don't even know what I'm going to cover after this. I'm just like, there's going to be another disaster I can roll into. That's my plan. <laughs> there will be. What, whatever the like, <laughs> television show is, I'm like, yeah, well, that'll be the thing. <laughs> no, Wakanda Forever. I think that's coming Wakanda up, isn't it? Forever. That's um, true. Yeah, Werewolf that's by Night important. looks like it's directed by Rob Zombie, so it looks like it'll be fucking terrible. I know. And by the way, it got like just amazing reviews from the shills, so you know it's going to suck. It's going to completely oh, yeah. suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff coming up, man. Watch the uh, monsters. No. Oh God, is it oh, awful? Lord. Watch the monsters. Disparu will find no. it. No, no, Disparu. Yes. We got Star Trek. Yes. We got Picard season three coming up in, uh, no, in like three God. or four months. Ma, yeah, I uh, watched February. those. I never had. To and then Doctor them. Who. Actually, having to make videos on them will be a whole new. Oh yeah. Level of pain. It will, dude. It will be because like everybody's hopes are up right now, and you know they're just gonna get crushed. And the little yeah, piece yeah. Of, hey, did I tell you? Did, no, I didn't tell you guys. The the showrunner, Terry Metalis, followed me for like 48 hours on Twitter. So he figured out who I was. He read So he read one of my posts and then he was out of there. And then, uh, gone. He yeah. just clicked through to your channel and said, like, oh, I watch his review. He's like, oh, it's a nerd That was a mistake yeah, for those unfollow. precious few moments, though. Yeah, <laughs> Disparu, we got uh, the final Jodie Whittaker episode coming up, too, in a few short weeks, three or four show, short weeks. So. Uh, yeah, the the issue that could be out of the frying pan into the fire though. That's the issue with that one. Oh, it so, is. It absolutely. Careful is. what you wish for. RT. Yeah, we wanted RTD back. We wanted David Tennant back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dude, we're going out of the frying pan and into Mount Fucking Doom. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Tennant Dude. was why I liked. Uh, oh, what was the name? Um, the Marvel Private Detective. He was in Jessica the first Jones. season of that. Oh, Jessica yeah. Jones. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Purple he Man. He made that series. Purple Man. Yeah, he I did. He was so he was good. Fucking great yeah. in that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the oh. second season was fucking trash. It was. Yeah. It was I, I was it's so only impressed by the first one, and then we get that. Is that like, oh, okay? <clears throat> you, you can't okay. have like, you couldn't have that. Even now, you couldn't have that type of story with a man that has that much power over a woman like that. Even with her overcoming that, they wouldn't want to tell that story because yeah. of the dynamics Dude, at play. And you know that what that was supposed to be Jessica Drew. That was supposed to be Spider Woman, the character that like that that was Brian Michael Ben's whole pitch was like Spider. What happened to Spider Woman? Because she disappeared. Well, it was Purple Man who did that. So, but uh, Marvel said no, and that's why we got Jessica Jones instead. But it was mm. supposed to be Spider Woman, which would have mm. given it more impact, I think. But oh well, and yeah. al Alias. The comic was, uh, it was all right. It was different at the time, you know. I think now that's kind of a played out thing. Uh, Shad, you have a comic book. You have a graphic novel. You have leather bound books. I was listening to your audio book last night on available on Audible, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Shadow mm -hmm. the Conqueror. Good shit. Good stuff. Please plug. Dude, thanks, man. Yeah. Kyle, oh, that means that be so. All oh, the world. I appreciate it. I, can't, I love that you're enjoying it, mate. Uh, I can't wait for you to get into the rest of the story. And yeah, guys, um, graphic novel adaptation, uh, comic books, <clears throat> top tier art. Like this is absolutely top, top tier uh, graphic novel. Uh, get it while you can. Limited, you know, time. And uh, there's also leather bound if you want something special. Uh, so, and it's going great. So the sport has been awesome. I can't wait to kick it into gear and start making even more. This is really exciting. 
And then you, you know where to find me, Night's Watch, Shadowversity, uh, deep dive reviews on the Rings of Power and where we just try and break everything, <laughs> rip it apart. I mean, oh, lots of fun, lots of fun. And Man, it's so, much, it's so great being here. I love Friday Night Tides. You guys rock. <clears throat> You're awesome. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. that is yeah. a good off. <laughs> An audible. Thanks for coming back, and I'll see you Sunday, sir. Uh, oh, I can't wait. When we cover House of the D. Uh, our <laughs> young Ryan will be joining us for the last two episodes as well. Oh, that's, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, with Mahler. I'm excited. I, I, like, I wonder what, how this season's going to end, mm. you know? I know how like, it's going to end. You know, with I don't know, with that fucking rat that keeps showing up. Uh, it's gonna like, be. It's, it's gonna be. Well, I mean, remember, Game of Thrones would do kind of like their finale thing in the penultimate episode and not the last episode a lot. So, mm-hmm. I think it happens in episode eight. What we're talking about, blood and cheese. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like that. I'm trying not to spoil that for anybody, but yeah, that has to be what it is, though. Mm-hmm. Like me, oh, dude, it is so. what like, like the fourth time a rat, rat comes catchers, in, man. Yeah, it's yeah. like okay, we got you. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be lots of fun. So uh, Fringy will be joining us uh, joining us this Sunday. Jane Theory will be back, uh, and Ryan, and, and we'll we'll have tons of fun doing that. Uh, I'm gonna torture Quarter Black all day tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who has to put up with like my recordings? And all my outtakes, and then uh, all the, uh, and all. And no, it's good. I'm making a nice folder full of Gary faces. Oh, fuck. Anytime I click through and I get a good Gary face, I save it. <gasps> it can make a good short a on that. Spicy meatball. Just so it's just just there. I you know, didn't it's know like he a was new. This. This just to have the button. This is news to me. Go hit that the button, dude. Ones. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna announce something. Oh, Orlando! Don't forget Orlando. Orlando. Uh, this mm-hmm. is Orlando. Or next tomorrow will be. Orlando month. It'll be spooky month. Uh, I'll be there. Not sure how long. Um, at first, I was going to do a week. Don't think I'm going to do a week this time. But uh, I'll be there a few days because uh, my anniversary is like the day after our meetup. Great timing, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I love what Ryan yeah, said. Timing, Ryan's Halloween. All, Ryan's all, which one is it? And I'm like, 19th. He's all, that one doesn't matter. It does, it gives, yeah. Yeah. Like- yeah, I feel like once you get to that point, it's like okay, maybe every five years. You're at, like once you hit twenty, yeah, then it's gonna be okay, twenty five, and then after that, it's just fucking thirty, forty, fifty. Yeah, yeah. So now, well, good, good I, luck with that. I've always wanted to go there, yeah. and I can't wait to see Universal. Can't fucking wait to see Universal. So I'm yeah. looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I can't wait to see you guys. So uh, yeah, RSVP for yeah. that second one. No, it's the second one that's filled up. It's the first one we need. First yep. one, okay. first one, you need to RSVP at the Geeks and Gamers website. Um, like Jeremy said, we are thinking of doing a much chiller. It's going to be a much more chill, relaxed, like you show up, you show up, whatever. But there's going to be a bunch of other people there, too, at Universal Studios at CityWalk um, after the fact. So on same day, same day or next day, same day. And it's not it's not everybody doesn't have to come. <clears throat> it's just I know Jeremy's going to be there. A couple other people are going to be I'll, there. I'll probably go. But I'll go. Dude, I'll yeah, go. yeah. Hell and yeah. just 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 sit there and uh, you know have a couple of drinks and you know talk to people. Chill. So. I don't know about going to anybody's content house, but I'll go there. <laughs> 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 that just sounds like a YouTube career up in flames to me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> too, yeah. too many cameras. I can't. Too keep many track cameras. Of just a lot well, of trouble. Well, Chris, Chrissy said they're going to have two houses. On. One of them's going to be a dry house um, where it's just like normal stuff hanging out, and one's going to be a wet house where they're doing the porn shit. Okay. So. so you know. So my wife and I can go see Carrie Smith at the dry house and then everybody else will be at the wet house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Hey, Chrissy's got a show in New Orleans, I think, tonight. It's where she's at. She does. So. She does. Shout out to Chrissy. If you're, I think it starts in an hour. Yeah. It starts in an hour. Get so an hour. if you're in New Orleans, get your ass down there. Go see Chrissy. Mm. Go support Chrissy. And thanks, everyone. Thanks, Eric Kay. Thanks to the Mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone. One who left a super chat and a donation. You help keep the lights on. Again, thank the critical drinker, Shad and Brooks and Disbrew for joining us all the, uh, the, uh, staying with us all these weeks. It's been so much fun, dude. Roasting the Love shit it. out of this show. This has been like, uh, oh, you know, nice. we get the best content. And it's not just here. I mean, everywhere. Rings of Power has been <clears> producing <throat> some of the best YouTube I've seen in years since since last Jedi days. It's been fucking great. And phenomenal. <laughs> so you, all you YouTubers, keep up the good work. You're entertaining the shit out of me. So thank you. And 
and so are you in the chat. So thanks, everyone. We're grateful for all of you. We love you all. We will see you next week. Who's our guest? Chris Gore. Chris Gore. Chris Gore. Yes. yes. Awesome. That's a good Chris guess. Chris is great. Uh, we can nail him to a cross and get him to talk about why he likes She-Hulk. Oh, he's turned he on still it. like She-Hulk? No. He's turned on still? it. Still? He's turned uh, on yeah. it. Okay. He's turned pretty hard. He's yeah. turned pretty hard okay. on it. All right. All right. So, uh, ciao, everyone. See you next week. Bye. 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 See ya. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs>